Whoa! Oh, I wow. must say we're halfway there, but it's like, no way, we're right at the beginning, so I can't use the lyrics. Right. Whoa, we're right we're at the beginning. We're a quarter way there? Not even, not even. Seriously, especially we for we're, us. We're one-tenth in. Maybe not even that. I hope that, at least. Mm -hmm. For a while, but yeah, welcome to. Um, I was about to say it's like a secret EFAP, but it's more of a uh, it, it, it's been cooked for a while, this thing and ready to consume, but not released because we like to have one in the back pocket in case everything explodes, which I haven't done in a while, like setting one up, but um, would have been useful. Exploding. Was it a Wednesday or a Saturday that got missed when my PC died that uh, a while back for Rings of Power? Remember. I think it uh, it must have been a must have been a Saturday if it was for Rings of Power, right? Well, we did. No, because I think we did some coverage on Thursday, uh, Wednesday. <laughs> we had like two or three extra EFAP done because we had to do do an emergency EFAP, and you know. Gotta and we get... only did one for House of the Dragon. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, you know, we had we didn't do any for Andor. <laughs> like the poor guy, he's the he's the skeleton at the bottom of the ocean, trying to claw yeah. and getting some coverage. And, uh, the thing is about that one, though, is that I haven't done any Andor coverage on the internet, so that the second I actually watch it, and same for you guys, there may be some passion to cover it in more depth than uh, even House of Dragons covered. So you might get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe it was already done. Maybe this has come out after that was done, or before. Who knows? Time... Oh, that's true. That might I'm... actually be the case. Time is scary. Like, I'm trying to avoid dating it in, in both directions, right? So if I say, like, oh, it yeah, feels... we haven't done that, or have done it, it's like... Yeah, it feels like there's about seven different versions of me on the internet, and none of them are aware of the others, really. They're just out there in their own little timeline. Videos come out whenever they come out. Is that scary or cool? Chats get answered when they do. Um, it's kind of cool, in right. a way. Right. I don't mind. You know what else is cool? The more of me to go around, I'm, you know, I'm not against that. I think Maybe I'll meet myself. The world will already have known about this, but I, uh, my Dead Space arrived for the 360. I, I'm now able to play it, because the PC version is oh, nice. fucking not working for me. But yeah, then that. When are you gonna still bring that? I think I'll not date this video. <laughs> That's what I think. I uh, even though you can probably still guess at that point. But but yeah, uh, Callisto Protocol uh, is is out soon. And by saying that, I've already dated. Uh, yeah, I was I was I was about to say it's out. Wait, hold on. It's no. out. <laughs> Wasn't Callisto well, Protocol cool, out. guys? Oh wait, now I'm dating it again. Yeah. What if it's bad? Oh no. Well, wasn't Callisto Protocol a video game? It there really you know. was. One of the video yeah. games of all time. It was one of the video games that ever video gamed. And then we were like, wow, that was fun. Now on to Dead Space Remake, right? Is that is yeah, that a cool new Yeah, I think Dead Space that? Remake's next. That's in January. Um, and, then, and then it will be Resident Evil 4 in, I think, March? Well, well. Yeah. Fun times ahead. Um, yeah, and, and, and of course... Uh, the the holidays being that some stuff comes out then right there was that Santa Claus movie uh Gary told oh, me that was pretty yeah. fun Sil Murder Night Violet Night that's it uh, Violet, Violet Night, Night Murder Night yeah. Murder Night starring <laughs> Santa Claus um yeah I'm I'm, I'm half considering doing that for Fat movies I feel like that's the, that makes sense doesn't it a movie where Santa's going around killing people or something it seems to fit our uh, that's us we kill yeah. movies we kill art. And I can only assume that he sneaks into people's houses at Christmas down the chimney and uh, murders entire families, and oh, then leaves Christmas the underneath they, uh, a tree. I watched the trailer when I went to the movies the other week. Uh, it seems like the gist of it is he goes to a house that's got like I don't know, like robbers or something in it, but like super organized burglars trying to get a bunch of money, and he just shows up there and then gets embroiled in that. So it's kind of like, kind of like an almost diehard scenario of unwittingly being there. Now, uh, just to be clear. To is he Santa Claus or a guy playing uh, he's Santa, Santa Claus. Claus? He's got like okay. magic powers and everything. Yeah, I think um, Gary said that, at one point they allude cool to his like origin story, and apparently it's really funny. So like, it, there's lots oh, of potential no. to make that really funny. Well, I, think. I, I saw that it got reviewed well. I don't know how much that really means, but I guess if it got reviewed well, it's like that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that it got reviewed favorably, like legit, like proper. You know, we should check it's it like, out. Oh, all right, yeah. I'm down with it. There we go. We've done it. Sweet. Anyway, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> speaking of killing art, you mentioned that at one point during all of that. Um, I I killed Doctor Strange two at some point. <laughs> I murdered it. You I put did. a knife in his back, and it just it just bled out. It was like oh. twisted. You stabbed, twisted, and gutted that movie. He did, and uh, it wasn't even a regret. 
wasn't even a request. So and there was that upset that upset some people, as it always does. That's totally fine. And uh, yeah. and we've spent a long time on the Fappens covering media from its source as opposed to coverage of coverage of coverage or anything. And I thought, you know, I was made aware of this. Someone was so upset with my uh, Doctor Strange 2 coverage that they've done a live EFAP sort of style breakdown. They, they, they wouldn't call it that themselves, of course. That would be... Uh, probably be I, I actually saw there was a video of two people arguing really aggressively. That had yeah. nothing to do with us. And, uh, and I was watching it, and one of them said to the other, I bet you're going to go back over this and EFAP it or whatever. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like, is that Our... actually managed <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to enter in a common parlance our our name it's what uh, we do yeah like like it's known that you just to efap something is to convert it i guess in a minute one minute to ten minute ratio something like that i guess i don't know <laughs> to examine something in extreme anal levels Detail. of depth yeah well uh and so you know someone's done that with my doctor strange 2 video which is kind of neat i um it's always nice to see because like these videos are made with a special attention to detail. And so when I get shit wrong, it's like, oh, fuck, okay. But sometimes it'll be, the information I had was sound, but I interpreted it a little bit floompy, and I needed, um... Do you ever have this, like, so you see a series of events, or maybe uh, something happens in real life, and you conclude, like, something kind of, you know, relatively reasonable, but still a little bit off, and then someone else just goes, well, wait, it's probably okay. this, and then you go, oh, right, yeah. Like, overthinking a thing, maybe? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of overthinking here and there. I did a lot in my Ragnarok playthrough. I, I came across puzzles and I was like, right, so if this one's here, this this other one's probably gonna be like really far away or underneath the thing or behind it, and they were just like, it's right in front of you. Literally in yeah. front of you right now. And I was like, yeah, oh your shit. Yeah, NPC companions like, no, just hit the button. This is right there, you fucking idiot. Was like, oh, well, yeah, um, and so that's another way, like someone's just being like, why did, you know, Mola conclude blah 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 when it would easily be explained by blah blah blah. And it's like, oh, okay, fair enough. So there's a chance that I got everything wrong in the Doc Strange 2 video, and that this could be There's the video to chance. enlighten me, I do not know. The one thing I will say is that it's not from someone who has the best reputation to start. Um, but the thing is... Joe Biden covered your video? I don't think he has a YouTube... Oh no, he probably would, wouldn't he? Everyone has a YouTube I guess now. so. Um, but Does the president have a YouTube channel, and it's just like the office of the president oh, has the switches channel? Every time. <laughs> yeah, like it switches out. <laughs> I don't like the new host of this channel. <laughs> I like the old Yeah, host. go back to the old host. Too. You guys remember when this channel started? <laughs> it was way better. <laughs> Classic content. Um, yeah, so this guy, there's a, there's, there's a familiarity here. I'm going to say it. So, name is Organized Chaos. Mm. Oh my god, um, Robert. That you may be familiar with, Mr. Rags. And the thing is, I just, I have no reason to believe that he's not an incredibly good faith interlocutor. And he might That's have true. issues with you about whatever you guys have going on. I wouldn't know about any of that, of course. I, I haven't watched any of your coverage of that. Nope, none of it at all. So I'm completely happy to jump in and just be like, what's going on here? Why? That's why uh, be... it's a good attitude to have. And, and you know, I don't know why he's covering me, um, but that's fine. It could be that I'm relatively related to you in some way, or it could it's, be that... I... You know? It's because it's because you hang out with some people that he's not very fond of, and Dawn. if there's if there's anything that makes you guilty, it's who you associate with, as we all know. Well, my goal so, at this point uh, yeah. is to make sure I hang around with enough people that everyone has an issue with who I've hung out with. Once I That's get that, that's a legitimately uh, a noble, uh, goal. admirable life goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure I'm there. At this I point. hang out with so many people, no one can hang out with me. Some of them is just like you hang out with, like Destiny, for example. I'm pretty sure. Having hung out with him, we've we've knocked out like sixty percent of the internet at this point. It shouldn't be too long before we get the mm, rest. That could unironically be true. Yeah. Probably. Now, um, let me here's the Mahler video. is Oh. Oh, there he goes. So Oh my goodness gracious. I chopped this out of um a, a big old live stream he did covering myself oh, wow. and uh, Ethan Van Skyver, I believe, and possibly others. So Oh yeah, you know. he was on a live stream with EVS <clears> and uh it it went it went not great. It was oh. really, uh, it was really cringe, but maybe that's just a one-off. Maybe that's just a live setting thing. Yeah, probably. Not everyone could do, not everyone could, you know, perform up to their maximum potential in a live setting. It's a, it's a skill to be honed and learned, and, and so you can't hold that against him. Which is why this so. is exciting, I would say. This is one of those, this like... very exciting. It's this a learning experience. Of exciting. And so... Quivering. Yeah, you can see... 
There's my channel. There's there's Mr. Chaos, and so um, I guess we'll just get on with it there's, without further ado, as they would say. All right. Is everyone excited and ready? I don't want to rush you in before you've. No, I'm I'm very excited. I have a I have an open mind and a. Have you put on your seatbelt, Fringy? Yeah, it's it's there. It's securely fastened. Um, Excellent. I'm, I'm I'm good to go. I got I got the airbags installed on my desk <laughs> just in case. I want the sound know, effect of that know, activated sometimes... at some point. <laughs> Off, I'm gonna be able to. Oh wait, simulate no, I don't it. have to or simulate it because it's real. It's very real. Yes. There is an seatbelts and desk. live streams. Yep. That All would right. be that would be a good uh, thing if you're like um if you're a streamer and you play like video games, you have a seatbelt on it. You're like, all right, guys, this is getting a hardcore, and then you buckle yeah. yourself into your be gamer a... chair before you start a hard game. A bit of a meme, yeah. Uh, people could be, and then you could have like a, a sub emoji that's like a seatbelt or something. Yeah, yeah, everyone's like, you know, the, the buckle up emoji. I guess the big problem, though, is that if you've got seatbelt on, you know, like a chair that's got wheels on it, feels like you're not really, you know, like, it's not, it's not really, not really going to be helping you a whole lot in terms of, like, keeping you still. Oh, yeah, it's more so for the, the vibe. Yeah. It's for the for the memes. You, you do it yeah, every time, yeah, like, a game, you know, like in God of War, when he blows the horn, that's when you put the belt on. You'd be like, all right, guys, yeah, we're yeah, in now. Strap it in. Man, like, I like that yeah. as a as a meme. That's a fun. <laughs> it probably meme. is a channel that does it. This <laughs> is yeah, probably, out there. Probably is. or she, you know, could be anybody. Yeah, and I, that's true. I support them. They are valid. Yeah, the belt streamer. Um, all right, we'll start this up. Who knows what we're in for? Um, the way I edited it was cutting out the the start and the end. I saw pieces of the beginning and I saw pieces of the end to the point where I even threw in some clips from Doctor Strange Two, which we'll actually get to. Because uh, he brings someone on who says some funny shit. Uh, oh, yeah! I didn't even know he brought in a guest. I'm the, so excited. It was just this, it was a whole section for me, just lol me. So oh, yeah, awesome. and, and you know what? Keep an eye out for, for some fun and interesting commentary from chat as well. All um, right, okay. Because we'll have to fit. We got no chat, so we gotta have to fill in with his chat. We have to we have to get them to keep us company. Be great. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Is uh, I'm ready. I'm down with it. Mahler has. A, his videos are just ridiculously long. Like, they are ridiculously long. We, we've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> we've been meaning to tell you that you're. We're worried about you. The exception of Gadelb there. Well, I was about to say actually, you know? if you look at this, you'd be like two hours. That's probably too long to him. But twenty minutes for the uh, and that you know what that says? Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker and Exploration in Identity. You can't see that. That's that... an April Fool's video. Oh, it says good writing. You know, so yeah, like, why isn't he coming? Like he'd be like, "Oh, this could be." Oh, dude, could you imagine he clicks it, listens to it, and he's like, "This is okay, actually." <laughs> oh. He probably would. He really understands these games. Wait, how do you know he sounds like that? Wait, what? I just I I, 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 I went for a what? generic voice. I have no idea what I don't know what I you're talking about. Stab in the dark. Stab in the dark. Yeah. Stab in the dark. It's insane. And I, di I didn't even realize this until I was looking at it earlier. It's all unbridled. Doctor so it was funny that <laughs> everything, everything you looked at was earlier, but that's all right. Can I, just, can I just go, it's all unbridled. First one, unbridled. Second one, no. Third one, no. What does this Fourth man one... have against bridles? <laughs> well, and why, but like, it's clearly not all unbridled. What do you mean? Yeah, like in that first line there, <laughs> and in the second one, it's actually two out of four of them have unbridled. The, so... the rest of them are different. Yeah. Half is basically all. Half yeah, rounds basically. up to all. <laughs> if you round it up, sure. Five round, point five rounds up to one. Yes, and I suppose the next were question taught, is: Is there something wrong with that? Round, were you taught to round up from uh, point five or down? <laughs> up? No. Oh, 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 yeah. You round if it's a five, it rounds up. Yeah. I don't think that's five a, rounds up. Is there a, is there a difference to that? In culture? I, know I thought it's, everybody learns it. That oh, there's universal. Is it round? I okay, okay, yeah. Um, I wasn't sure. I wondered if it was taught differently elsewhere. Because I think usually when it was 0.5, we would round up. Yeah, as far as I know, that's worldwide. Yeah, 5 well, always rounds up. I guess up. in that case, he, he's just doing that, right? Rounding up from 0.5 <laughs> to Well, wait, to hang one. on. That's, <laughs> a, good, that's a good joke, Fringy. But there's 50% of the other thing. Why are you rounding that up? <laughs> why, why, because why he's bad at math. <laughs> You're rounding up just one. You're a bias. He rounds up to 10. Can't it's very this. optimistic. It's very glass half full kind of way to, way to live your life. Yeah. Multiverse madness and unbridled cataclysm. Oof. Unbridled catastrophe. Yeah. Unbridled praise. Did he like that one? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Uh, and 
Well, I, I do like the whole like, wait a minute, <laughs> like you went mean what? to a movie. What is this? Did he like that one? Probably, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd be curious. the 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 video I've got on the father, I feel like, is a video that all these people have to avoid, like the plague. They can't allow Orange that one in. You know. Where you did big coverage of of a uh, of not like some big blockbuster film. It's an of, incredibly like, really... unknown movie, incredibly low budget. Yeah. It's an actual. It's an hour video, so shorter than the movie, if you can believe yeah. that. And wow. um, a lot of talk about and themes in that video. Yeah, it's incredibly favorable. Oh yeah, and and it's positive coverage, but yeah, it's fine. We'll ignore that one because it doesn't match the the pattern. Mm. Yeah. Uh, unbridled rampage. Oof. Why is Rough. he reading this, um, like, reading these, like, the, he's just, he's reading them negatively. He's reading them like he's learning to read. It's, it's, why, why is it bad that I use the word unbridled? I'm sorry. It's a, it's a unifying aspect. It's like a series of videos. He runs, he runs a pro-bridal podcast. Oh. So the anti-bridlers are, they don't get along that much. I should have known. Unbridled rage. Unbridled rage. Yep, yep. Unbridled rage. Yep. Unbridled rage. Yep. Unbridled meh. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I thought yeah. it might be fun. So to that was just look. like a worthless. <laughs> what was the point of all that? Yeah. Yeah. This is probably going to be the best uh, bit of commentary he has to offer. Yeah, I was going to say that's pretty just solid. Just reading so out the titles. Yeah. At his uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness video. Uh, let me bring up chat on my phone so it's easier for me to keep an eye on you guys. Are you, dude, is it oh, on damn, the screen? Yeah, or? Oh, that's so low tier, my Unless, dude. You could be on a laptop right now as well. With you know, and you can even plug in extra monitors for a laptop. But yeah, you can. Oh, look at chat. Mullen, no, the long. So we got long fear in chat. Chronophobia, or well, longophobia. But I, I extend it to a fear of time as well, like extended amount. Of time <laughs> length. Yeah, kind of. Uh, they must fear clocks too. It's a difficult. Existence, but it's a, it's a that would be one. scary, yeah. Like yeah. For, for all the time that time passes, you're freaking out. So, like, your entire life is <laughs> scary. Imagine as well, like, you're just in a room, you need no concept of time, that's the way you gotta live, but then you can just hear ticking in the other room, and you're like, ah, No, <laughs> I wish I was over there. Uh, Don't do this before you start live streaming. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> um. Let's see. Also, uh, uh yeah, Mahler's long. We are not going to be watching a full Mahler video. By no, the way, no, it's fine. I, no I one just does. I want to get the idea. Um, no one who doesn't like me would watch a full video from me. That's fair. True, that's I've, a, I've that's gotten used to this ask. at this point. That's my a, brain a cells are too pre like. Literally, if I Wait, what was that? My brain cells are too precious. I think it was precious. About to say. Probably yeah, okay. I mean, because They're... of how few of them there are, yes. Like, literally, <laughs> scarcity demands that they are precious. I only have true. a few left. I got sacrificed. I only have so many, I can't let them go. If I just sat down here and watched it and didn't say anything, I won't be done streaming until, like, what, 2 a.m.? That is how time works. Yeah? I mean, maybe. It depends on when you start, but I, uh... Maybe. I'm sure you got that part right. I believe in him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, that's that's not happening, and I'm going to have things to say. I'm certain. So, uh, oh, right, good. Step step one here. Um, we cannot do this at normal speed. We will die. We will die. So you put me to one point two five, which changes not that much, but yeah, I okay, mean, it knocks five. an hour off, I guess. But he's not gonna yeah. watch the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gonna... Yeah. It absolutely obliterated both its own characters and its legacy character. The world building is comparable to a goblin's mudslide. Thematically, it's as embarrassing as it is broken, and the plot has been reduced to atoms in what terms said, of continuity. What goblin's uh, mudslide? Is, was that supposed to be like a reference to horrific fantasy diarrhea? Um, it's really up to the listener what I might be referring to at that point. Right. Could be a That's fun... Fair happy goblin man in his little mud park and he's got a little slide on there and he slides down it or it could be something else it could mean something else you know it's really up it's the eye of the beholder ear of the beholder at that point in short yes it's worse than captain marvel and the mcu is going down a profane sludge ridden dingy curse hole with no one making it out keeping the masses sated until the next appointment with the rancid milkshake of miserable and seeing these titles yeah yeah what happened? Mm. This is the thing. When we, when we covered Black uh, Widow, we hadn't even begun to suffer, really. 
and we felt like we had well video. begun to suffer at that point already. Well, yeah, because yeah. I know at the end of the Endgame video, I flash all of the uh, these titles across the screen too, and it's like, yep, and then they all went on to be, like, really bad. <laughs> so yeah. Who could have who could have guessed? Melancholic. Mo there was a time where I saw the title card for Love and Thunder and thought, like, that's going to be fun. That'll be a fun ass. Yeah, movie. I distinctly remember when we were there and thinking, you know what? This one has a shot. God, we were wrong. Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, circling the drain, just wishing it could once. Did uh, Did Love and Thunder have the shortest like lifespan? Uh, um, in, in when you say lifespan, do you mean being talked about or being talked positively yeah, kind of, about? It, sort of both, you know. Yeah, the the I think that it didn't last very long. People talking positively about that of the film. films. It probably had the shortest, but I think She Hulk had the shortest because by episode one. There yeah. was already a lot of uh, there was already a lot of criticism. Well, yeah, because they opened with shit on Bruce. It was like, oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, so they didn't exactly put that. Yeah, like not the best for. Once mm. again, reached the heights of mediocrity. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Phase Four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that was just a brief thing where he's saying uh, he doesn't like it. I guess maybe I mean, that could have been what you mean. <laughs> Talk. You should. You shouldn't, uh, Mahler. We've been meaning to tell you that you're you're a little bit too enigmatic a lot of the times. You're, sometimes the way you speak is. Uh, you need if to you be could more speak clear. A little bit more clear. Yeah. yeah I, I wish you were a bit more direct. My bad. Ones with your speech. Gonna yeah. work on that because I'll I'll make that section longer next time. Clearly, it was it was a little confusing. It's just okay. Cool. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Ah, I. Again, this is one of those things where uh, Mauler would need to do an unbridled rage and it'll take two hours to break yep. down all the crap in this. Two hours? Do you think me uh... weak, sword man? Let's just get right into it. We begin with an exhibit. I do like his expression. He's so thoroughly unimpressed and bored. <laughs> well, oh, I haven't I, even done just... anything yet, you know? Like. He, he has that. He has like a, like a possum's face. Or you can just tell there's not really much going on in there. They're just sort of, Directly, sort of staring. It kind of giving me a chance, you know. Like it just like comes, awesome. it comes across like he's dubbed with me already, you know. Well, no, I, I mean, love, I'm very, I'm very pro possums. I love possums. Possums are great, but they're not, they don't, they're not like they're not the the, the scholarly sagacious kind of. Yeah, like if you compare possums to raccoons, raccoons are the they're the smart boys, you know. Yeah, but possums are just like you know we're. You, you know, they're just going, we're just walking around, doing stuff, looking ahead, yeah, you know, just waddling. Dead, just so that you leave me alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we, our possums don't do that, I don't think. They just, yeah, they're not, they're not, they don't do that. Our possums play possum, which is an incredible coincidence, but hmm. uh, fortunate, fortunate. The yours actions. are called opossums, right? They're spelled with an O, but they are pronounced possums. Because oh, okay. it comes from a, a American Indian word, I forget. It's like a, oh, okay. it's like um, it means. Okay. Uh, That's interesting that our possums also, because I'm pretty sure that they actually are the same like subspecies, uh, our possums and the ones in the Americas. But opossum, the spelling comes from the a mixture of two Virginian Algonquin words, uh, alp oh. and awesome, which means white dog. Okay, so hmm. this is interesting. Our possums are a different group, so ours okay. have a much longer Latin name that I'm not going to try and pronounce. And then uh, opossums are the marsupials of the Americas, but they are marsupials, which I'm pretty sure are seldom found elsewhere other than this uh, this land down here. Oh, yeah, because well, our... Really nice. Because generally, yeah, we have like Virginia possums are what we typically have around here. They yeah. the ones with the white heads. That's the the name, uh, and they are marsupials. Yes, but I think I think they're the only marsupials in North America are the possums. That wouldn't surprise me because, like I said, marsupials are almost exclusively found here and New Guinea. Um, yeah, they're, they're yeah, they're just, weird. They're, like, out here. they're cool. I like marsupials a lot. Also, hey, check it out. Five hours is better spent watching the extended edition of Peter Jackson's King Kong. Long Kong. Getting reference. Long Let's, Kong. Let's go oh, on. It'd be an impact it'd be an yeah. impact for the ages. It would. Yeah, oh, that's, Long Kong. that's true. How about it? Scene Doctor Defender Strange is running from this big old cursed spaghetti boy with his friend here. Uh Chotzil okay. Ch America. Chavez. America. 
Presumably, considering the title, we are viewing an alternate pathway in the multiverse as of Loki allowing that sort of thing to happen. Then what have I shot here? Bit on the nose with the dialogue there, as neither of you would need to be announcing this thing at this point. But hey. Um, because the audience isn't going to know what it is. So, well, yes. 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 What I said. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> uh, what what do you even say? The Does complaint it say... is, wow, this is exposition meant for the audience. And he says, well, well I mean, you got to tell the audience what it is. Yeah, because the point was, why would you two say this when you know what it is? And then he says, well, there's an audience. It's like, right, but the characters don't know that. It would be like if that's, that's okay. Me and Freaky know the local, I'll say Walmart, to appeal to more people, is closing. And we're sprinting toward it. And we're like, we know we got to get there before closing time because we need to pick up some food or whatever. And then when we're within eyesight of it, I point to it and go, look, Fringy, Walmart. Like, I, I think you'd yes. laugh. You'd be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Walmart is. I can is. see it. I know what it is. It's, um, yeah, it's just, and it's just, yeah, and, and I even say in the video, it's like, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, you know, he could have yeah. done yeah, that a bit better. Kind of, could have been better. But, uh, uh, yeah, this is a scenario of two plus two equals four. Then he goes, no, two plus two equals four. Like, okay, uh, that's because he's the way that I have seen him engage with these kinds of meta discussions when it comes to movies is like the whole, you know, how come Black Widow didn't get the Avengers evolved in the plot of, you know, Black Widow? Well, it's a solo movie. You know, it's supposed to be her movie. And, and that's the answer. That's that's why it's a he doesn't he can't engage with these kinds that, of that doesn't things. even make like, sense because we have cameos in solo movies. You know what I, mean? I mean, even that argument. Well, yeah, because like, it's a Civil War a solo movie because most of the Avengers were like, in it. Falcon turns up in Ant Man. Does that is he should, does. He, should he is he like in the cinema? Oh, like what the Ragnarok. fuck? Hulk, Why is he Hulk in a solo movie? <laughs> Get him out of here! Yeah. He would. Yeah. He's he would think that genre is uh, prescriptive. That's what he would think. Based on like, that, of comment, course, it's this. Just based on that comment alone, I could believe that. Yeah, yeah, I, I think one hundred percent he would be. He like, well, of course, it's this. This is supposed to mean a, a horror movie, and, think, and that's that. The guy in chat that said, "Christ, Shad." Do you think that's the delivery, or do you think they're saying, "Christ, Shad"? It's like a form of Shad. Breathe Christ. Like a word, like an adoration. Like this is Christ Shad. We all, we all adore and worship Christ Shad. We pray to him with our swords across the world. Um. Also, is he deepening his voice? Like it, it always makes me amused to see that because like it's just it's just me recording and then pop it into Vegas and I put on the only filters I put on to just make the voice sound clearer like uh, as well as I do my best to reduce all noises as much as possible right because you want to nail it but um, no it's just it's just how I talk Sorry but also it's, like it's, even if you did he deepen sped your you voice, up, yeah but otherwise that's like. You well, know, yeah, you actually, can do that, right? You can just do that naturally by like speaking from your diaphragm. Like and, you can, you can deepen your voice. And so, yeah, yeah and, and then to really cover the argument in full, uh, this I'm bringing this up for no other reason than talking about ourselves or, or other people. No, no, nothing specific to anybody else. You can have such a shitty voice that you change it. That's okay. What? Yeah. You can actually go Mad as far much. as changing your voice to make it more. Uh, engaging or easier to listen to that is the thing yeah look it's not always like the elizabeth holmes thing where it's kind of weird and scary where you change like your naturally very high-pitched voice into a weird sort of like teenage boy voice because you think that it makes you sound more like powerful or authoritative you know mm -hmm. like you, it doesn't have to be like that it can in fact in most instances you can just like work on ways to sort of change your manner of speaking um the tone of your voice and everything to make it more engaging for the sake of videos. Hell yeah. Yeah. When you are, when you make videos on YouTube, it helps you, or at least it should help you become aware of what your voice sounds like. Because yeah. most people, they just don't even think about how their voice sounds. It's so natural and normal to them. They don't consider how it really sounds. That was a big old learning so. curve for me because the way I spoke for a long time was applicable mainly to my own surrounding society and culture, right? And that these are all people that better understand me because we all speak similar ways in this sort of area, this region. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the internet and a lot of people start pointing things out and you're like, wait, you don't know what a blah 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 is? And then they're like, no. Do you mean blah blah blah? And then you're like, wait, wait, what, what? And then you, you know, you learn more and... I, I know for a fact I speak a hell of a lot different now than I did even if you rewind like five years probably. Yeah. Well, it's just normal, isn't it? So they're like, wait, you round fives up? <laughs> I do uh, yeah, indeed. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, actually, I round fives down. <laughs> That's my you way of doing it. Down. 
It, it is a movie. A little bit it, of clunky exposition, movie, Mahler. never hurt anyone. Of course, Defender Strange isn't using- uh, See, I just agreed with him, but he didn't care. I said it a little bit clunky exposition, right, never he hurt he doesn't anyone. care, yeah. His sling ring, so he must not have one. And that means there's much more tension than usual. Perhaps in his universe, this kind of technology and spell isn't possible. Thus, he must rely on the blue version of the magic we've been seeing. This form even involves freezing. An interesting trade-off, I suppose, though unfortunate considering how much easier things would have been with a portal at his disposal. Hell, yeah. the entire drama would have been over. Okay, but he doesn't have one. <laughs> That's right, he, does, he doesn't have a sling ring. I literally ring. showed true. it. <laughs> No, he doesn't. That's, he do, he he doesn't have one. I think that's like some of the most priceless. That's like the most priceless reaction you could have to that. He genuinely is confused as to why I'm saying it, and I said it in such a way that he picks up the passive aggression. But the passive aggression is there because I've already showed you that what I'm saying is false. That I am defending it with a false argument. That he uses that false argument. He's like, yeah, he's he not doesn't have one. Into visuals, or he's he's just not intelligent enough to understand what you're saying. Not only does he use it later in the movie, but you can see it on him. And this was a thing. I think when we initially did our coverage, I said it would be interesting if you could see it on him. And uh, I think someone super chat saying you can, you can see it on him in the intro. And I was like, oh shit, that's even stupider. <sighs> oh well. Oh, also, someone movie. said in chat bit of racism there. Very true. Oh, maybe it's because of the name. You couldn't pronounce this very strange. But I did it with names. Doctor Strange's better than the Dimble Dabble. Why he's so? What? It's only racist if you do it with characters who aren't white. Is that how that works? Well, yeah. God, so dumb. I mean, the comment come above on. says Mola really needs to trim these videos down to at least ninety minutes. So you fucked up. Uh, oh, if that they was need my trim down to at least ninety <laughs> minutes. It means at at. <laughs> At least ninety minutes, and then he can go even longer from there. I guess what you meant to say that. was at most, most ninety minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you're meant to say. He rounds no five down. No, so. this guy's defending me. He's, he's screwed up. This guy's defending me. He's <laughs> saying, <laughs> he needs to trim them down to at least ninety minutes, and then expand from there. <laughs> this guy's more got a thesaurus, and he wants you to know it. Do you ever write with a? Th I like the I idea of you writing scripts with a thesaurus. So first of all, yeah, I don't. But it. secondly, okay. That's fine. I Even have a thesaurus handy thesaurus, sometimes, but... You know, was it wrong for somebody to sit there and go like, could I use a more interesting word here? Yeah, yeah. I don't want... I've already used this word. I want to say the same concept, but I don't want to use the same word again. Little, little piece of writing advice. If <sighs> you notice that you use the same sort of uncommon word, like within the same paragraph, and when I say an uncommon word, I don't mean like the or there or, um, I don't know, uh, like... Like, if it's a more specific verb or adjective, if you use that same word twice in one paragraph, it's always worthwhile to consider, hmm, might it be worthwhile to, like, use a different one? Yeah, use, maybe I don't have uh, to call everything fast. I could say rapid or quick. Or quick, yeah, swift. swift. Yeah. It's just, just a little bit of variety. Yeah, English is cool. Um, uh, when, when I feel like complimenting I, I, it, it's I, shit when I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, I like to compliment it. It has, some vers it has it just, a lot of versatility. I'm just amused by, like, hard. majority criticism so far. It's like, your videos are very long and you use words that I haven't heard of before. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. That's alright. All right. Fine so far. Oh, please, God, don't tell me this is the entire six-hour thing. This is un... Fuck. Well, this to is me, unfuck. You disagreed with two points that I agreed with you on. You know what I mean? Like, he... Yeah. So, Because the thing is, right, overtly, he disagreed with me on the thing I just said, even though on the surface... Uh, my argument was he doesn't have it, so that's why he didn't use it. And he dis he disagreed with that by agree with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, what's happening so far? It's just like, it was a very weird. Approach. Well, I mean, we we've uh, so because the the main points that he's made so far is oh, you saying oh, I guess he didn't like. Did he not like Phase Four? That was one. <laughs> Which I feel number two. I feel straightforward, <laughs> but like okay, we just had that one, which is he doesn't have one. Like in terms of a sling ring. But he does. Yeah, it, it's like, it, yeah. I, I, fuck, I, I can't even remember the third. There was a third one. It was, um, oh, the Book of Vashanti, where it's like, but it's a movie, though. That's why they're saying that it's there. Because yeah, like, exposition. Brilliant commentary. Did you know that this was a movie? And then that's a nitpick. And then as soon as he plays, it's like, yeah, but it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, like, I agree with this. I mean, it's, but it's fine. He's barely said anything. Fuck. Barely. I mean, he's only two minutes in. I think he said a lot for two minutes, honestly, especially when it comes to, you know... 
But I try. I think that's a decent amount. This is the crazy part. I do try and get the information machine gunned out, so to speak, to mean, like, I gotta get this going, because there's, like, a thousand points I want to make. But, like, these guys yeah. see it as, um, I haven't made a point yet. And it's like, oh. Because, like, what do you want me to talk- That's the question I would have for him so far. What do you want me to talk about? What is it that you- Because I guarantee you it's in this video, it's just I'd have to direct you to different parts, probably. Might want to freeze it again, dude. You might No? No? Okay. You can't let it take your power! Get to the book! How do I get across? Jump! You know, you should probably use your little floaty boots a little bit more, but that's fine. It's all good. So they make it through a jump. Yeah. Does he even have the floaty boots here? Yeah, I mean, you watched him do <laughs> it. Oh, that's man. Right, man. Don't worry about it. I mean, you literally watched him use it. But, okay. You know, I, I was familiar with trust? this bit. Yeah. Alright, the, the most priceless thing about this is it's not his fault. 100%. When I show the floaty boots, he looks down. Get power. Get get to the go. How do I get across? Jump! You know, you should probably use your little floaty boots a little bit more. That's <laughs> he literally <laughs> just misses he, oh, it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <It's priceless. laughs> and so, yeah, his, his brain is like, well, the first counter would be he doesn't have them. Does he even have them? It's like, I just showed them. <laughs> yeah, if you were looking, he might have noticed. Fine, it's all good. So they make it through a jump. Does he even have the floaty boots? Here? I don't know. <laughs> floaty remember. boots. Did he show them? I like how he also says the floaty boots, like, as if they're an actual thing instead of just kind of like a meme description well, of his boots flying. Like, yeah, as if cause... the floaty boots are an object that he has and has used in other films. Yeah, because that's, that's the, almost the argument he's responding to is that I've implied that Doctor Strange typically has floaty boots. Yeah, which is like, not... <laughs> kind of in the same way that he has his cape, right? Like, yeah. As if it's that object. But he doesn't have floaty boots. It was like floaty <laughs> boot magic. But, like, He's so desperate to counter, because he has to, <laughs> that's like, wait, does he even have floaty boots? It's like, what? Yes, huh. he does. <laughs> they were right he there, but that's fine. Boots, okay. I might have looked down the chat while... Ah, yeah, there you so go. You can, just, you, can, you, can, you can roll it you back. You can press the left arrow. Oh, yeah. You can press the left arrow. Yeah. Which also works in Watch like Together, seconds. by the way. But yeah, just back, press the left arrow real quick. Rewatch it. It takes you know five seconds. You know why he can't? Because now he because staked the argument as to... Uh, there's a victory for me if I can prove he has floaty boots. When what he should have done, if he was watching the video, he would have been like, that doesn't matter. But this time he was like, oh, you know, he doesn't even have floaty boots, question mark. And it's like, no, he does. He's like, oh, shit. Uh, well, you know, we don't need to, maybe he does. I don't need to check that. It's fine. Well, it's kind of like fucking... with the, the sling ring. It's like, you know, yeah. oh, yeah, that was another one. He doesn't have it. It's like, <laughs> 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 you're doing great, man. Doing real good so far. Right. shit. Jump here to the next platform, but the gosh darned pasta beast has decided to sit right in front of him. Lucky for Defender Strange, he's got that freeze move. That was powerful. No! Oh no. Oh, he just. He's, he's not got that reaction time, huh? Well, he can use it now. Big fiery cheese boy might even fall off the platform while frozen, and that would buy you a great amount of time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can throw rocks, yeah, but freezing would get you the book. I mean, we, we don't know how his magic works. Maybe the freezing was a one shot. We don't know. Very true. He yep. could have only he could only freeze once in his life, and this is where he chose to use that power. <laughs> it's a, now it's, he has to use a different power. It's a top That's why you constantly have to be learning spells, because you can only use them one time. The top comment on my uh, Doctor Strange video is someone said, could you imagine Doctor Strange's HUD in like a video game format like FPS? He's got like thousands of spells, but they're all on cooldown. <laughs> They'll have like a month cooldown. He's just like, they fill up the entire screen and all these different shortcuts he has to do to get them all out. But yeah. Oh, also. That's, uh, that's funny. I'm looking at chat there. One person said, that's his criticism. The book is said just for the audience, even though the characters within the movie already know. And then beneath that, in Mola's defense, he zooms into the sling ring uh, on Defender yep. Strange's side. It's like, mm. whoops, dude. Like, you, a couple your people in your chat are paying more attention. Yeah, they're paying more attention to the, the video than you are. Damn. Yeah, it's your stream. That's a little embarrassing, but that's all right. Maybe you could learn from chat and yeah. grow. Evolve as a critic. Do it. Do it. Evolve. You should definitely freeze it now. You can even cast spells with your free hand. Come on, man. Do it! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't let that thing take your power. You can't control it, but I can. You're killing me! I know. Damn, dude. I guess we're getting very desperate here. Defender Strange will need to perform a floop suck to get the powers in order to prevent the deep-fried space octopus from gaining that same power. This Floops process up. will kill her. 
Wait a second. So why not just kill her? Why not just fire a freeze spell at her brain? Why not throw her off the side until she splats into one of those bits out there? Or maybe just crush her head with a rock or slice it off with one of these things. Yeah. Oh my god. That's his solution? Let's brutally murder her? So you weren't paying attention. <laughs> he's already um, killing that's her. That's what Defender Strength is doing. I don't I know how he missed that. I played the clip, didn't I? I played the clip like, and well, he said the thing. You even said, you even said explicitly that the process of taking a magic kills her. One of the things that I've noticed he does, because he did this with me uh, in the video I responded to, was he likes to, he likes to try and uh, display moral outrage. Uh, so when there was the, the, the audacious claim that Ben, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi wanted Luke Skywalker to kill Darth Vader, and like, this is something that, like, everyone knows because it's the movie, uh -huh. and he, he started going on like, wow, that's so fucked up, there's no, I can't believe you read the film that way, that's unbelievable, wow, that's so, you know, and so he went into this big thing about moral outrage that, that was, that was crazy that I wouldn't even think that that's possible. I guess it's the same thing here. Because the argument is like, how super could you simple. possibly kill her? It's not about me wanting to kill her. I mean, I kind of like this. This was the problem we had with this film: was that everyone shits on Defender Strange, but he did he did everything right. Uh, and uh, he, uh, the only thing he really did wrong was what I'm talking about here. It's like, why did you, you know, opt to try and suck your powers out when you're clearly almost dead? And this thing can take them from you're, you. You're kicking the can down the road in yeah. terms of like the you bound the problem to you. And why do you even think that you could use the magic better than she can? Yeah, nobody's it's ever done only it. Only her magic. She's the only person who has it. In fact, you should probably conclude you can't control it. That's really the only information yeah, we have. Completely uncontrollable. Exactly. I mean, I guess. Also, in chat, the freezing didn't work, so he's trying something else. It did work. It did work. It worked, it worked better than well. any other move he had. Yeah. yeah, if the goal is to get to the Book of Ashanti and freezing the monster essentially puts it on pause for a while for you to get to the book, then the freezing works really, really well. It looked like he used it really easily, too. He didn't exert himself in any way. He just yeah, he tossed whoop, it out. spun around, froze it, and kept running. Like, man, use that shit. Because, yeah, if someone said, like, well, no, the grabby move is clearly better. It's like, well, no, because he's locked in position when he does that. He can keep running when he freezes it. Like, you should have just... To be honest with you, this is the thing. The only excuse you could possibly have is that it's on its massive cooldown, which is just like, why? But, but like, ice, has his spells ever worked cooldown. that way in in all of his time in, in these movies? That he doesn't seem to. I've never... It's never come across... They haven't even mentioned cooldowns. They only ever... That's kind of the problem, honestly, because I really like the style of magic he has, but it's had it's got like yeah. zero limitations. Seemingly. Holy shit, man! This is where we're going to. To yeah. See, so this is the um, part where I'd be like, "Tell me, doing it. tell me what my argument is," and all you'd have is, "You want to kill the innocent girl." Bloodlust. Like, right. Yeah. Okay. Mahler just wants to like, see blood. He wants to kill women. You have one job, like pay attention to the video. That's all you're doing here. Yeah, like. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But if you do want to watch it and criticize it for it being bad, it's like you're gonna have to at least engage in some way. Because like the, oh, off up like the, this. the big problem we often have uh, when responding to these people is that they'll they'll be like, I ain't fucking watching that shit. But then look what happens when they do watch it. It's like they don't even listen to me. It's no point. Ah, uh, fuck, man. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Perhaps you're all wondering why I'm so readily suggesting murder when we're this early into the breakdown. And that is a perfect thing for me to say right after what he just said, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Like, so, engage. This is me even throwing out that olive branch, being like, you may find this strange that I'm saying we should kill her. Even though it's set up already, but, yeah. I'm barely angry. I've not even used a swear word yet. Well, it would seem that her power is super duper destructive. A level of destruction that shall become all too clear soon enough. So, letting it fall into this profane Fettuccini's hands would surely spell utter destruction. Therefore, if Defender Strange is stealing said power, that means the creature can then draw it out of him, and he's already seriously wounded. I mean, look at this stuff. All the black goo and burns while stabbing right through could have nicked an artery. So, why not eliminate the source and eliminate the risk of it gaining the power from you mm. at the same time if you I feel like that's pretty airtight what has he got to say <laughs> you know a decent over strength no no that doesn't even he's given up he's killing her because he doesn't have any confidence
every every single retort that we've had so far has been framed like has been phrased in the form of a question. Have you noticed that? Like overconfidence? Like why are you saying it like that? You're not even sure. You don't you're, <laughs> you're even not sure even he, sure. He is not over he is not overconfident. I, no, uh, not in his eyes, he's not. They're all framed as a question. In the, in this the... brings me back to uh, arrogance, right? Why why did the why did the first order oh. destroy the base instead of the Radis, you know, and just and just won the war right there? I was like, he was arrogant. Uh, I, uh, no, this doesn't. He's losing. He has this moment of like, we're fucked. I can't beat this thing. I'm gonna have to kill America, not the country. But you know what I mean? Like, and it's like, oh damn. I don't think that's what we would call confidence. Not even close. Change is famous for his overconfidence. You need he's, the that's what he's famous for it. Yeah, he's famous Which for I, it. Which I, yeah, you know, is overconfidence is what he's famous for. That's why he chose to give up the time stone. It was overconfidence. Yep. And then you don't think we have it already, then consider the time it takes to sap the power from America. Like with how long this takes, you should definitely opt for a much more straightforward killing. Defender Strange is leaving himself. He really likes the idea of his superheroes being like really bloodthirsty monsters, right? Just oh, hard. We're not engaging with what he said. Saving the but... entire multiverse would be a monstrous thing to do. I agree. What a terrible thing to do. You might have to kill a, a, a woman and a minority, no less. So is it really worth it? I don't even know how to respond when he's like, that makes you a monster. What, he's doing it in the seat anyway. Isn't that like the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, he's already killing her. He's in I'm the process of doing it. The, the argument is he's committed to the choice of killing her. Uh, and he's chosen to do it in a way that's baffling, if that's the choice that he's going to make. It's, it's even more baffling as time goes on, because of how long it takes. Remember, it takes Wanda, like, ten years. <laughs> She's sapping her for, like, between... And, and, of course, when you think about what's happening here, right, this has taken, like, a good 15, 20 seconds. You could have, like, maybe just, like, gotten around, made some platforms, went around to grab yeah. the book, and all the time that you've fucking around here, like, not doing anything. Oh, well. Fourth, bloodthirsty. Yeah. Jesus. ...wide open to being... Blood, blood. Um, yeah. Gee whiz, it's good he didn't splatter her head with a rock. No, that would have saved that the world! Yeah, no, that would have you, saved the multiverse. You're not paying attention. Yeah. That would have been... He, he slices her head off, and then he turns around, it stabs him through the heart, and he's like, I'm dead, but my job is done. Yep, you can't take over the multiverse now, haha, -ha, we win. Yep. He, he has no idea what the criticism is. Then, isn't it? This is the thing. You can say, like, no, he does, and he disagrees. Like, no, he clearly doesn't. He hasn't actually dismantled anything I've said. He's he's talking about me being bloodthirsty, which nothing to do with anything. <sighs> so, he gets lifted up, and the Hellfire Linguini just sort of plays with him a little bit, which is weird, because it's like, whole goal is the girl. But it's very concerned about the well-being of the guy whose heart has just been split in two with some kind of spooky sludge knife that applies burn, toxic, and bleed. Uh, he's dead. Why put every one of your limbs and all your focus into him when you could easily grab her as well? Because he's the one preventing it from getting her. He's not anymore, he obstacle. dead. So not only is he dead, but you have a bunch of other limbs. Use them. Also, you could've just, you could've just thrown him away into the void. Just chuck him into the void. Use your other limbs. You know, show some level of initiative. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. The funny thing is, had uh, it grabbed her there, and then she opened a portal, it would've fallen in with her. Because this isn't surrounding that structure that stops it from falling in. So, uh, yeah, would have yeah. drastically changed the plot. Get rid of him, and then you can get to her. Man, she even used his pasta to jump on through. You'd think that would be super dangerous with the whole burning, toxic limbs, but oh well. Wait a minute. Yeah, but she doesn't want to die, so she'll take the fucking risk. Why would you take that risk when it involves uh, possible death instead of just diving? Yeah, I if I saw that thing... Do what it did to uh, Defender Strange, where it's like this acid, toxin, caustic thing that kills you. I ain't touching that. I would assume that I cannot touch it. Yeah, that would have been my me. guess. That would have been like, we can't touch that. It'll burn. Yeah. But I guess not. <laughs> All right, then. I also like how firm he was about something that is really not that big of a deal, like as a, as a point. Meanwhile, just totally missing the point. And like really unsure and unconfident in terms of making critiques of any more like substantial or meaningful points that have been made so far. Yep. 
Where did the platforms come from? Did she seriously just luck out with these pieces of rubble not falling far enough to be useless but remaining attached? Yes, maybe she lucked out. It... All right. Okay, so you agree? Just say yeah. Yeah, yeah so you say, agree. Just say, I guess she got lucky. Yeah, it's she okay. did luck out. Yeah. So the funny thing is, of she course, if the lucky. movie was great except that one thing, I'd be fine with it. I'd be like, oh, it's whatever. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, well, you know, luck happens, you know. That's how it be sometimes. Wow. To the monster enough to wow. platform that, with. Oh, wow. At, at wow. least we, wow. so the, we finally got him to agree, and it's the most upset he's been. <laughs> Damn yeah. you. Okay. So it finally grabs her and tries to engage the big suck, only for her to open a portal. With how this creature is wrapped around the structure, she doesn't quite fall in, but Defender Strange saves her by cutting the limbs off this molten bucatini, and she falls into the portal with his body to follow. Oh, really? You don't want to criticize it for not using his uh, power to, to cut her in half? Uh, you know, I... I, I What's your problem, I dude? Um, <laughs> because he's a hateful person. The funny Strange. thing is, I do criticize it for that, so... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait. You gotta let me get there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, but it, it's like, it's true. And I'm glad that he's picked up on it in a sense. Like, because he's like, if you had a problem with that, you should have a problem with this. Like, I will. I really like the, the murderer superheroes. <laughs> Fuck. What is, what? What does that even mean? <laughs> what? The murder superheroes. You mean like Batman when he killed Harvey Dead? I'm assuming you're okay with that. Or you mean like many heroes in the Marvel movies? Just well, what I'm getting at is like that. I just I give me a movie you like, and I'm sure the fucking heroes probably killed someone. It's pretty rare, actually. And it wasn't even to save the multiverse. It is. That's what I'm saying. And also, it wasn't a choice that he already committed to. It, he that was his. Cho he committed to that choice. Yeah, like, this character's already doing the thing that the you think that he, he shouldn't be doing. The fact that he isn't paying attention to that, yeah, because like you're not paying enough attention to the video, even though it's the one thing you're meant to be doing. You see, the power of the portal sucks them both right in. Pretty damn lucky for her that he chose to save her instead of kill her in this moment, since that probably would have been more definitive as a way to save the multi. Never mind, never mind. There, there. <laughs> so it's, it's bad either way, then. Like, <laughs> I can't wait on that one. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right then. Oh my yep. god, these guys are weird. This very weird. Why? Make arguments. It's also pretty damn lucky that the creature doesn't fall in with her, especially considering its knowledge of her power. It should probably want to fall in with her. But it's also pretty damn lucky. I'm being kind when I say that. It should have been commanded to follow. It should have fallen yeah. in as a result of Scarlet Witch's flames, whatever. He was still able to cast a spell at that point. It's not exactly a commonality to live that long. Oh my god. This what? is this is just fiction writing, dude. Fiction. fiction. It's fiction. It's so fiction be anything. where your heart gets split in half and you're alive for like a while, is it? That's yeah. That was all I was saying. It's I fiction. feel like it's easy to agree with and move on. You could be like, yeah, sure. This is the thing. You you can just watch the video and be like, as much as I think what he's saying is true, I just don't think he's grasping like the the entertainment value of films. And I feel like this could be the kind of approach that kind of ruins it for you. And I'd be like, I can understand why you'd think that, but then obviously the counter would be that there are several films that improve with this approach. So, you know, what do we do then? But we'll never get there, because he just wants to disagree with everything I say, <laughs> no matter what. You, you, you write things for dramatic effect. Yeah. Uh, if everything's practical, it's going to get fucking boring. I'm no. sorry that you live in a. No, what, you think the real world is boring? No, no, don't also, say shit. Also, it's not about practicality. Like no, it's not. Yeah, but First, also, don't this isn't say a matter of practicality. Like it's not even. Yeah, it's, unless by that word he simply means it follows from rules that have been set in place, be it from understanding the universe in the fiction, internal inconsistency, or just understanding how things work from outside. And if that was his argument, I'd just be like, yeah, what do you mean? Lord of the Rings is pretty good. It's not exactly following reality, so. I don't know, like, the, the, the trying to be, because it, it, I hate when they do that, when they're like, oh, you guys just, you hate anything that's not contemporary reality, I guess. Just like, no? Because you usually get, uh, the, they'll, they'll shit on, like, the inconsistency of that. They'll be like, you like Star Wars, but you don't like this. Do you know how many holes there are in Star Wars? And you'll be like, all right, we can have a look at that, can't we? Yeah, we can. Also, yes, we do. So, yeah, there's lots. Have a discussion there's a regular it, yeah. dude with your heart split in two, especially when you're stabbed by some fantasy shit. But also, where were those slicey things in the whole fight? You could have been firing off a bunch of those things, man. He didn't counter that one. 
Yeah, he let that one slide. Do you think it's because there isn't one? Like, what could you say? <laughs> he could have just... He, he should have gone to before the whole... It's on a cooldown. We don't know oh, they, how it they works. They just came off cooldown, that's why. Yeah, they, they were yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Lucky that they just came off cooldown while he was still alive so that he could actually do that. Oh, yes. yeah. All right, so not a great start. We got like... Wow, this is so goddamn nitpicky. I mean, nitpicky. holy shit. Saving the multiverse. So, nitpicky. I mean, it's funny because it's not because a lot of the criticisms that were in there, some of them you even admitted were nitpicks, but then it's like, this is the beginning of the movie. And if it plays out differently, like, substantially differently, depending on the things that you brought up, the whole movie changes completely. Yeah, and I, I feel like I engage with what the scene is about. All of the significant stakes that are yeah. established. Like, what did I, what do you want me to say about that scene? Well, nothing about the, the, the criticisms of the scene escape the confines of the scene, because it's all chronological. It's all very much focused on what's happening in that scene. I want him to tell me, like, what was what was the interesting thing to say about that scene? Was there one thing that you agreed with or thought, yeah, yeah? There were things he agreed with, but he can't, like, remember or recognize that he agreed with them. Well, I think he, he agreed, agreed with, with them grudgingly, or he didn't even realize he agreed with them. It's kind of funny. <laughs> well, he thinks um, if he agrees with Mahler, then Mahler gets, like, a point. Yeah. Yeah, like, like Mahler scores. My existence. Like, we can't have that. Yeah, he loses if he agrees with Mahler. He has to disagree with Mahler everything. Like, watching a video, yeah. Wow. And see, I feel like we don't do this. I feel like when we cover people that we even think are pretty bad as creators, we'll be like, oh, no, that was a good point. That's fair. No, if, if they say a good thing, it's it's a good. Minutes in in the narrative. Is he, is he just, is he just going to go over the whole movie point by point? Yes, motherfucker. Yeah. Why'd you say that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> like, wouldn't want to do that. Wouldn't want to go over the whole yeah. movie point by point. Ew. Is already falling apart, but that doesn't mean the rest of the movie isn't absolutely awesome. So let's jump in. We see our Doctor Strange is alive and well, good old Benedict Cumberbatch. He is starting up his day, grabbing his watch, and dressing well for a wedding. Upon taking a seat, he is greeted by Doctor West. Who? Don't you worry there, viewer. Nobody remembers the first movie, so. <laughs> I don't remember Doctor West. I just don't remember. It's so. This is such a, once again, he has to disagree. He's like, I remember it. It's, like, it's fine if you don't. It is fine if you don't. That's the meme. I don't. Yeah. So, look at the confused expression. I think he's about to ask a question because he can't quite remember who he is. Oh. Well, that's what he did. He, he That's what he did ask. He said, I remember him. Is that weird? I think is what he said. Don't you worry there, viewer. Right, Nobody right. remembers the first movie, so. I remember Dr. West from the first movie. Is that weird? Kind of, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I, I would right. I mean, say, yeah, that is strange to remember him. So this, so this I guess thing, I, I would have said, I remembered him, but I do think it's weird to remember Dr. West, because he's in very little of the movie. Very little. Yeah. Um, and so we're like, well, so you think yourself weird? I'd be like, oh, I mean, yeah, I feel like I remember That's more about the MCU weird. than the average person, probably. It's part of the job I do, I guess, so it makes sense that I've got a bit of... But, you know, yeah, it's just a little joke. Because a lot of people will legit think, wait, this guy was in the other movie? He'd be like, he was. He was in the other movie. Pretend he's a new character. Why not? They have a conversation. I see you're having fun watching me suffer. Yeah, this is... This is so goddamn nitpicky. It's like, yeah, maybe you don't know the exact... Ooh. What are these free thinkers doing in chat? Technically, he's not nitpicking because these have tremendous effects on the plot. Yeah, it's not uh -oh. working. What are you doing uh -oh. here? Yeah. Get out of here. Off. That also, someone up there says, I'm pretty sure sucking out the power is what's killing her, uh, and just <laughs> killing her won't give him the, her powers. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, you're kind, of, you're kind of on the track there, at least, of recognizing, like, the broader point that's being made. Yeah. Also, Dr. Strange said, yeah, I am killing you, so. Some of these yeah. guys are paying more attention to the video than you are. They should be doing the channel. <laughs> it should be there yeah. in the video, damn it. Yeah, it should be our channel, comrade. Act rules, they purposely... Don't tell you the exact rules so they can do weird shit. Uh, what? what? They um, purposefully don't tell you the rules so they can do weird shit. Oh, that that could be an issue. Right. Um. The whole point is, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll do weird shit, but, you know, you'll have a, a firm enough grasp on the rules that... You see, this nothing but media keeps trying to defend it. Uh, 
We know nothing about this version of Strange. His physiology could be completely different. What we do know is that it doesn't kill him. You know, being it stabbed does kill the heart. Him. It does he's kill him. He's a human. He's he's a kill human. Him. He is human. Well, it yeah, does what kill is, him. He's he's dead. He dies. He dies. From it. Why would you make that argument? Why would you say that it, we don't know if it kills him? What do you think did kill him? Do you think he just had a coincidental brain aneurysm? Yeah, he got a stroke from going Not through the lucky. portal. It was too shocking. He was like, ah. Oh my god, a star. You know, we, we won't go too far out, but uh, Jesus. Mm. And I have to say, I was getting so lost in terms of the tone that they were going for here. Let, let's just go through it. Doctor Strange, Doctor West. Don't have seen you. Uh, Taki 75. I think the main problem with Phase 4 movies is that they are less MCU, more Raimi, Watiti, and Kugler movies. Um, I don't know if I'd... Qu I don't think I'm quite in agreement with you there. And I agree with that response. That, that isn't the problem. Yeah. That is not the problem. The problem is they're written like shit. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think Phase Four is just a little rough, kind of like Phase One was a little rough. It they're just getting oh, set up. Oh, come on. It's, uh, perfect. I, it's just I a little it's... rough, like Phase One. Okay, oh, okay. if only we could go back to Phase One. Yeah. <laughs> if, if only. only we yeah. Return to those. Um, those healthy. I actually days. kind of prefer the movies that have kind of a director's feel. Like I like that Doctor Strange Two had a Raimi feel. Um. I like the Watiti feel in Thor, but the that script definitely could have been tighter. Oh, <laughs> look yeah, at that. That's the that. closest you can get a criticism. It could have been yeah. tighter. <laughs> the, script, the script could have been tighter. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And actually, that that's probably my problem with Quanda Forever. I didn't really get much of a Coogler feel from that one. I think just because of That's the problem with it. I just thought okay. it was shit. Sorry. Mm. Not, whether or not it's a Coogler movie is just... Use, uh, I didn't really feel his voice in that. In a while. Yeah, I was a little preoccupied being dust there for five years. This guy is understandably a bit of a downer, but our hero is looking to set a more jovial tone. Things are chill. Shane Cash, yes, Rob. That's ex Oh, uh, actually, I'm Bob, dude, by the way. But that's exactly what he's going to do, overanalyzing every single scene. Oh. The n oh, the nerve. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You've been going through the whole movie. Just tell me how to correctly analyze that. You have to give me an example. You just you keep bastard. saying I'm doing it wrong. How am I supposed to learn? Gary. Alex, do I think Sam Raimi should direct the college trilogy and bring Danny Elfman to score it? Um... I am absolutely not against that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Comparatively. And, you know, this is a wedding, and of course he's been unavailable. He was blipped, as they say. But then this happens. Yeah, I was a little preoccupied being dust there for five years. So were a lot of us. Damn. All right, then. We're going a bit more serious with the conversation. And you know what? It's actually refreshing to show the results of the snap, to take it seriously. While I was gone, thank you for asking, I lost both my cats. Oh, okay, so it is more of a joke then. We are kind of making light about this. Uh, I don't know if it's quite making light. Number one, the next line is going to be his brother, but I mean, are you, I feel like you're just going to show that scene next. Yeah, yeah. that would follow, <laughs> yeah, in, the, yeah, that yeah, would follow in the pattern. pattern. You figured yes. it out. You yeah, got you it. figured it out. Um, but yeah. You can learn. Uh, it is possible. Would you not care about losing your cats? I... That's... You the... That's... He did it Just again. Like... He's taken my point and turned it on me as though I didn't say it. He doesn't realize- I don't know if he's watching the visual. My argument for the tonal shift is in the rolling of Doctor Strange's eyes. Yeah, pretty much. I should have zoomed on it, me. I guess, to let people know we'll put an well, arrow. I mean, it's the structure of the point that you're making. Oh, we're gonna be serious, and then, oh, lost the cats. It's like, oh, oh, I guess we're going for a bit of a, a jokey sort of vibe here. It's like, the that's the point that you're making. And you got someone, I can't believe he couldn't get the tone of this scene. They are two people who didn't really like each other, forced to make small talk at a social occasion. No, it's that the tone keeps switching. Yep. It's not that it's an awkward tone. It isn't an awkward tone, unless you count a meta-awkward tone of the fact that I feel awkward because I don't know what the film is trying to do. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count. That's not the same thing. This isn't The Office. That would hurt. <laughs> they probably starved to death. You won't want that to happen to your cats. I agree. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like that was my point, you fucking... What are you doing? Situation now? I lost both my cats. And my brother. I'm very sorry. Uh, so the tone is serious then? Also, why have Benedict... Well, maybe he cared about his cats. You know, from his perspective, they haven't been gone that long. Dude! 
What is Come happening? On. He's completely off the rails. Like, he has no idea what I'm saying anymore. Batch roll his eyes at the loss of cats. Feels a little bit weird. Yeah, cats aren't people, but if you had two pets potentially die because you got blipped. Wait, wait, wait. You're criticizing- It's not that I'm confusing, saying... man. <laughs> it really isn't that confusing. <laughs> so straightforward, um, what the hell? This is really... Ah. Uh... You know, they he say that we got. Understand your words. They say we have really shit media comprehension. I'd be like, you have shit YouTube video comprehension. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the cats died are comedic, but yet you're also criticizing it because Doctor Strange is rolling his eyes at it. That was always so the you, criticism. You doubled that. Yeah, the criticism is it is serious because cats, like, they're living creatures. They matter. People There's people who it. care more about their cats than their family members. Like, it's easy to lay it out. The film is like, we're gonna be serious. Oh, I lost my cats. Doctor Strange rolls his eyes. <laughs> and then, wait a minute, but cats are alive and people care about their cats. That's, that's terrible. And my brother is like, oh, okay, so now we are being serious again. That's confusing, yeah. totally. That's Weird. the point. It's, that's it. That was it, yeah. You don't have to disagree with everything that, like, is it's said so, in the video. It's especially fucking telling when the way he disagrees with me is by making my point. Like... By making your points like, and not so, realizing that they're your points. Yeah. Lost. He's done that a few times. Because he's treating it... Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I, 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 so something I'm noticing as well is that, like, it seems like his last resort when he, his, like, his thought process hits a dead end is to go, Ugh! Oh, uh, it's just so bad. Oh, I'd explain oh, why it's bad, ugh. but I ugh. like every single time he reaches a dead end, he just resorts to that. Putting you his know what I mean, guys. You know, you got it. You know exactly. You yeah, can figure you, it out. You, know. you can do the legwork for me. It's not like this is my job here. And you return to find them five years on in your house, which would be no time at all from your POV. It could be horrifying. <laughs> Yep, yep. And you know, in the original cut, uh, there was a visual that was actually of what it looks like to find an animal several years on, and I cut it because I was just like, it's too rough, and it's going to bring up yeah. maybe some bad memories for some people, possibly. Yeah. I was like, there's no need. I could just put a wholesome picture and imply. That's all I need right. to do. The apple. Exactly. Anyway, West begins to ask if there was anything that could have been done to have a different outcome, whether this was the only thing the event... Yes, nothing but media. It's awkward. It's supposed to be... Yes, thank you. That's exactly... Why haven't you been scene. reading the points that people have said yeah. in the chat where they've <laughs> been disagreeing with you? Avoid You've been avoiding those. I, uh, chat ain't scrolling fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> he's <laughs> like, I could read all of it. Somebody comes in and is like, don't you lie to me. <laughs> like, That's why I have to look down at my phone. Yeah, I couldn't have it on the screen that I'm using. Um, That'd be madness. Yeah, and, and, and to like that that wasn't a counter to anything I said. Like it's supposed to be between two awkward people. That's all. It's awkward. There you go. That answers everything. It's supposed to be awkward. <laughs> Just could do. Was there any other path? No, I'm the only play we had. It's unfortunate that Benedict Chunderbatch is still under the impression that there was no alternative in those movies. But hey, it's fine. Moving on. The best. Let me guess, this genius has some sort of side plan that would have worked brilliantly. No, no, no. It, it wouldn't require genius level intellect. Oh, no, no genius, no. No, we, no genius is necessary. It's sad the that the actual genius the in the universe didn't know. You just gotta watch the film. The idea that there's only one way that they could have won, and me. that it's what happens in Infinity War and Endgame? Fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah, that's are, absurd. There are countless plans that are better than the plan they did that is the plan they did with a tweak. Just any exactly any the book, plan so. they did with the tweak is an easy one even if you did all of the we have to lose an infinity war and we have to do the time heist to get the stones you could have had the tweak of yeah we 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 bring we bring everybody back and we like reverse time or something or like we find some sort of workaround that doesn't result in well if we can one of the most fundamental one of the most know? fundamental and straightforward to understand tweaks of all time when he says we've got limited pin particles like so get more. Get more. Exactly. That, get this, more. This is Make a tweak to the plan that makes the plan way better already. There's no denying I guess denying in terms this. of focusing in at the very least on the consequences for people, it's like, yes, you should have accounted for, I think I called them snap adjacent deaths, all yeah. the deaths that happened during that five year period, like of, you know, family members or people who died in accidents relating to the snap, illnesses and everything because there were a few of those right because uh monica rambo like her mum died during the snap too like during that period that that would happen to a lot of people that really sucks but of course dr strange made a choice that wasn't very bad for him pretty okay for him 
and other people really got the short end of the of uh, yeah. the stick. Like this guy here, Doctor What's his name? I just West, remember him yeah. as I uh, Andy from the Steve Jobs movie. Uh, yeah, like it, it. It's not. It's not about being a genius to figure out like all of the problems with the the plan that they used. It was probably the worst one. It's one of the worst um, successful plans you can have, I think, right? It's Yes, one of the worst successful plans, and there's somehow, a lot yeah. of negative consequences for a lot of people, especially considering that this is all assuming that you couldn't have won in yeah. Infinity War, which, let's get real, if you stopped Peter Quill, like, are you telling me you would have lost? No. No. Like, come on, of yeah. course you wouldn't have lost. Um, you would have won. You would have gotten the, the, the stones. And talking about, like, a fundamental easy tweak that I want you to agree with, it's like, warning the world of the incoming recovered blip people and if yeah the only argument i could th think of for that to like to counter it would be like yeah well if you tell the governments they might try and stop you but then why would they do that it's like well probably because why they recognize the what an insane fucking thing you're doing dropping mm. trillion oh uh, yeah like would well they, yeah, stop you from from dropping across the whole universe yeah. like quadrillions maybe septillions whatever possibly. yeah whatever the number it's this is the thing it, it would be funny because like the government might stop us why because our plan is insane and stupid <laughs> like mm -hmm. oh right and yeah we didn't we didn't confer with him in any way also didn't not. kevin feige say it was half of living things so it's kind of it's kind of real unlucky for him that both of his cats uh survived yeah. only to starve to death in his apartment that was well so funnily enough that is the presumption because dr west says uh so did a lot of us related to the blip but the thing is like if he... you take a was he no. talking about himself or was he talking about yes. how his cats and his brother blipped no he no so while he, blipped, he was gone and, that, because... and while he was gone yeah that's what yeah because that's my assumption because uh he wouldn't he wouldn't be saying it this way right he'd be like oh it's so he good to have it. them back but he says i lost them like so they yeah but they died during but he that says time. while i was gone yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay just making sure because um you could try and make the argument it's like he's not talking about them being dead or something he's like no i think he is based on his feelings i'm sure surgeon and the best superhero but you still didn't get the girl I'm sorry, what? It seems to me we committed to a somber atmosphere, appreciating those who died after a bit of a tonal back and forth, only to end the conversation with a playground level snipe at not getting the girl. We were talking about the many dead and how the world almost ended. Time and a place, man. In fact, I don't think Dr. West would say something like this at all. I think the theme is barging in and forcing him to say this. More on. Well, yeah, number one, yes, this is a theme thing, but like, are you getting the impression that Dr. West and Dr. Strange were like best buds or something? No, it's if you could just address no. what I said. Yeah. Also, it seemed like this weird, out of nowhere playground insult. Ha ha! But you didn't get the girl. Ha ha! Which yeah, sucks we're here at her wedding. She's which, not getting married to you. Yeah, which is out of whack with the first set of comments. Which is, if you think of your Doctor West and you have some animosity for Doctor Strange already, but you're also under the impression that all this happened because of a choice he may have made that he didn't have to make. Something better could have happened. You come up to him and you make all of that clear. And then on top of that, you just go, well, you're an incel. <laughs> like, no, what? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it's like, yeah, it is a theme thing. It's like, right, but the point is that it's very inelegant, yeah. right? Like, surely you also... would agree that the theme can be implemented in a story in a way that is cohesive or uh, It has to make sense for the character to engage with a theme like that. Yeah, Why yeah. is Dr. West engaging with the theme of the movie in this way here? You know exactly. what you could have done? Uh, if you want to nail it for the theme and for the character, you have Dr. West say something like, well, maybe we shouldn't focus on what we've lost. You know, I uh, uh, ret being returned to my wife meant more to me than, than anything. Something like that. And then the camera pans over to Rachel. And it's like, oh. Sorry, is it Rachel? <laughs> Rachel McAdams is her name. Christine Rachel McAdams, is yeah. It's Christine. <laughs> oh, you know, I, was I was thinking of Catherine. Rachel God from... I was thinking of Rachel then from Batman. Rachel! <laughs> Rachel! Do you understand what I thought? Like, you could, uh, that's absolutely set up the theme of what he's dealing with with Christine, but simultaneously I think that would be in character. But instead, they went for... Nah, nah, you didn't get the girl. Because <laughs> it's you not very well written. World. She's marrying someone else other than you. Also, this nothing but media guy. He's 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 rolling out all the best counters. He's he's rolling his eyes because he said the cats first, which indicates he cared more about them than his brother, which Strange finds odd. You think of anything wrong with that, Freaky? He's rolling his eyes. He he was shocked when he heard that it was his brother. Like that stuff. Meaning he him. did not know that his brother he did had not died. No, he might not have even known that he had a brother for or all cats. we know. 
He didn't know about any of it. He's rolling his eyes. It's like it's very straightforward. He he doesn't care. Let's yeah, exactly. This is this is how it's meant to be read, as intended, basically by the filmmakers. Oh, my cats died. Wow, your cats. Oh yeah, and my brother. Oh damn, sorry. That's how the scene's meant to be read. Yeah, Doctor Strange is like, we've lost all kinds of heroes, and you're complaining about your fucking cats. But then when he says brother, he's like, oh okay. Okay. And then, of course, the fact that he would even be, like, upset about, like, the fact that he would even find it stupid that he's upset about the cats anyway. It's just weird. It's a weird fucking scene. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. You want me, like... <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Something oh, well. I'm confused. No, I know later. you're So, confused. Benedict's Cabbage Patch then looks on at Rachel. Uh, I... uh, you get it? He mispronounced his name. <laughs> yeah, I'm how not... come that's not racist? <laughs> <laughs> I just as, and, and also if plus privilege. If someone said to me like, "I bet you think you're really fucking clever mispronouncing a name," good for you. I'd be like, "Dude, it's it isn't clever. It's just a little joke." Like, I'm fun here. I bet you, I bet you that a lot of people fucking, do. I bet you think you're uh, fucking clever. <laughs> just have a little bit of fun here with Bundy Stunch Gungerbrink's name. It's fine. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's fine. It's a little. It's like nobody got it's hit. It's a did little they? meme. Never it's heard that one from these type of guys before. It's very original. <laughs> Means yes, because every single joke anyone ever makes is one hundred percent original. That's how it works. It was Jokes weren't it. invented until Bendy Dick Cumbersnunch was born, born and <laughs> became a then and then humor was you know, brought into the world because of his silly name. They do his name. They were like, "What if we called him Benedict?" Just just because it's just because it would be crazy. He's like, "Let's do it. Let's birth a series of jokes." Sarah, Abigail. It's the girl from the other movie, Jennifer, uh, Chris, Chris, Regina George, from her most famous role. See, he gets the name wrong. It's funny. It's funny. And plus, no, he can't can remember the name. The joke is that she's barely in the first movie. I'm sorry. That, that's yeah. the idea. Uh, only that he gets the name wrong is that he can't remember the name. The other part to this that gets explained later that I think informs it is that they kind of like Pepper Potts her to some degree. Pepper Potts has better treatment. She disappeared between movies, and he's been in a lot of movies since, and so it's like, she doesn't feel relevant at all. Like, oh, remember this person? You're like, no. It's like, oh, well, she's very important to Doctor Strange. It's like, oh. It was a little bit awkward. You, you, it's probably better if you could at least keep, uh, keep some throwaway lines going, or one reference or two here or there. But yeah, to me, she's Regina George, okay? And to a lot of people, she's Regina George. See, he gets the name wrong. It's funny. It's funny. And plus, he can add a scene from Mean Girls and bulk out this time. I'm sick. Boo, you whore. After the that's ceremony, a funny, she pop- that's funny. It's I, just funny. I, what, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. It, so, jokes aren't allowed? Or are jokes just padding the time of the thing? I don't know. He was, <laughs> was this humorless fuck. I. Um, I think we're all the same. If we can reference a piece of media and we know a funny part of it and throw it in, just so everyone can be like, yeah, Mean Girls, that, that was a strange movie that came out that was kind of fun. It's like, yeah, yeah, move it on. Like, but he's, like, upset by this. Pops over for a drink, and... Glass of red, please. All out me, miss. Little girl on the nose. Not for you at my wedding? That was perfect. <laughs> what are you, Dr. Jesus now? Man, you gotta wonder about the applications of converting molecules into, well, any other molecules at will. You know, you could probably beat anybody by turning the fluids in their brain to wine, but well, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just overanalyze every fucking thing. That's it's awesome. overanalyzing. Yeah. The fact that he could transmogrify matter into different matter, and then you <laughs> wonder, man, when the stakes of the universe, you know, are at hand... Ooh, hmm. I just uh, that's you know, interesting. You know, like, the scene where Iron Man suits up, and then someone says joyfully, "Man, think of the people he could take on with this. I'm sure he could protect the world against anyone." And then organized chaos is like, "Why are you overanalyzing it? Let it just be what it is. Why are you talking <laughs> about the potential of the power of the suit? Just watch the movie." Oh, sorry. What? Just you know, there was me thinking that when you establish power. Uh, like it means to... something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like power is yeah. a important element to the plot because it allows you to do things. Yeah, Madness. It really boosts agency. It'll sort of let you know how things can turn out ahead of time. But yeah, it's fine. You know, it's it's a superhero fucking story. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, it's a superhero yeah. fucking anyway, story. This is why they shit, by the way. <laughs> like nobody gives a fuck. They're all like, whatever. I wish I'd have been different. I never stopped caring about us, but I. Have- 
Uh, Alex, is there any Spidey villain you I think Ra Raimi would gravitate towards if he came back? <sighs> well, unfortunately, he was done in Amazing Spider-Man, but I think he would be tempted to do uh, Lizard because he had him set up in his trilogy. So I, it was I, I, that, I it was Vulture. I think was who he had set up or Mysterio. No, he's talking about Doctor getting... Connors was in the trilogy, so he's technically. Set oh up. Yeah, yeah, right, sure. But the but thing I mean, is, like. Uh, I think Mysterio Raimi was on board. Was next, right? Yeah, Mysterio was on board. With, oh, sorry, Raimi was on board to do Mysterio, Vulture, and uh, Doctor Connors. I think. Yeah. I, I think the only one he didn't want to do was Venom, right? <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to do Venom. Something with a lizard. You have to make sacrifices to protect you. Benedict Cumberbins. Also, someone said he has a god complex. That was the point of the first movie in response to the Jesus comment. Seriously. I'm talking oh, about the ability, turns... not that he, like, justify him being like Jesus. He has a god complex. <laughs> I, he turns water into wine because he has a Jesus complex. <laughs> Therefore, he can't use that in any other way other than to let us know that he has a Jesus complex. Oh. Okay. What a defense. All right. Okay. explains that he couldn't make it work make because sense. of sacrifices right. that came with the job, that he wanted to protect Regina, which is a common problem superheroes have, but she says it's more so that he always had to be the one holding the knife, the one who wields the power, the one who makes the decisions, something she couldn't love. Well, okay, I guess we are going to try and comment on what's happening in his personal life versus his hero work, something sorely lacking in his recent outings. We're even asking him whether he... Are you talking about Spider-Man Nowhere Home, where he was a... No way home. <laughs> Nowhere home. That's like it's like a caveman. Where do you live? Me nowhere home. <laughs> Why can't he get anything right? Like <laughs> you refuse you guys, it. You wonder. Don't don't make a YouTube channel if you can't get anything right ever. Don't do that. I'd have had nowhere home. <laughs> That's almost as good as when I accidentally said Spider Man. No more hope. No more <laughs> hope. <laughs> um. Oh god, I don't even, the funny thing is, this section, what I just said there is obviously me setting up, there's a point they're going to be making and I think they do it really badly, but hey, foundationally there's something here. This is like the one time you can agree with me, okay? There's no harm in agreeing with me here. She couldn't love. Well, okay, I guess we are going to try and comment on what's happening in his personal life versus his hero work, something sorely lacking in his recent outings. We're even asking him whether he... Are you talking about Spider-Man Nowhere Home, where he was a supporting hmm. character? Yeah. Oh, if he's why, a supporting character, go... then... See, it's the meta. He's a supporting character. Therefore, we can't have him doing these things. Do you remember when Black, he's a supporting character. Black Panther was a supporting character in Civil War and had a better arc than both movies of Black Panther arcs that were in? You know, like a... Yeah, I do remember. <sighs> which is bullshit, because he's, uh, he's only supposed to be a supporting character in that. Yeah, so that was what I hate about that. What the hell's going on, guys? No, stay in your lane, Black Panther. It's like, how many movies is... He was in Infinity War, Endgame, and Nowhere... No, Got me saying <laughs> no way home. Um, yeah, no so home, there's yeah. three blockbusters that he's a part of in a significant way, and they didn't do anything for him in terms of what he's going through personally. It's, it's it was all just he's there to cast spells. That's a shame, I think. The the best you could say is that they they did a good job of him and and Tony clashing and stuff. He's like, yeah, that was cool. Pity there's not more. And his response is like, hey, it's a supporting character, boo, boo. Go in depth with Doctor Strange's. Story. I also and... really like the sort of gaps you put between words to make it sound even more crazy. That really He's makes just me adding the runtime of his stream. Yeah, it's not a very cool, my dude. It's not even a funny role. joke. What? Ugh. He's happy. Truly, I'm just glad that you're happy. Are you? A complicated question for a man who leads a life like his, especially on top of trying to address a core reason for him to take so much distance. I think that if they manage to... Oh, we got like one minute of character and Shuma Gorath shows up. Sorry, I mean Gargantos. We can't go five seconds without the action scene mandate literally crashing into anything close to a meaningful scene. <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, that's common and... Oh. It's yeah, oh, oh, have like, you ever considered right. that it's you common? Defer to matter. You can't def you, like he he can't help but defer to the matter. I thought he my point was that it's time. it's common. I'm annoyed the that point that's is the case. That it's annoying. Yeah, that it robs you of a scene that could be more meaningful for the characters. And you're like, well, yeah, but a lot of films do that. So what? Uh, it's standard operating procedure. It's tradition. Okay then. Appeal to tradition, fine. 
I didn't feel the the scene really interrupted because you know weasel it stomping day things. literally interrupts. He he wants to do more things, and then a car crashes in the background. He has to leave. It's loud oh, car crash. By I'm sure you're gonna God, you're gonna nitpick this thing because there is a, a I do have an issue with the scene coming up. Oh. Oh, oh, let's see if tell, they match. Please tell let's me what it is match. so that we can know if you'll Ooh, agree with me ahead of time instead of just making one up that I didn't say. You know, come on. Do the whole okay. write it on a card and then weak, reveal this... it to the camera whenever yeah. it pops up. Yeah, it'd be one fun. should hopefully be all right. Look, you've even got this really cool superhero suit up thing going on here. All right, look, I'll just play the scene for as long as I can and I'll say stop when something tizzy happens. That's a reasonable way to do it. So what, you just play the scene instead of going to important parts? Cool. That's a great way to do your video. I mean, so, like, it is. Yeah, clearly it's, it made, you didn't made understand the point that's yeah. being... It's a but joke. Also, it's like, a, you missed setup. the point. The point is, I'm going to let the scene play until something bad happens, and then two seconds go by. It's like, <laughs> yes, oh, shit. All right, that's yep. the joke. Here we are. But oh well. Never mind. So, yeah, this is literally going to be the whole fucking movie. Uh, <laughs> I think you um, meant video. Well, I mean, I think you meant video, but also kind of the whole movie. Yeah, uh, pretty much. If if he means this video is going to be the whole movie, then yeah, that's 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 my format. That's what I offer. I basically yeah. like, I will try and cover everything. Stop! I uh, what the fuck? You guys seeing this? I'm slowing it down so you can understand the pain. Why in the fumigated fuck did you just spawn an enormous undead cat head to bite half a car that was going to land on this lady? I didn't even know this was a thing you could do. Why is this a thing you can do? Why couldn't you open a damn portal to the desert and drop the car in there, safe and sound? Like, do you understand what you even did here? The car is pushed in a different direction thanks to the cat head, but it's still going. Meaning it hits this poor guy in the taxi. You must have seen him as you arrived. Pretty wrecked of you there, Mr. Superhero, but who cares? The Accords certainly don't. Oh, man. So, we quickly discover that... Uh, I'm waiting for him to... Let's say something? You. Yeah, say something. America. Do it! You want a Pokemon with a stick. Oh, my God. This is very painful. Oh. Is it Explain just, why just... it's painful. Come on. Come on. Say something. <laughs> Come on, say something! This is... Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Okay. I, well, is there a point where he gets to this and then... Here, this is interesting. Look at the bottom comment by Archmage Frey. If the talking at the wedding scene had gone... Ugh, fuck, I don't want more videos to pop up. And if the if the talking at the wedding scene... Yeah, that, that more videos overlay has popped up when I pause it. So give me Oh, well, I can read it if you want. Um, is this yeah, a, is it, a cross yeah. in the top right of that block, if you will? You should be able to a find cross it. The... You can cross it off is what I'm saying. I I can't find it, no. Um, if because uh, for, for me it's almost invisible, but I know it's there. So, with that whole block at the top right of it, if you hover over it, you should eventually see your cursor turn into a hand, and that's when you're on the cross. I don't have a cross. It just it, I can click more videos. Um, well, sorry, I don't get an X. I I know what you're saying. All if I I can I can see it in full. It says. If the talking at the wedding scene had gone on, uh, the argument would be, this is a superhero film, not a romantic drama. Where's the action? Oh uh, yeah, that sounds like something you would say. That's me. Which is, <laughs> that's, this is exactly what organized chaos does. He appeals to that meta element, and he assigns it to you, when this is something that he's done multiple times already in his video. Well, if you remember, my praise of the father was mainly about the action scenes. It was more so, <laughs> like, that was my focus, I would say. Maybe just talk well, no, about No, because that. that's not a superhero film, so your brain switched into the mode of reviewing it like it wasn't uh, a superhero. okay. You fool. Yeah, exactly. Damn movie. Um, oh, okay, so... Oh, he's not going to explain what's wrong with the scene? Nope. Oh, okay. Final battle begins. No, no, the... you have to tell us what you have a problem with in the scene, and if We're it matches... We're moving on, Rags! <laughs> We're no! done with that chapter. Okay, so this is the most replayed section. I don't know. Aftermath and end. Okay, so we're gonna go to this. Mo By the way, this this is like the death of uh, like UI. He has his he has his name, but it's not at the top left. It, there's still space at the top, so that it covers up some of the chat. Yeah. And the chat sort of it doesn't go all the way up either, and it covers up some of his video. And then you've got this gray space at the bottom middle that's not being used. It feels so and like then thrown you have together. His, 
Yeah, yeah it's I wasn't, just, it's I wasn't just... going to say anything, but now that you brought it up, having organized chaos in the top left and then the watermark as well, like at the bottom, what does that say? What does that say? That is, the that is yeah. Logo. It's it's a different it's... logo though. Like it's a little bit different. Oh, I was about to say, did it say something different? It's like no, it's it's this. That's just you don't need one. it twice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, well, know, you say you say enough. it's smaller, but like um. The chaos part is actually bigger than it is. It's actually, of... a lot bigger. Yeah, it's but it's again, bigger and yeah, in relationship in to the organized, yeah, the yeah. chaos is bigger, but it's also only outlines. So when it's smaller, that can be a lot more difficult to kind of make out. Like this if you is... didn't know that already said chaos, you probably wouldn't know that that's what it said. Yeah, this is a mess. Um, this looks pretty bad. You've got to do better, Senator. <laughs> what does pride in your work mean? <laughs> that's true. What does that mean? Only classic memes. <laughs> three and a half hours. He spends the first three and a half Whoa. hours just going over the fucking movie. But you, you don't you... understand what that means, though, anyway, because like you haven't properly engaged with uh with what's been happening so far. So yeah, like when has. you say when he says like he spends three and a half hours on the movie, it'd be interesting. It's like what what does what do you think that means? Like what exactly do you think that that means by way of the things that you talk about in that that stretch of time? I'd be so curious I what his answer is. His response I say, would be I the, say that. I'm not that curious. Honestly. His response would be that what he saw in that 10 minutes, but times however many to fill up the three and a half hours. That's what he... But he didn't even watch the 10 minutes. Well, he like, agreed with some problem. of it without even realizing, too. Exactly. He didn't know. And, like, nine times out of 10, like, his criticism just ended with... It's it's a oh jeez yeah. oh, like that's it. it. Oh, my God. Give it a Christmas. He has, he's made barely any points, like, at all. <laughs> And, and a lot of the that points he's made, he's made again, well, either, uh, uh, or phrased as a question because he's not even sure that what he's saying is well, a point if we can, at all. We can highlight that's one of the best comments in chat uh, from Santiago's videos and stuff. Mola doesn't make sense about this criticism. Very true. Very true. You don't even make any sense about this criticism. About this criticism, <laughs> yeah. You got me. <laughs> Fuck, man. Ah, yeah, there it is. Because we're currently oh. writing a character arc payoff and it would get in the way. Which means, with America's newfound control, Bert and Ernie Cranberry Snatch tells her to get out yeah. of here and she says... Well, thank you. Meaning she really does have full control over her power. Thank fuck. Imagine if she didn't. Strange and Regina would be stuck back in the world that's being... Well, part of the story was her getting... Ah, God. Even I... It's been so long since I wrote that video and I knew exactly what I was doing there from the tone I had. I am setting up a criticism. If she has yeah. the power to find anyone wherever they are, dot, dot, dot. I'll get who to it a might, little bit yeah, later. Yeah, who else would she want to meet? Mm. To go find. That's yeah. all that means. Gaining confidence to control her power. Uh, I guess if you pause it every two seconds, nitpick every fucking element. You agreed with what I just said. You, so, and also, you're not allowed to say this because you missed huge portions of the video that you've Yeah, imagine watching. I did this to the film. I just skipped from one scene to the other and just invented a bunch of shit. Oh, I just mean, like, mm. even the parts that he watched, he was clearly not fully paying attention yeah. and comprehending the points. True. You're in no you position to say that. that. Has this guy ever heard of the concept of suspension of disbelief? Uh, Mahler, have you? No. I don't do that. Well. I only what enjoy is that? stuff. What that is the suspension of disbelief? I just, I think all of it is bad. Everything that I watch that isn't real life. I'm like, what is this? You want me to believe this is real? You fool. You torn to Ooh. shreds until they died. Whew, lucky, eh? And that means she can pinpoint her portals down not just to universes or places, it's specific down to a person. More on that in a sec. Also, I guess everyone decided individually that Wanda is no longer a threat. Like, everyone is leaving as though they know the building's about to be destroyed by her, and that she's definitely not evil now. No one will ever be tempted by the Dark Hold again. Well, looks like the Darkhold got that bit of the prophecy wrong. It's your destiny to destroy the world. So anyway, Wanda drops a building on herself. She even creates a little red blast, presumably a clue to her not being dead at all. But who the fuck knows? Body, no death. She'll, she'll be back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, she's not dead. Dude, even <laughs> even no if way. they showed all of her body parts being pulled apart and then turned into dust, I'd be like, she's coming back. Nah, she's not back. <laughs> doesn't mean anything anymore in this Look, world. let me tell you about a guy called Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> he was only vaporized at an atomic level. Yeah, that's... He's still out there somewhere. During this process, she also destroys the dark hole. I'm kind of upset he said, of course he's friends with rags. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. <laughs> I would. That's, I, was hoping, I was hoping that he'd bring it up, but oh well. Hold. In Maybe he got every... it out of his system in the parts that he skipped of your video. 
Mm -hmm. I say the parts he skipped. I mean, like, you know, massive. You know. <laughs> oh, you know, just three hours and 20 yeah. minutes. <laughs> Universe. Right, so that nobody can ever be tempted by it again. Which seems pretty incredible, right? First and foremost, its influence over her is just gone now. Almost as though it was much more reliant on the personality present than it was a book that makes you crazy. I mean, it can't even influence her to the point of protecting itself. But also, like, wow, I had no Say idea something. that was a power she had or a thing she could do, and I guess it means she just died infinite times too, considering how they said the rules work. You know, the person destroying it dies. Regardless, this decision seems agreeable, right? It's a big, bad, spooky book. Obviously, it's got nothing to add to this world. Only, wait a minute. Butterbob Cumfudge literally just saved the multiverse thanks to its existence. He used it to defeat someone who was far more powerful than him. He used it to reach them. That's his rationale. I'm sorry you couldn't save your universe, but maybe you could help to save mine. The dark cold exacts a heavy tome. All the more reason to give it a rest and let me have it. And I mean, had he not done this, had there not been a dark hold, it would have been over. That would have been a seriously good act prevented had the book been destroyed beforehand, wouldn't it? Mm. But there's an in that's so straightforward to me. It's so simple. Yeah. I want to, I, I got to know. But yeah, what's the I, problem? Tell me. <laughs> if he says anything, he might just, just not say anything, which would be unfortunate infinite multiverse out there. As this spell was completed, there was a Doctor Strange out there fighting an evil enemy with the Darkhold, and the book disappeared. I don't know if anyone yep. understands what this means. They have just approved of infinite good being snuffed out by having no book to defeat so, the movie spends a lot of time establishing the Darkhold is evil and no good can come of it. So, here's the oh, big problem. It's just uh, a huge portion of the video. I, so, like, you don't fully understand. But I what gave all the references just then. I played yeah, the clips. It, I, in, in isolation. That's, yeah, that's that's right. I just did. made clear <laughs> it did. A, I, I couldn't have. How could I have explained that more? I said there is possible. It's possible for another universe where Doctor Strange is currently defeating Wanda with the Darkhold, and it disappears from his hand. And then he's like, "Well, the book is evil. The film says so." Uh, but that's even Doctor Strange used it in this film to save to the save, world. I feel like a lot of people don't recognize that though that he used the Darkhold to save the universe, the multiverse, even. Like, I think that organized chaos is prime fodder for like a cult leader, you know. Like, well, I told you it was good. So I, 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 mean, I, I would have thought you'd go more direction of cult follower. That's leader. what I'm saying. Well, oh, yeah, sorry, well, yeah, right. You're saying, yeah. right, right. I thought you meant, like, he'd make a good cult leader. I'd be like, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's far, he has no charisma and he's dumb. And no, 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 no. He lacks all of the necessary traits. But yeah, like, the film is like, we destroyed it because it's evil after saving the world with it. And then he just, like, nods his head. <laughs> like, wait, but, it, okay. All right. And he is going to get pissy because they've destroyed all the dark holds in the universe. Yeah. Cool. Cool. The enemies that make people very oh, wow, desperate. I guess like, that's it. That's, that's it. Didn't, I spent so long making that point clear. I He's proven to me. There's no point in being long. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't matter how long. They just don't listen. Yeah. They just do not fucking listen. And so, once that damage is acknowledged by the audience, and never by the characters because the writers didn't even realize, you end up thinking about this temple. What did Wong say about it again? The Dark Hole was a copy! Legend speaks of a mountain with the wretched spells you see carved into its walls. These same spells were later transcribed into the Dark Hole. You may have broken Wombo Mountain in your universe, love, but you haven't done that in every universe. And don't tell yep. me this is a Nexus Mountain because that shit makes even less sense. So yeah, the Dark Hole is still transcribable in every single universe. In fact, through transcribing, it could even get- Do we know that? Yes. Holy- Yes. Yes! <laughs> I just played the clips where he yes. said it's possible! Well, you just, like, you just explained how it's possible. What, what else can I do? <laughs> you can try a little harder. This is me at maximum you know? power. I cannot defeat this enemy. Perhaps this was the only one that was made, and then... Fuck, man, it's what magic. The, it's, what are you talking about? It's, <laughs> fuck, man, it's, it's magic. magic. I agree. Fuck, man, it's magic. Wong said it was transcribed from a place. Super it's not magic. Logic. That's just Jeez. writing stuff it's down. That's on the wall. <laughs> That's not magic. It's superhero it's, logic. It's, it's, it's superhero logic. Again, it's, it's fuck it. It's a movie. Fuck it. It's not real. Fuck it. It's superhero logic. What? Nothing. <sighs> nothing. Never ever needs to make sense. This is the thing. Way I, to I just guarantee destroy you. Storytelling. Go and watch any video from him where he reviews a movie unfavorably, and he's going to have made a point like this, and you can respond. It's a superhero movie, man. It's just a movie. It's the themes. Yeah. Well, that's the genre. 
back in hours. Didn't really achieve what you were after there, but maybe that's a good thing considering all of the infinite universes that have a scrotal snort bubble bitch looking to use the Darkhold to actually save the world. Oh boy, what an ending, eh? She did the right thing. I knew it! Old Benabum's Bumblethump then tells Christine he loves her, and he gets too scared to be with her. I love you in every universe. Well, that's not his universe is Christine. That's, he, he, the, the important thing about this is that he's telling her his feelings because he can't tell this to the, the Christine of his universe because that Christine's married, and that'd be wildly inappropriate. He's telling it to this Christine because he needs She's to the only one here. somebody to help him. What, what, who's he talking to? Even though... Even um, though this is a Christine that he also doesn't like, that he doesn't know very well. Yeah, like what? I'm I'm almost like what point is well, he? What point is he? Yeah, what point is he responding to? Like, move on. I get scared. Face your fears, Doctor Strange. There, Ark did it. Give me a second. We'll talk about it. We're almost done. How is this so much harder than multiversal portal? She needs to slow down, be more patient. We see America is training to be a sorcerer. With how shit the writing is these days, I'm sure you can expect her to be Sorcerer Supreme by the end of Doctor Strange 3. You have to. That's a yes. Really could be with the pacing that go out as well. Interesting question. Our two magic- These arguments feel like stuff CinemaSins would say. Like, well, if you, uh -huh. if you happen to be right at the time, sure. <laughs> I mean, if, yeah, I mean, it. CinemaSins is really bad, but he's not always wrong, surely. Yeah, he puts in- I think we've covered him and said, yeah. yep, that's a fair point. It's happened. Lads then yeah. have a chat. I think that saving the world will get you there, but doesn't sometimes it. So is this the objective movie review he's famous for? Just just nitpicking every fucking thing to just absolutely. Well, so the, the funny part about saying that is that it sounds like when you say nitpick that you're saying I am accurate. I'm just not talking about something you care about. Except every single thing that he chimes in to say is like, oh, you're wrong. Often not realizing that he agrees with you. And so at that point. If it's something you have no feeling toward, but you do agree, like, is, is accurate as portrayed by myself, maybe it is objective from your own definition, Mr. Organized Care. I don't know. I don't know what you... what Because he, he's saying that... He's doing the thing, the meme, where you go, objective, you're not even right. When, you know, you're just right. like, what? But, like, he, he clearly is annoyed that, like, a lot of the stuff I've said is true but inconsequential. That's how he sees it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. You tell me, I guess. So, Oblivion? Because, cause, wow. Wow. Very true. No wonder. Okay. Wow. Have I, had a I guess any movie that isn't 100% accurate can be done this and with... realistic would just fall under objective review then? What? Is there a review uh, trying I mean, to be objective about it? It's, it's... I've got other reviews you can check out if you want to see what it's like when I try to praise something. If, you, if you're curious about my scale, instead of just making it up from pieces of information you have. I don't know. What standards are these? What standards? You you couldn't even begin to answer that question. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about this? Like, what is your like, crazy you... standard? It's like I don't know. Engaging with the scenes as they are presented. I'm a crazy man, I guess. Ives. Right then, we're finishing off with that arc two. What have you got for me? And I remain grateful in this one, even with its tribulations. At least we don't have to go through it alone. Huh? Oh, that's it. No, no, no. All right, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Wong just goes, uh, I sometimes think about the alternate visions of myself, but then, you know, I, I just try to be happy where I'm at, even with my tribulations. And then Doctor Strange is like, and we're not alone. He's like, yep. It's like, oh, is that... Do you see the bottom there? I don't know if they're saying that as a joke or for real, but Mola was inspired by Sins. It's like, no, I've, I've always disliked Cinema Sins uh, when it first came out. I was Inspiration like, mm. in a way. You could argue that, that way. yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the truth, and the one that they usually use as an insult, is that Red Letter Media was one of the things that inspired me. It's like, yes. And they're like, ah, that explains it, because they're horrible too. You're like, okay, fine. A couple of inspirations, but um, nope, Cinema Sins is not one of them, unless you count anti-inspiration, or whatever that would be called, I guess. Is that nah. it? Okay. <laughs> that's the movie. That's, that's the Doctor Strange. That's the, like, I guess that's their message. It's like, oh, if you're not okay, happy... Is just... there. Try to be. <laughs> could be worse. <laughs> could be worse. <laughs> Nidrotic was in the other clips. <laughs> I guess he just didn't recognize him. I did grad. Made some sparks. Your parents will be proud. I hope you'll get to show him one day. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! 
We know she can open portals to individuals now. Why hasn't she saved her parents yet? What the fuck? She now believes they are likely alive and she can grab them whenever she wants. They are causing incursions wherever they are. You have all of the reasons. How do you end up writing this? How did you... I, I yeah. like I have, have this not is seen your this. Moment, I don't know. I want to hear <laughs> your moment. <laughs> what is it going to be? What will the reason be? Oh. I got to hear it. I got to know. I don't know. believe it's established that she's quite that powerful. With her. Oh, we've had oh, to roll it back. No. Oh. Dude, she this, see, this to me. To fight Doctor Strange in the multiverse. This is evidence to me that it's simply bad faith, right? When I said, and I implied passive aggressively, oh, she's got full control over her power now, he came out in full defense. Yes, that is the arc I guess you didn't like. Oh, that she's yeah, got full yeah. power, full control. Woohoo. Right. And then I'm like, man, if she had full power, shouldn't she do this? Like, wow, well, we don't know that she has. You know. That's, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. He said that. He did say that. Can't have both, man. You gotta pick one. Oh no! Abilities. So and yeah, of course. We, oh, we that's all you had. <laughs> I, I showed had. she. She literally pinpoints Doctor Strange in a different dimension. She couldn't possibly know by like number or something. Not that that was ever the case, anyway. She goes to them yeah. by person. You can go to by and person by location also, by universe. She also used her powers to teleport to the the universe where uh, the the Illuminati universe too. And the Scarlet. Oh, right, yeah, when she wanted to find that family. Yeah. She went straight to family. them. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, while she could open being, it to people. Like, choked out as well. Yep. Like, while she was in the middle of a fight. So I can so imagine that in a much calmer situation, she would be able to find her parents easy. And of course, didn't mention the part of they're causing incursions wherever they are, too. Because, like, he skipped the whole section on incursions, yeah. so he probably can't even, even talk remember about that. that now. Yeah, no, he doesn't even know what I mean when I say yeah. incursions. He probably doesn't That's know the what universe. they are, yeah. The multiverse destroying mechanic that they decided to add in, he doesn't remember that that's a, a thing that was in the movie. Her when she had so little development, it's incredible. How do you write like this? Yeah, that's wait. How's that even a character assassination? What? Because she cares about her parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she and she really, fight. really cares about her parents uh, to the point where that was the moment that the fucking memory store brought up for her. <laughs> Well, and also that Doctor Strange, the last thing he says to her is basically like, yeah, I hope you find your parents someday, because that's yeah. important to her. And she's not doing it right now. Yeah, just she, she could have been done already. In between the scenes, she could have done it. Like if, mm -hmm. you know, it, to be fair, some people might not have heard this argument before, but if you have a character who like loves a person and then chops off their what? head, it's like, oh, that doesn't seem like this, the character. That seems... Yeah, that seems different. And then you might be like, "Well, but there was this other scene that explained there would be mind control." And you're like, "Oh, that fixes it." But we we never got that. We never got that. Unless it's tear. Oh. What? Uh... What? Definitely a case of me just not knowing to, what to do with the script. Oh my god! Yes. So, so he fixes the watch. Man, look at us go, completing all these themes as though they have a through line. Can't wait to chat about it. <laughs> The film then ends with Benja Bumbo screaming as his third eye opens up, and man, does he put effort into these roles. Yes, son, Sergeant Ski. <laughs> and none can stop me. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Is it bad that he puts effort into roles? Yes, no. it's bad. That's exactly what Mahler was saying. He's saying Benedict it's so bad. bad. Cries. Yes, that's very yeah. bad. That's it's so bad. Insane. It's so bad that whenever he shows up, I'm very happy because I know that I've got an actor that's gonna actually give a shit. And absolutely, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he was not required to do that for Smaug, and he was like, "I'll do it" because I feel like this will capture it better. Like the man cares. I wanna, I wanna be dragging my belly across the floor. And. Another part of it as well is that, like, isn't, wasn't there quotes where he said he didn't even know what Doctor Strange's arc was? And yet, look at the performance he puts in to a lot of those scenes. He's like, he's what like a Christian talented Bale. talented actor. Yeah, where you, where you yeah, have these, yeah. these moments where you're like, oh my god, they're acting, but they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> it's just like, I'm performing. The director told me to feel things. So, yes, this is a, this is me saying he really does fucking put a lot of effort in. Is that a bad thing that... I, I consider that a good thing? Is that <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what? Well, most people consider it a good thing, actually, dude. I'm just that anomaly. I hate it when people use effort. That's yeah. just, I'm one of those weird humans. That weird? Yeah. Which takes us to credits, but that's not the end. You caused an incursion, and we're gonna fix it. 
The first end credit scene is hyper cringe. A comic character appears and says, we gotta fight stuff. And so they do. Unless you're afraid. Not in the least. It even regards incursions and the dark dimension, so maybe they do realize he's causing them wherever he goes. Who knows? The more distracting part, I think, is that they place this right next to this. Doctor Strange? Like, seriously, back to back, as though they have no idea what they want the audience to think just yet, or maybe they don't even know what to think just yet. Actually, that was actually a reference to how they don't actually know what to think just yet. They're not sure oh. what, what they're doing with the third eye. So yeah. It's just funny, because, like, yes, yeah, so they left Let's it see what so he has open. To say, though. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. Well, I, I think it's safe to assume there's been a time that happened between the actual <laughs> movie and the movie. There's oh. been a time. <laughs> All right. That's Indeed, a time has happened. Means, yes. yes. I, yeah. I agree totally with you. Happened. The difference in clothing and location implies there is a difference of time. My point is information provided. Third eye. Oh, no. Scary. Screaming. Ah. It's fine. Exactly. Like, how hard is that to understand? It's weird. You set up something as horrifying, and then everything's chill. And then even to the point where I'm being like, cool, got his third eye. Yeah, like, let's what? go on our adventure with my third eye. Like, what, what happened? I feel like we skipped something very important. But no, he answered it by saying time happened between it. Like, yeah. okay. Scene, and he got comfortable with the third eye. These scenes were like made by different people. And are people. you happy with that? Are you are <laughs> yeah, you satisfied yep. that he got comfortable with the third eye off screen? He is he is comfy. Honestly, the second after credit scene is fun. How can anyone enjoy a movie with that mindset? Even Citizen Kane has a bunch of plot holes. Nah, does it? Not not really. Well, <laughs> Citizen Kane is tight. Yeah, is that, I. But but we do enjoy. But also, many you can enjoy a movie. Yeah, like you can enjoy a movie that has plot holes. It feels awkward because I'm sitting here like, oh, but I do. I guess you don't believe me. That sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, Batman and Robin. <laughs> like I that movie. Love, love it. Super enjoyable. Fun, you know, as an isolated Evil Dead reference, this is this fun. <laughs> And that's it, folks. That's the movie. <laughs> we, uh, we have some things to talk about. <laughs> it's over! <laughs> this film is piss. And that's the kindest way I can... Okay, I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. I'm actually kind of interested what he says about America Chavez's parents. Let's see if we can... Why? Oh, this. it's because he wants to see if you say that it's like woke and stuff because they're both girls. I think that's oh. what he's going for. I this think that's what he's going for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Almost certain they that's should. why he wants to hear is it, you. Is it because he's about not that found specific thing? Is it because he's not found anything he could use so far? Like, I mean, that's probably <laughs> like legitimately. I wouldn't say this about most people, but I am familiar enough with this guy that I do believe that that's exactly what he's doing. He needs to find something... He, missed, he needs um, to find some progressive sin to nail you down on. Someone said I was racist at the, the beginning. He should have picked that one up and echoed it. That would have been something. He should have, yeah, when you couldn't give the, the chick's name. Yeah, that's yeah. racist when you can't pronounce a foreign name. Yep. should be able to gain access to the Book of Vishanti. Th okay, let's... Where are the timestamps? Oh, I saw the Smiling Friends reference in Good time. Yay. Yeah, it's, he, he jumps around about the clips and stuff to do. Oh, Literally yeah, titled The Memory Store, by the way. <laughs> Let's see what yep. he says. Where do they go next? Especially when there's a writing problem to solve. Trigger, you're a writer. You have a problem to solve. Our characters need to express to each other important memories. One, Doctor Strange that he loves the, uh, Rachel McAdams and that there's an unrequited love there and how he got the watch from her. We need to know that and we need to know that America Chavez accidentally sent her parents through a fucking portal when she was younger and that's the first time she had her powers. How as a writer do you solve that problem? How do you cause that flashback to happen? Have you got any, uh, any ideas? You're going to have to have dialogue or something that leads into it. Like They, they exchange a bit of information as they're, yes, they're hurrying their objective. I, I think that's probably the best option to try and make it come up naturally. It might be difficult, but it's a problem to solve. So they had a different idea in this film. They're walking around, and this is different, different universe, okay? They they walk past the memory store, and they accidentally staff on a pad that... 
Okay, so their brilliant idea instead of the okay, so the memory store thing is a bit clunky. It could have been done better. A little a bit but, clunky. A bit. I bet that they literally so, stumble onto a memory store that plays the exact memories yeah, yeah. they need to play for each other. It's a little clunky. Let's not understate it. Saying it's a bit clunky, it's it's not it's one of the it's possibly the clunkiest thing you could do, especially the way I presented it, right? We need a way to see that memory. Well then they go to a memory player that plays the memory. It's like they go to a memory player. Not only, well, they don't even go there. They're just walking along on they the street and they incidental, one, yeah. yeah. It plays the memories on a big projector screen out in public for you to watch, and it just so happens to identify really plot critical memories too, like super duper important memories yeah. that are going to um, be relevant to the plot. And maybe I should have made this clearer, so I, I could just do it now. When I said that's probably the best way to do it naturally, what I'm talking about is what are the other ways we can do it? It's like, well, you can just have a scene begin with a flashback, and then it cuts at the end of it to Doctor Strange summarizing it in some way. Or maybe he delivers the last piece of dialogue in-universe, as if to imply he just described all of that. Like, oh, that's a way you can do it. A little bit um, better than... Well, yeah, it's better than Memory Store. But better. Yeah, but it's still kind of okay, like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when you say the best way to do it naturally in the form of dialogue, what Drink is referring to, and what I hope everyone there was kind of agreeing on, was that you try and find a way for the current events to generate a conversation that would involve stuff like that. It's pretty easy. Exactly. Like, America, what is with these fucking powers? How did this start? When did you even, like, when, and, you know, she looks away, and he's like, uh, okay. And eventually, maybe we figure out that she doesn't want to open up about stuff like that because it's really personal, and then he figures, like, maybe if I talk about something personal to me, I can get this across, and, and tries, tries something well, pretty simple and surface level that no one actually cares about, and then she asks him about Christine. Because of the the fact that she knows that Defender Strange had stuff, you know, they start playing at that sort of, and then they just do the memory stores. Like this isn't easy to do. You have to find all the components that generate that payoff that you want, which is them both describing those events to each other. Um, but no, they clearly gave up. They just went memory stores. No, you. Exactly. You have a lot of options, and dialogue is the method by which you probably want to get there in this case. Yeah, I, I would be referencing him all the time, but like Mike Flanagan, right? Like, how do we get all the information for all the characters in his? It's like, oftentimes, there'll be little pieces that imply, and then they'll have a monologue scene at some point that really binds yeah. all of it together. Exactly. They don't go to the memory store. <laughs> That's really fucking stupid. It's obviously done for visual storytelling. Visual his... storytelling is, well, I mean... The visual storytelling is just playing the scene. Isn't that, yeah, that's not even, that's more tell don't, than show, I think. It's not, it's not, like, it's all visual, dialogue is visual storytelling in a film, dude. Like, it's all visual storytelling, it's a movie. But, like, there are degrees to which you have visual storytelling. How reliant is it on visuals versus dialogue, or, uh, you know, sound, or any number of uh, other elements. I'm just lost at like trying to categorize what we saw. Is you can have that without the Why memory store. Why is he store. fighting to defend the memory store? I don't know. Why can't you just uh, you know like a flashback that would achieve what he's talking about visual storytelling, but it would it would I think it's more subtle and and more natural than the memory store a flashback. Of course it is. <laughs> and memory it achieves store the same is like thing. So the like, worst idea. That well, yeah. So worst. his argument doesn't even support the memory store. Like it just supports yeah being it's the so, scene. It's it's like the it's like a like a joke, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, so what's the worst thing you could possibly do? And it's like, well, it's not like we're going to stumble across some memory store that'll just magically play our memories for each other to see. To, That's why we said it's like a brick and Morty joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's a meme. The solution is just have a dialogue exchange. Like the rest of the movie kind of does with information? Like all movies like, kind of do? Yeah, kind of like the basis actually, of storytelling, yeah. almost, is dialogue between characters. Yeah, like, I don't know why this is considered bad to him. Really weird. Really? We personally at EFAP don't be... knock dialogue. Yeah, we can don't Dude, dialogue. Dude, it's hard, it's hard not to look at that and go, like, you'll be in bad faith, aren't you? Like, you don't even... <laughs> just a little bit. Like, you just want to fight on faith. every single... Why would he defend the memory store? It's fucking ridiculous. Because we hate it. No, Frank, it's literally as simple as we hate it. <laughs> we don't like it. So it needs to be defended. This I guy is, he's, fully, he's an. If he'd skipped to this part and we had been saying the memory store was the only part of the film that was really good, it was excellently executed, it was such a cool and creative way of getting it, he'd be like, not that. Well, at least it's not, it's not that good. Yeah. Like, wow, these guys like the memory store? 
Okay. Better on a visual medium. Is that that's your brilliant idea? That's that's brilliant, man. And he describe he, he, he knocks, brilliant. The best he, way to he, do it naturally. He knocks dialogue because it doesn't mesh with being visual storytelling. Does he knock all the dialogue in the film? Like, just persistently? He literally defended <laughs> them saying the Book of Bashanti because they need to explain to you that that is the book as the audience. He defended overt exposition, which is not visual storytelling, I guess by this metric. But now here it's like, oh, and here you are, dialogue. You think that's the great solution? Yeah, why to this is he problem? shitting on the concept of dialogue just to own why me? Why would you like... shit on dialogue? Activate this is memories. the living embodiment of why it's good to have standards. Yeah, and just check yourself every once in a while. Make sure you're not going off in a crazy direction. Make sure you're, uh, yep. you know, then it plays both of those memories. <sighs> Replay your significant memories now at a discounted price. We remember, so you don't forget. Are you memory serious? Store. The yeah. Yeah. Memory, memory store? store? You step on a stone, <laughs> and, it, and it shows you a memory. <laughs> what? That's 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 in your I'm head. describing this, and I'm like, this is a film I watched. This is a story someone told. It's so fucking bad. See, Drinker's reaction is because he's he fucking knows how writing works, so he knows what I'm saying is the writer gave the fuck up. Yeah, this is absolutely, exactly. this is the big give the fuck up moment. This is what you reference whenever you talk about a writer giving up. This is the example you go to. And then in comments, this is a visual interest, visually interesting way of doing it rather than just having a conversation. Then justify it. You can't have just a fucking memory store. And I'm hoping he plays the part where we go into why you can't just have a memory store. But also, yes. I like that just having a conversation, like just having a conversation. My dude, yeah, dialogue yeah. is Don't like devalue it by tool. saying just. Well, so well, you I remember a um, film earlier, Steve Jobs, right? That's like a film that's because this is an Aaron Sorkin film, right? So it's got really awesome dialogue. And the dialogue is so engaging, like it's it's yeah. so gripping throughout the whole thing that it's way more interesting and dramatic than anything that happened in this film. Even though the stakes of the story are like each of the acts is just them getting ready for like a presentation for like a new product launch. You know it's way more interesting than the whole universe, you know, multiverse falling apart. You know what's funny about it is that if you remember in twenty eighteen, God of War. When, uh, when Kratos puts his hand into the light of Alfheim, he goes in for what he feels is about a minute. And then, of course, uh, mm. like three days, I think, passes or something ridiculous for, for Atreus. And uh, when he's pulled out, he's furious at Atreus because he felt like he was getting really close to being able to speak to Faye and that Atreus stopped that. And then Atreus like mm -hmm. yells at him that like he saved his life and that, uh, and that he's been, he was trapped in there and he was trying to save him, blah, blah, blah. And Kratos is like, taken aback for a moment because it's that experience where you know you're completely correct but then you're you're given information that completely flaws you you're like oh i wasn't correct at all shit yeah and he doesn't really you know those two have a rocky relationship in in Alfheim. it takes a while for them to get back to normal so to speak in the 2018 game in ragnarok when tear is asking them what happened when that happened what and he's like oh, I, I put my hand in the light of Alfheim. And he's like you did and you didn't die he's like no and then he recants the events but this time he doesn't say like, oh, Atreus took me out before I was ready. He was an asshole. He just says he saved me. I was trapped in there. Yeah, um, exactly. Yep. Now, why why am I bringing this up? Well, if they had said, Tia, what happened? And then he goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, and does a flashback and shows <laughs> us the scene. Yeah. As opposed to telling us what Kratos believes happened now. Exactly. You lose POV. Yeah, you, you lose actually lose that content POV. there. Because of course, with with America, if, uh, if if you show the scene of what happens, I guess the best you have is you at least get her reaction to it. But I mean, yeah. isn't it more interesting to see how she explains it, and then you see what actually happened? Like, yeah, you can always fuck like imagine it. imagine if the way that she explained it to him was like, I screwed up, I did something wrong, I made a mistake, or I was irresponsible, or something. And then my parents got sucked into the portal. And then he actually finds out that what happened was that a bee scared her, but let's be more charitable, that she was startled. And then that's why it all happened. Yeah. You know, like you could have a thing where he's like, oh, you're being like incredibly hard on yourself for something that is not your fault. It, it, it's just about finding those opportunities with your story to just seep out as much uh, and so, <laughs> juice as possible, like as much narrative potency as you can. They'll do the thing, of course, every time it's like... You you know, the EFAP guys, they don't understand anything about storytelling. I'm just sitting here like, I don't know, what have you, what have I learned from your POV in this? You've told me nothing. You just keep, like, grunting and sighing and then agreeing with me. 
Meanwhile, like we're doing our best to try and recommend what these alternatives have, like what they look like in other pieces of media when they're better, or what uh, what's offered to you when you choose these different avenues. But oh well. It's definitely a case of. Keep in mind, he has to show Critical Drinker's face because he doesn't like showing his face. I mean, <laughs> no, he was, oh, oh, he was face palming. Okay. I wanted to show that. What are you? <laughs> like it's funny that he was face palming me just not knowing to, what to do with the script that it's sounds like, worse than the rise of skywalker like, what if your memory was like banging your fucking wife for the first time <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or taking a shit or something yeah. or like having a wank or yeah. you're actually how often do you spend your days thinking about taking a shit you don't have to <laughs> memories that's, aren't like that you don't no that's not how memories work Memories are things that you can pull up at command, in a sense. That That's why being able to remember things is such an incredible biological function that we have. You're not always thinking about every memory you already have. But there are literally, I mean, there are shits that I remember taking. There's a, you know, there's that's a, just, that's... There's a huge problem with how it said significant. Now, let's say... You had a delivery arriving that was incredibly important. You chose to go to the toilet, and then the doorbell rings halfway through, so to speak. That's probably a shit you may remember, for whatever reason. And then what if you're on the toilet and you get a text that's really, really bad news? What if you're on the toilet and it breaks? There are lots of things that can happen on a toilet that would generate a significant memory. It's possible. People have died on toilets. People have sex on toilets. It's been known to happen Very with true. humans. So... The idea is that it's possible, okay? Very straightforward, and it's fucking inappropriate. As Mel I say this as if it didn't recall a fucking memory of the potential deaths of parents. How fucking inappropriate is that? Imagine walking past the memory store and it just plays the death, like you holding your, your parents' hand in the deathbed in hospitals. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, for people in public to just walk past and see. This is not, like, this was the easiest W to accept, like, in terms of, yep, that's, that, you're right, that's bad. Yeah, that's weird, that could be bad, yeah. Yep. Or having a wank. Is that something you think about, dude? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I mean as a, I don't as really a male, <laughs> yeah, sometimes, this I, subject, sometimes but I think about you masturbating, have, you know. But... Have some memorable time doing stuff like that, sure. I, do I need to explain what sex is and what, it, it, am I... Orgasm. I'm just gonna leave it. I, if it's like with your yeah wife or obviously something. Obviously, if if he know, has considered texting. any and all interactions of that kind to be completely unmemorable, that's that's a him problem. That's on you, my dude. Yeah. Because usually, like, that's the type of activity you know you do and then you move on. <laughs> but you don't just what are you... get to choose what you remember. What, first what, is, what are you suggesting on? that there are <laughs> memories that are significant? Only significant memories are the ones you don't move on from. I have plenty of good memories that I'm happy with and moved on from. Like, we often talk about, like, how fun it was back in the day to play games with friends on, like, Halo or Gears or whatever. Like, what? Is that something that we have trauma for? <laughs> like, that's the only form of significant memory there is? Why can't you just accept this criticism? It's really straightforward. It hurt my brain. I feel like I've had that's... some kind of hemorrhage. No, if it makes sense, it's the memory store! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's been to the memory store! You see, we need. I mean, I don't even think about taking a shit or a wank. Why are you like, still hung up on that? Can I just highlight, like, it's not all American accents at all, but wank. 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 Like, wank. Sounds so much wank. It's a bit more why don't, why don't, oh, why don't they just stand there and talk to each other? That's more interesting in a film. Yeah, it can be. It like, can like, be, yeah. It, what? Now who's oh, reductive? Look, all right, look, all right. <laughs> 12 angry men is 12 people in a fucking room just talking to each other. And it's way more entertaining and interesting than this film where there's crazy multiverse shenanigans and superpowers exactly. and aliens and stuff. Why are you being nothing but media and yet you're there, like just reducing media to like the most simplistic, reductive, like, um, claims? Like, while it's happening, I just move on. Holy shit, dude. What? What goes through your fucking brain? Gonna... Oh, look, there's a person in the comments. He's showing Wait, are Critical you... Drinker's face because he's talking to Critical <laughs> Drinker. That's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's the idea. It, I did zoom face. in on whoever was talking. Even myself. It showed the, the little Discord thing. No, not Discord. Uh, StreamYards thing 
wobble it up and down because that's how it works for audio information and the world is pretty close to ours so of course as a writer you think ah the memory store genius and then of course he just happens to step on the thing because obviously and it just so happens to play a memory that will be very important to understanding him further while revealing to america something important and then of course she wants to step on the memory thing because she wants to show a random memory i guess oh, i should have focused more on how stupid that is by the way she what is her goal it. here? I wish to show the world a random memory from my head. And then it happens to be the worst possible Possibly. memory. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do you choose the memory? Memory link. Replay your significant memories now in discounted parts. No. Yeah, replay your significant memories. So yeah. it's not gonna be- That's what I'm saying! Will! But whether it's significant or not, that's insanely subjective. Absolutely. And also, like, it's just because he's still hung up on the shitting thing. He's still hung <laughs> it's up a on joke, taking through. but it is true. Someone exactly. could have it's a both. shitting memory. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having a shitting memory. That's it's the... fine <laughs> to have shitting memories. God. Be you taking a fucking shit. <laughs> it's yeah, he's still hung I can't up believe you denigrate in this when it displays the potential fucking annihilation of her parents for all the world to see. The, the whole point is this inappropriate. Have you not grasped this? What if it did show something incredibly private? Oh. <laughs> Sex. Wait, how can you conduct this sort of bullshit without incurring every legal problem imaginable? Yeah, this is just, you know, if, if, we, if I was like reviewing some of Fringy's writing work and he had this happen, I would immediately be like, don't you think that's a little lazy? Like you just, you want us well, to um, see no, their memory so they walk into the memory don't store? Don't you think this is terrible and I don't want to be friends with you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even with this terrible idea, make it funny. Have somebody walk by and they're like banging their wife this or something. Is... <laughs> like, oh, no. Wait, it, this is, this is like a Rick and Morty joke. Yeah. That they walk it is. Have someone across I I like how they're they're bitching about it, but their grand fucking solution is, oh yeah, let's ha have them do some dialogue. Yeah, dialogue. Yeah, yeah, that is that is our grand solution, actually. Yes, yeah. have them talk. Yep, that is a yeah. grand and solution. And you know what? It really In the universe is. where they had solid ass dialogue that got all this across, and then he watches me review it, and I say it would have been better to have a memory store that they happen to stumble upon that plays the perfect memory. He would have been saying. <laughs> That would be so much worse. That would be so yeah. terrible. That's so contrived and clunky. In fact, I can't difficult. even imagine anything more clunky than that. Very difficult not to feel like also, this what? is just hyper bad faith. You see what Whitney said? The fact he took few wank because very lucky to get one. What? <laughs> <laughs> the fact he took few wank because very lucky to get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How creative, dude. Memory lane. How creative. You'd have, Rick would be like, how is this legal? You're, this is, that's, that's my memory. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It just shows me one of the most horrific memories I have that traumatized me. <laughs> well, like, back yeah, in non that's a good advertising. It said it shows like, you, I don't think I'm going to come back. <laughs> it said it shows you significant memories. So it's like, so oh, traumatic great. ones are definitely on the table, especially oh, oh, when yeah, yeah, I don't want to. Like, oh, why would you do that? Like, it's, it's oh, like, yeah. imagine like, like you're a really, really big fat person, and you walk past, you didn't realize you stood on it, and they just have a memory of you sitting like naked on a bed eating a tub of mayonnaise. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't catch the reason I bring that up as among many is that humans will have a moment at any point where they think of like that maybe they have a moment of like, man, my life is awful. It could happen at any moment. It could be when you well, yeah, on the toilet. I mean, could I mean, be I'm, when sure you're... I'm sure it's relatable, right? That some you're just there in life and a wave of cringe washes over <laughs> you as you remember some really embarrassing Yeah, it, you could memory. be anywhere and that could then be the memory. You're like, oh I Yeah, remember. exactly. It's like basic shit. But, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's actually way more likely <laughs> what... that the memory that would be displayed is like a negative one. Humans we're like very negative, you know, like by default, I think, in a lot of ways, with like thought patterns and stuff. I can imagine um, the fact that it's possible at all raises so many exactly. awful questions about this. And that thing. you can just unwittingly step on it too. Yeah, but I needed. I, 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 <laughs> I some mayonnaise. I like to think it auto prints on a t-shirt. Oh my god, are we just gonna stay stuck on this? Yeah, you're I, stuck. This you is keep you're stuck on it. You this, is, the shitting. this is six also, friends funny. bantering about the potential of this universe if it was a real thing. And I, li I like I like Libra Pause where he says here the whole like you see this horrible memory that it prints out a t-shirt <laughs> and you can buy it. Like, that's, that's priceless, come on. This the time your wife divorced you, immortalize it on this coffee mug. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant suggestion is 
fucking dialogue? Jesus. Yes. Good. Why do you yes. hate dialogue? What did dialogue do what to you? Shakespeare, that fucking loser <laughs> with all of his dialogue. This is well, so people just <laughs> are buying your memories while you're accidentally experiencing them. There, there has to be people who just for fun time, they go in front of that store and sit on a bench and just watch other people's random traumatic memories. <laughs> yeah. True. That, that would be what's happening. Yeah. I would, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it would, free theater. It, I would consider it. I'd be like, I mean, it's if if it, if I knew it was getting used once per ten minutes and they wanted people to see it, I'd be like, I'd be curious. What kind of memories show up? But I, mean, I think it's out there in the open. Yeah. So if I saw if I saw enough really private and personal moments, I'd be like, actually, this is really uncomfortable. I'm going to stop. Now. Yeah. Like, cause I feel it, a little bad. I could totally imagine. Like, instead of it being funny, it eventually just becomes like, oh, this is really inappropriate, actually. It plays for, like, everyone who's in the vicinity, and it happens by accident. No, that's my big thing. It, you'd think it'd be a thing, like, if you pay for it, you'd have to, like... Right, so your big thing is that it wouldn't be a plot <laughs> it's, point It's at the all. capitalist element of it. No, that's yeah, he's issue. gone... It's the business model. I'm, that's what the problem is. I am clearly beginning my ethical argument. This is inappropriate. It's wrong. You shouldn't do that. He's immediately gone to, I agree, you should have to pay. <laughs> yeah. It's not even yours. They're taking shit just, from it's... your head. But I guess what I'm, I'm getting at is it's like, yeah, the problem with it is that they're displaying it like just for free publicly in front of them. It's like, so the problem is that they are doing it in a way that enables the plot to play out as it does. So well, like, yeah, we've that's done... pretty stupid, right, dude? Like you would admit that that's some pretty, like the whole film kind of changed. Well, not the whole film, but like a huge portion of the film changes if this scene doesn't Absolutely. play out as it does. Uh, but th that's like the the how shit it is in terms of written. But then it's like taking it seriously for what it presents itself to be. It is like what? Why is it happening automatically? And it's like, well, maybe it's exactly. a form of um trying to give you a freebie, but then tempt you to buy it. And I'm just like, yeah, no, my, my issue is how unethical that is. It should be at the very least something you have to opt into. You can't just do it randomly. That's horrible. And like I said, without your consent. His first point of contention is, yeah, people should have to pay for yeah, it. They should be charging you for it. If anything. At least we got that out of him. If anything, you could make an argument for they have to pay you to get access to your memories, because who knows what kind yeah. of stuff they could generate. You know, pay for it to activate it, because it just seems like they just step on it and then if they run away, they get it for free, right? <laughs> I, I, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Like, that, that's where your brain goes first. Like, you fuckers, you should be getting this for free. Damn. <laughs> What the fuck? You went to these lengths to show us America's childhood and that he cares about Regina? A fucking automatic memory store? Whoever wrote this needs to be restored to their factory settings. This is well beyond lazy and bullshit. Just have them talk to each other about- Yes. Yes. This is lazy, but the, having them do dialogue, that's not what? lazy. That's, okay, awesome. That's what... Dialogue is lazy. Interesting dialogue's conclusion. Lazy. Yeah, that's, I don't, that's, I don't, that's, that's some interesting- Imagine going to like, a writing you are class. So you're so desperate to just, like, disagree with everything in this video that you've worked your way to dialogue, <laughs> dialogue is lazy, is lazy. And <laughs> Sorry, George R.R. R. Martin. Sorry, sorry, every, sorry, sorry, sorry every person, yeah. Is there a yeah. story that has no dialogue at all? Because that would be lazy. I mean, there would be some things that have no dialogue, like some animated shorts. Yeah. Some right. animated films, potentially. They're around, but like dialogue, man. We talk to each other, us human beings. Well thought out and genius. What? Oh my god. But these oh my god, <laughs> dialogue! Oh my god. <laughs> you have to take out another student loan? <laughs> well, I guess we should discuss the memories. Got you a little something. This was the moment that Regina bought Bendy Straw Cumberchunks his watch, the one he's hung on to for some time. It means a lot to him, he likes her a lot, okay? Bro, how does a memory get presented in any way but a POV shot? How are you watching as though there's a camera? How can he see what's behind him from his own memory? The AI running the store has a flair for cinematography. Wow, you know, you could really pad this out with <laughs> lots of clips from EFAP, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, well, so, their point- What is your, uh, what's your complaint? Genuinely, uh, th this is a thought I have when making these. When I watch over our EFAP coverage of a film, if I'm making a video for it, it's to make sure I cover everything. But if, say, for example, if a point is perfectly crystallized by someone on the fly, and I'm just going to copy the point into the video, sometimes I'm like, you know what? Just play their point. Like, they say it well, and it's it's no necessarily different than what I'm saying, and it breaks it up in terms of the presentation of information. It's not only me speaking plus visuals from the film sometimes it'll cross into streams sometimes it'll cross into interviews sometimes it'll break up for whatever reference to another show or clip 
you know, to me that makes it feel a little bit more dynamic. The idea that, like, whenever this pops up, you die inside, it's like, I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel like there's some other voices in here, and the, uh, it also acts as a way of showing that this is what EFAP is about, if people don't know yeah, what it is. It's it's showing off EFAP, promoting it, it gets some different voices in, mixes up the, you know, the format, all those, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's, it's so know? useful, and it, yeah. it's fun to watch. A more free-form shift from the more structured review itself. It, 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 that's what a what brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah, yes, thank you. you. <laughs> this one shot of the parents getting sucked. There is some element of having a very, let's say, small YouTuber talking about, you know, the, the tactical decisions of, you know, a guy who makes a video that gets, you know, 2 million views and is, you know, really, really well liked. And he's like, nah, this isn't how you should do it. This is a mistake. This is, this is, I shit. thought you were going to say, especially terrible. with how everything's placed on this screen right now. Uh, yeah, like you know, he's maybe yeah. co he's covered up portions of the video with himself and his chat for no real reason at all. Like he could have just shrunk it a little bit, and that's it. I think he, I guess he thinks it looks better. I don't know. Um, this is like the who's that? What's that one chick we covered? Uh, with the Suicide Squad stuff. Oh, who had the terrible stuff everywhere on Grace her screen. Grace Randolph. That's Grace the one. Randolph. Yeah. yeah, she just shoves everything on screen. It's, uh, it's a choice. Through the wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see your, want to see your mom's good shit. Second? I'm sorry. There's something absolutely priceless about all of these people laughing and having fun, and just his face. And he's just <laughs> doing there. He's, like, he's sad and alone and angry. <sighs> Why can't I have friends? You just need to zoom on him when we saw laughing. My parents getting sucked through the wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see your, to see your mom's good shit. Like interdimensional vortex it's wormhole in 4K? Why the fuck is this so lazy? This is amazing, thank you. We don't have time for this. Uh, your acting, though appreciated, cannot carry this wreck. But to be fair, he's absolutely right. You really do not have the fucking time for this. So, the other memory is for America. It's when she opened her first portal. Unfortunately, it sucked her two mums into it and she's devastated, only to then fall into the portal herself. Tragedy. Offset quite a bit by the reality of how this happened. Guarantee you, he's going to miss... Everyone misses the point with this, I think, anyway. You know how everyone makes fun of the fact that a bee caused it? What would you guys say is the core issue and funny of that? Because maybe you'll have a different answer to me. That why if is this it funny is the kind that it caused all this. But why? Why is that? Because like a lot of people who defend this movie will be like, "That's okay. It's a bee. A bee can hurt you." I think it's just that it seems so innocuous that a tiny little insect, like a bee, you know, a little honey bee, like yeah, a bee can sting you, but like it's a bee, you know, like I guess unless you're allergic, right? Then in that case, it might be more terrifying. Um, you just think this would happen it, all the time if this is what it. triggered it. Yeah. So, that, that, so the, like the, the issue little... that makes this funny is that it's like, wait, what? This is the first time she's ever felt her life was in danger. It was a bee? The... And then that prompted her to open a portal that, like, sent her parents off to some hell dimension. This this sounds... It just immediately spells lazy to me. They were like, I don't creepy. know, a fucking bee landed on her head. It's scary. It's like, yeah. wait, you haven't thought about this at all. If it's prompted by her feeling like her life is in danger, it's like, we're already in trouble. We're gonna have to justify it by saying that they don't mature until yeah, a the particular Gargantos age. Yeah, the fight, it would have happened a dozen exactly, times. Exactly, it breaks throughout of the whole course. film. Yeah, um, yeah. And so, and, but then it's like, I feel like a, a person of her age throughout her life up to that point would have felt her life was threatened by all kinds of things, not just a bee. Yeah, uh, like uh, maybe a little doggo was running towards Yeah, or a lightning uh, strike, thunder, any kind of, like, yeah. and boom. And so, yeah, this this just, to me, just generates an absolutely absurd comedic moment of just, like, you're so, you're so shit at this, like the people who made this. Um, but who wants to bet the response to this will be, a bee can hurt you? Does this make sense? Probably. <laughs> She did this because of a bee landing on her hand. Well, it's... yeah, she didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> okay! Yeah, <laughs> Thank you for that. that. I, 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 I gathered that. she yeah. didn't purposefully send her parents into an interdimensional portal. I'm, I don't even want... Okay, thank you. Why did he say thank that you. at all? What was the... Are you fucking with me right now? Mola, tell everyone what spooks America Chavez enough for her to freak out in terror and create a portal. It gets triggered by high stress situations, all right? A little bee landed on your hand. 
I just, I just want to leave. <laughs> I think it's more. Can I just say the timing of that is perfect. He's going to drink and then like, he just stops, stops himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's worse. He doesn't sting her. It, it just, just lands land. on her hand. Did she get like stung to within an inch of her life when she was a, a child or something? It's like traumatic flashbacks. I think that would be much more traumatic than just well, a bee landing on let, your finger. Let's go to the memory store and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that was enough to make her feel her entire... Uh, Mikael, thank you for the $2 super chat. Uh, I don't know. It made this stream worth that... it. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else get the uh, the feel there of just being such dead energy? <laughs> like... yeah. Thanks for the two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The implication okay. is it stung her. No, it didn't sting her. No, it, it just sort of landed on her. On her yeah. What do you mean the implication? Either so it is did the or it didn't. That when she screamed, that she just got stung. It's, it's, it's clearly that she saw it and then screamed. Exactly. That's they, like, and to be fair. There are kids who, like, I can get how they wrote this. They were like, kids can find bees really scary because if they get stung, that, you know, it'll hurt. It's like, yeah, I understand. It's just that you haven't built this properly. It's all fucked. And so it comes across as really funny. Stunger, I always felt the implication was that, uh... Yeah? The implication is that, you know, it just startled her and she didn't... Oh, there you go. <laughs> he okay. agrees. Sweet. Sorry, nothing but media. It I isn't even a bee she sting. She had powers at this time. It just installed her and it activated her powers and poof. Her existence was compromised to that degree for the first time in her life, which is kind of funny, not gonna lie. My dog stepped on a bee. Objection relevance. Maybe she's allergic. <laughs> not shocked at all. He would watch the Amber Heard Johnny Depp shit. What do you mean? Well, a lot of people Most watched people it. Isn't it, was a, it, was it was a one of the most po like popular cases to watch in history? I don't know. Like, yeah. Is he upset that you? Um, the funny thing is, is he... I didn't watch it as much as I watched highlights of it. I think a lot of people probably. You yeah, can tell I didn't get that from the trial video. I got that from a Twitter video. Like, so. <laughs> like but all he knows, you didn't watch the trial. You just saw the meme. But like, but the, the, so that's that's why my brain first went to like, what's wrong with what? I didn't even deny that I had watched it because I don't see anything wrong with watching the trial. What's wrong with that? You're allowed to do that. Doesn't make you evil. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was the origin story. <laughs> <laughs> so a bee landed on her finger. Wow, are they gonna spend like twenty minutes on this goddamn bee? It's, it's pretty, pretty funny. funny. Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> So, yeah. But you can look at the well, timestamp there, the it's plot. actually not 20 minutes. It's yeah, because I got less than that. I got the Sanctum Sanctorum to talk about in this section too, so it's not going to be the whole thing, don't right. you worry. Did she accidentally <laughs> opened a portal that killed her moms? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of shit that, like, South Park would do as a- the, So this is priceless. The implications that stung her, do they need everything spelled out for them? It's like, my dude, the streamer disagreed with you on that one. So, exactly. Uh, apparently, apparently we do need more things spelled out, I don't know. Uh, Mikael, uh, critical drinker wears glasses because he's seen some shit. Yeah, apparently, apparently he's thinking of taking a poop a lot. He's seen some shit for sure. Gag. What? Critical, critical drinker, drinker wears glasses. Is, is it typical to wear sunglasses when you're gonna? Man, that joke fucks up on every level because it's like, is it? Wait, hold on. We gotta. I need to know now. <laughs> what? Yeah, what's going on? I. Uh... The braid uh, waves in that one were fascinating. You got in, so it starts with in chat. Guy says, "Critical drinker wears the glasses because he's seen some shit," and then follows up with wearing sunglasses indoors. People think that's cool. Okay, but so, also like wearing glasses because he's seen some shit, and then <clears> it's like, is that typical that you wear sunglasses because you see poop, or alternatively have seen some heavy traumatic stuff? things yeah, like PTSD? Well, um, but you're, like. I just that, that... Uh, yeah, and, and you're right. Then it follows up with it's like, oh, but it's because he thinks it looks cool indoors to wear glasses or something. Yeah, Which so... is it? Well, but then the way or that he... he transfers that into a joke of like, yeah, he's seen some shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh man, and it's like, am I to now imagine somebody walking into the bathroom or like they've taken a shit and when they turn around they accidentally see the poop and they're like, Dah! and then they put on their glasses. It's like, oh, yeah, that's like fuck. An now I'm connection. safe from the, the effects of the poop. That's the obvious connection, yeah. Uh, critical drinker wears glasses because he's seen some shit. Yeah, apparently, 
Yeah, apparently he's thinking of taking a poop a lot. He's seen some shit for Because sure. he's wearing glass. Okay. I don't I know. I guess he's trying to, he's uh, trying to connect it back to the... There's no connection. He's trying to connect like, it back to the no memory store comments. And glasses and shit. He's, like, when he, when he said, uh, you know, what if you have a memory of taking a shit? So he's like, yeah, apparently he thinks about taking a shit a lot. So I guess he sees lots of shit. And therefore, that's why he wears the glasses. <laughs> Yeah, because he's seen shit. What it's a like, horrible a joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. You see shit, you put some glasses on, sunglasses to, like, why? Is that, like, if, if it was, like, rock, paper, scissors, but it's sunglasses and shit, like, that sunglasses <laughs> Sunglasses shit. cover shit. Hey, look, okay, he was desperate to make a joke. That's the best he could do. Sunglasses, shit. Well, at least he didn't mispronounce Bendy Dick Cumbersnatch's name, so that's, oh, yeah, that that's would be, fine. Yeah, that's, that's how you know a shit video, you know? Gag. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, that makes her sad, and we're gonna come back to it later. Still, quite a clear memory, isn't it? What an incredible machine. It can even portray your face from the memory's timeline. How the fuck does this work? It's changing angles, too. How? If your moms are anything like their- It's almost like it's a fictional device that r operates on its own rules. Isn't that weird? Its own I'm rules saying it's impossible. showing you information that it can't have access to. How does it know then what is behind her? From a first-person perspective, exactly. And, like, it can only approximate what her face looks like. It can't know. No, it's, it's actually impossible to know what the face looks like, yeah. Unless you're just, like, perfect memory of all of her muscles from that long ago. Or, I, guess, <laughs> I, guess, I guess it takes... It has, like, the reflection of, in, in, like, her parents' eyes, and then it, like, uses those to somehow, like, recreate well, the it, face. I don't know if you were going to go this direction, Rex, but a lot of people said, well, yeah, it'll it'll take pieces and then construct the rest. It's like, holy shit, that opens the doors for unethical. That's crazy technology. Not just yeah. that, it's just, like, so oh, it can there. generate shit that's, like, not even real. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, like could you well, imagine? Oh, I think we talked about this, the the element of what if, um... Oh, what like, if what if you just misremember something? Yeah. yeah. God, this I device mean, is all horrible. <laughs> it's so you bad. Just memorize things incorrectly. That's yeah. why you couldn't use it in a court of law, because, it's just, well, you just literally just misremember it. That happens all the time. Most of, in fact, all of your memories are not 100% accurate. Your daughter, they survived. I'm sure you'll meet them again someday. Oh, I'm sure she will because this is the MCU, but man, what a thing to tell someone who went through that. That the parents are fine and definitely not in the blender dimension. She will meet them again. You might not want to be so definitive about things you have next to no understanding of. Could lead to an awkward... Or, you know, maybe just be nice to her? You can do that without promising the return of her parents. Exactly. You probably don't, don't want to set, yeah, set that be... up as a promise. Shouldn't do that. And, and it's, Cortana, it's just not something he would Cortana do. Cortana said that. Don't make... People promise you can't keep them, all right? That's right. Doctor Strange is the kind of character that would likely have told her, like, they may be gone, but they're always going to be with you. Something like that. That's that's what he would say. He wouldn't say, they're going to be back. Like, uh, oh. well, Yeah, because I feel like Doctor Strange would be more honest yeah. uh, than that. It's fucking ending to the... What? What do you... Would, like, I guess he's already suggested that Doctor Strange should be just killing people people willy-nilly so yeah. yeah yeah kill her just kill her instead of telling her uh, parents will be okay kill her <laughs> that's, that's obviously what? what i want all or nothing baby jesus yeah maybe this guy would be like oh yeah you probably fucking killed your parents you're cool with that right that's cool yep that's what i said that's the best way to interpret that's like the closest thing to coherent criticism because it's just a classic like you uh badly read something i said on purpose it's like, there's, there's no question he did that on purpose. Or at least it follows. <laughs> this film, but what would I know? Next up is a little conversation about the love life we got a window into. Were they together? He blew it. Of course. Did you blow it with your Christine? Yes, I guess I did. Not much there, other than awkwardly admitting that our boy screws it up all the time, apparently. Then they finally arrive, after a cut at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Well, I guess he doesn't make a big deal about her having two moms. He just... You're right. Ah, I told you. Oh, I told you. Crap. I told you. Wow. I told you. I am. I. I. I'm. I'm an empath. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. He, I, I'm so like I'm Deanna the Troy why he from Star for Trek. This section. Yeah. He just wanted to see if I was. I was doing the evil things, which is because that's how that works, right? There's tick boxes. That's really amazing because um, he's accidentally revealed just just how bad it is on what you could call any of the teams, like. He's just looking for something to get rid of me. And he's annoyed that he couldn't find it. Wow. 
I mean, man, it's really like you know, I, 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 we're having fun here, but like, this is a really sad fucking state that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. You can um. I'm telling you. <laughs> sounds so vague. It's like you could do it like us, where you could dismantle someone's video on the merit of their arguments. You could do that. But that's always an option. Obviously, you'll make mistakes. You'll uh, you'll have your biases. But you could uh, give at least give it a shot. Spends an hour talking about fucking bees. It sounds like you're more annoyed that I talked about whether or not someone should be scared of bees mm -hmm. to the point of opening portals than talking about how I don't like lesbomums. It would have been so much easier for him to say, see, he's a bad person, and he can turn, he's just like, no, like that's what off. he wants. Gotcha. That's, that's actually kind of wild that, yeah. like, you would open up the big Doctor Strange critique, uh, this, this big, long review of the whole film, trying to go through it, basically, through, like, every single scene, tons of detail and tons of going through it, and it's like, let me see if he said something about lesbians, let me see if, like, he said something about by the way, that's, this, this that's, happened. That's so this happened, that's so but arguably weird. in reverse for Judge Logic, where he was told that's what I am. Watched him was like, but he's not, and then just that—that that was it. The conclusion. And but this guy is like, tried to touch for it. <laughs> yeah, and he can't find it now. He's just ripping it to be. And now anything. he's upset and disappointed because he couldn't find that. Yeah, which is you're supposed to be happy that you didn't find that, because you consider that to be the worst thing ever, and that it's not here. So that's good. Oh well. Um. Yeah, we, you know, I've told, I talked before about I don't like what I essentially just call motivation farming, where if we started this video and someone just went, you could, you know, this guy, uh, especially if you haven't seen anything from him, it's like, uh, he's going to be, he's just going to write you off as a racist bigot because he hates you and doesn't want anything to do with you when in actuality he can't defeat any of your arguments. Be like, all right, all right, come on, let's, let's, let's give him a chance, see what he's got, that sort of thing. But I don't think we've ever had it so that they accidentally reveal, like, the insidious nature of their goal. Which well, is yeah, just, this is, uh... You're like supposed to... Get, very sneaky, was it? Yeah, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to keep that... You're not meant to say, damn, I didn't get the dirt on him that I wanted. Shit. This is what happens if you are a stupid ideologue. These that's, are the things you fall that's into. That's unreal. That you would open up the big critique video and you want to find that section specifically because you want to find out someone's politics. <laughs> Must be so annoying to deal with me. <laughs> like, it's like, what's your That's politics? So Pokes me That's with so sticks. It's so bizarre. It's just weird. Lou, real quick. Reminds me of that subreddit post. I can't remember where I'm from, but just someone being like, what is his politics? Tell me. And loads of the responses <laughs> are just like, why the fuck do you care so much? It, well, I mean, it, it is it is more or less that, right? You're looking for them so you can write them off. And he didn't get it. He didn't get the, 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 the means by which to... Uh, to write you off, and it's yeah, like, yeah. So instead, oh, they do the, the cinema sense thing. That's the backup because everyone yeah. knows cinema sense sucks. So we'll just say that he sucks cinema sense. Was this good enough? Uh, uh. Okay, most replayed. Does he do like a synopsis part? Okay, let's let's see. We'll see how much longer this goes. But, but yeah, this is just nitpicky as hell. This film is piss, and that's the kindest way I can put it. If you expect disappointment, then you can never really get disappointed. Yes, Archmage Trey, exactly. Uh, memories aren't actual video footage, so yeah, it's just... Woo! That's, that's my point. That's, yeah, exactly. Oh, Done it again. The point is that it can't be treated like, it can't be treated like a video, because it's from one person's perspective. And yeah. of course, there's the awkward thing as well, which um, I was reminded of recently, like, not everybody thinks visually. Like, not everybody yeah. recalls things visually. So what does it look like? Because really, memories probably ought to be, like, abstract and kind of weird to look at, you know? As, like, a visual. That's when often how they're weird portrayed in media, too. In them. Whether it's yeah, magic or technology. On the side, you, know? How's, you know, you have the little blur, like in The Simpsons, when it sort of gets blurry and then it flashes back and it's blurred around the edges. I guess that's Even the thing. Even Halo it's like, fucking tried to do store. this. Well, yeah, because they, they took the memory store and then they did the lamest version of even that bad idea, yeah. which is presenting the memories as if it's like a film rather than presenting the memories in a way that's more abstract. Yeah, we're like things, there's loads of things that are off about it. Things keep changing. The sentences aren't structured maybe yeah. properly. You the remember all the people weird. look weird. Yeah, some people not... have like permanent scowls or something. You can't remember maybe what people, people are wearing. Are wearing... Exactly, like and you, you remember you words part way through, right? Like 
Like it's like the the shirt is blue and then all of a sudden it's red or something. Yeah, it's like yeah, that'd no, be really cool. That's right. But, oh well, it would be. Yeah, but they just shot it like it was a film. Even which is which yeah. is memory. which is my criticism, but then they respond to me with my point as if to defeat exactly. my point. It's just like it's not God, paying enough suck. attention. We're just seeing it replayed. No, not really. I didn't expect a lot from this because it dealt with mechanics that are very difficult to ground into anything coherent on top of being in Phase 4. However, at the same time, Sam Raimi was involved and there are plenty of examples of what appear to be completely nonsensical mechanics on the surface getting engaged quite coherently in other movies. I like how he brings up Sam Raimi and is showing clips from a Spider-Man movie that Sam Raimi had nothing to do with. Oh. Well, from Spider-Man television yes. show, yeah. right? Well, should we just... Go over that again. What did I say? It's a tough one, but try and pay attention Just there, Mr. It Chaos. Replayed. What did I say? No, not really. I didn't expect a lot from this because it dealt with mechanics that are very difficult to ground into anything coherent on top of being in Phase 4. However, at the same time, Sam Raimi was involved and there are plenty of examples of what appear to be completely nonsensical mechanics on the surface getting engaged quite coherently in other movies. Yeah, so, you you're talking about this. you're talking about into the spider verse. That yep. is the example that you're not on yep. Raimi anymore. When I you talked about Raimi, I, sh I showed Raimi and then when I talked about something else, the I showed something screen. else. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think his his brain hasn't caught up to the visuals yet. It's sort of like out of sync. I like how he brings up Sam Raimi and is showing clips from a spider. Also, look, movie. Red Shot Sherwood. Is that why you went to here just to see if he shits on two bums? It's like that's what he said. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he said. It's not even like that's not even an interpretation. Yeah. That's just what he said. That's exactly what happened. That Sam Raimi uh. had nothing to do with from the past and present. Why not think we have something here that won't be volcanic cringe and yet with a very low expectation and an easy bar to clear in having one through line make some sense, they failed quite spectacularly. We've cycled through each of the rotten trees of the script, which means it's time to look at the putrid forest they generate. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is the 28th film in the Marvel Cinematic Failed Abortion. It sits alongside the events in Phase 4, which so far have ranged from appalling to catastrophic, with a highlight or two here and there. It ignores every piece of surrounding context it's been built with while detonating its bowels each and every time it tries to develop anything itself. So why not start with the widest context? I like how he can spend 20 minutes, like, not really saying anything. Just like, it's bad. So that 20 wasn't minutes? 20 minutes. <laughs> that was maybe about, that was maybe about so 20 that, seconds. That you're just saying it's bad. Like, that's all you said. Yeah, well, I've also set my groundwork. This is how I usually do it. We're starting with the... I wanted to say everything is shit about it. But let's start with the widest context being the world building. I'm gonna go there. And, and that I... When I said we went through the trees, and now we're gonna do the forest, is I've given you all of the details. Now I'm gonna categorize them and tell you they represent the quality of the overall thing being plot, character, world, theme. That's typically how I do it. That, that That's just me introducing it. But here's 50 words on why it's bad that doesn't actually go into detail on anything so the, the details were in the first three hours and 40 minutes you skipped them yeah the world seems to have simply not given a single shit about Westview, an event that made over a thousand people suffer under the active will of a grief-ridden monster. She terrorized these people with magic, and we are to believe nothing has come of it. She was- Don't defend it. Do we need to see the exact result of Westview? It doesn't really come up. It's not it's fucking it's, relevant to it's the- It's not even about needing, it's that it must. It's, it's relevant, because Extremely Dr. Strange relevant. is going to talk to Wanda about using her powers. And the last thing she did when she used her powers was enslave an entire town. Uh -oh. And then ran away. And also, he is the, like, enforcer of, like, magic rules and stuff on Earth. That's, like, the point of the Sorcerer Supreme. Yep. He's, like, the guy in charge of that. So, yes, it should be relevant. It has to be. Up, other than Wanda being there under the surveillance of an entire government operation and the stakes generated through that seem to have been forgotten. You're telling me that no organizations or governing bodies cared to inspect anything to do with her, nor did Doctor Strange or the... I'm certain there's impact from that, but it doesn't really come up here. That's well, my how point! Very... That's the point, yeah. Like, that it needs to come up here. Doctor Strange is not some ethereal being that can't be seen or heard by the police. They know where he is. So they be uh, he, he was the re that's how they were going to bring him in, right? He gets made aware of it. So like the the idea that the government just they definitely want her. There's just nothing that needs to be said about it or done about it. 
and that he doesn't care about it either. She's like, no, none of that makes sense. That's my point. Sorcerer Supreme? Well, that's great. We also have an entire world of heroes being completely absent, which is almost an expected failing on the part of this series now. If they didn't... Well, yeah, that's that's how solo movies work. Fun fact. And I'm not... <laughs> why, how, okay, so why yeah, is here Wong... Here we go, I told you he did the thing, yeah. Why is Wong in this? Why is America Chavez in this? Why is Wanda Maximoff in this? Because he's just a supporting character. Oh, but... Yeah. Oh, it's, what? It's, it's a supporting character something. of Doctor Strange. But the America Chavez is like her own character in the comics, right? She has her own comic book well, run. Well, I just said so Wanda... Why... And of course, Wanda had her own solo like show. Yeah, why is and she in she this is. if it's a solo movie? Mm -hmm. Why is Why is Fantastic Mister Fantastic in it? Why is he in it? Why is Captain Marvel or like Captain sure, Carter? How you expect heroes to jump in when they're in the multiverse for most. That's that's even well, more reason for them to jump in. And also, like, he could have called for their help before they went to the multiverse, like, and when they plan on making their last stand at Kamataj. When they had, like, a whole day to prepare. Yeah, that's probably the yeah. time to do it. But also, we do actually see a lot more heroes jumping in as a result of the multiverse as well. So it's a really weird point to make. Yeah. Most of this movie. And get them contractually, then pretend they don't exist, because that will be the reality. With all that in mind, we do nothing to help explain how the world is currently coming back from the blips dumping of billions of people. We have no idea. You want them to explain the blip? Because they they've already did that. that was no, they haven't. Definitely, you see, they did. You see, yeah. cut himself off. Uh, the first point he was going to make would be how absurd it would be to explain the blip. But then he was like, actually, no. Wait, a better point would just be they already did it. Yeah, it's like neither of those were. Figure it out in real time which one's the best one, and it still didn't matter. <laughs> it was yeah, still... they've not explained shit, oh, and they can easily explain what's happening with the blip while doing new stories. You can do that. It's possible. Endgame. Mm -hmm. Oh, he thinks they explained it in Endgame? Oh, that's cute. Damn. So this is Doctor Strange 2, and it has to cover every single element of the MCU. Every single element of the world they exist in, sure. Anything that affects them. Like, I don't know, billions of people dropping in on them randomly. That feels like something that might happen. For might come some up once or twice. reason. Idea what the Avengers as an organization even is, if anything, and we don't know. They, they could just use the memory store for that. Yeah, there you go. We could all get every, all the memory stores of all the other characters. It doesn't need to be dialogue. Be, uh... shit oh, yeah, like that. it's, that's pretty lazy dialogue, as we've discovered. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean to. So, yeah. Yeah. We want to get our money's worth out of the memory store. Of course. Know what Doctor Sorry, Strange creative. means to the world, despite... How can you say he doesn't go into depth on why it's bad when you've been skipping around? This poor guy in chat trying, trying to <laughs> inject some thinking in here. I was lost one of the here. Most what are you doing here? Intelligent superhero. Oh, Mikael, there is not a vid that uh, EVS vid that I'm aware of. It's just a whole bunch of crazy tweets. Goes on Earth, allegedly. But what does this movie say is true? Well, there's a temple on a mountain made by a spooky demon that doesn't allow sorcerer magic, but also does. The temple is gone now. There's a one of a kind girl born in the multiverse with the power to travel it, and she's being hunted by another woman who is also one of her kind across the infinite multiverses. Otherwise, we would have infinite Scarlet Witches chasing her, of course. And so she tries to get help from a random Doctor Strange, and it just so happens to be the very strange from the universe with the one of a kind woman who is chasing her. Fucking wow. That is legitimately one of the most controlled pieces of bullshit I've ever heard, and it's the foundational piece of writing for the story. Though I've held my tongue long enough. B, you can't screw this up, come on. He doesn't know what to do with it, because he's like, I should have responded no clue, by yeah. now, but I don't You're know right. how to Even defeat that one. you can't, because it's just totally correct. Yeah, it's, mm. I, I don't know, in case he doesn't grasp it, it's just like, two beings. The odds. They're both in the same universe, and they're the most significant elements to this story. Like, yep. Come on. In the There's something multiverse. you should know. The ability to travel the multiverse is oh, something this movie has made up. clear is a brand new addition to the world. Something America can do with her incredible, unique powers and something forbidden in the pages of the Darkhold, which up till now was lost to Agatha. However, the person who wrote this didn't give a shit about what happened in this world previously. We knew this when the Loki show tried to argue it jump-started the existence of the multiverse, despite it already having been discussed and understood. Maybe you started an uprising, or were just late for work, leading to another multiversal war. To make sure that doesn't happen, the Timekeepers created the TVA and all its incredible workers. Once I isolated our timeline, all I have to do is manage the flow of time and prevent any further branches. You kill me and the sacred timeline is completely exposed. Multiversal war. <laughs> 
Yeah, except in Doctor Strange they were absolutely aware of such a thing beforehand. This universe is only one of an infinite number. Dude, dude, did you not dude. understand? Yeah. So, so like, essentially they had it constrained to one universe, but then once and he what was constrained? killed, all the universes opened up. Holy fucking dude! <laughs> I, like, I'm not on. at all surprised that he doesn't know what how the... to explain it. Like, come on! That was what you just explained! I, this is what I mean, like, he was, he was like, sighing at the clips at this point. Like, it's not even me. This like, is what Ma Marvel it, said, not me. What you just <laughs> explained. The whole point was, this is what Loki tells us, but Doctor Strange, the first film, already acknowledged the multiverse. Totally separate from the rules that were made up in Loki. That's the point. He's like, oh, I guess you don't understand. Like, what happened in Loki was exactly what you summarized. Just like they spawned off from that one. Spawned? Just from all the time. <laughs> he, he wanted to say maybe up. like split off and spawned. spawned and so, so like, again, like the, the big mistake that spawned? he doesn't understand because he hasn't he hasn't thought about it enough. The problem is that Endgame chronologically has to happen before all of the timelines start to split off. And Doctor Strange, like in this universe, takes place before that timeline. Oh, fuck it, hell. The problem oh. is that it doesn't work. It can't work. It can't make sense. The notion of, like, making all of the timelines well, into they... one timeline, and then they start to split off later on. Like, what is later, you know, like, in the nature of time, that this timeline, like, this set of events plays out? Well, and you have... Uh, there always had to be a multiverse. Doctor there Strange always had to be, right? The Ancient One is like... You want to know more about the multiverse? I, you know, I can teach you, but it'll make your mind explode, that sort of thing. And then Doc Strange 2, well, No Way Home, we know frighteningly little about the multiverse. Exactly. Like, wait, what? Yeah. We harness energy drawn from other dimensions of the multiverse, some benevolent and life-giving, others filled with malice and hunger. Learning of an infinite multiverse includes learning of infinite dangers. And if I told you everything else that you don't already know, you'd run from here in terror. Who are you in this vast multiverse? All these clips relate to a knowledge of the multiverse. You cannot yeah, deny exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Even yeah. knowing you don't know about it means that you know it exists. Right. They have since tried to retcon the character's attitudes toward the multiverse because Phase 5 and Phase 6 are going to revolve around it. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Establishing now that sorcerers are just ignorant on the subject, where it was said they absolutely were not. Unfortunately, in order to do this smoothly, you need... What have you got? Come on. What is yeah, it? Yeah, let's yeah. hear it. Let's hear I it. know what reference you're referring to when you talk about that scene. <laughs> it's very nitpicky. He... It's very it's like, hey, how uh, is it a nitpick? It's it's uh, it's the it's nature how of the, the universe multiverse. works. It's how the multi. It's called the multiverse saga, and they've changed the world's understanding of the multiverse in order to make it happen. Nitpick. I guess I could. You could call that an issue. Like if you. Oh my god! <laughs> I guess you oh could. My god, I guess you could call it an issue. <laughs> we did yeah. it, everyone. You did Yay. it. You did He's it. He's acknowledged <laughs> that there could be an issue with the worst yeah, movie fair, we have said, ever I seen. Guess, I it's guess the best it's we're going to get for you, and I'll take it. He's, he's I guess there the could be an issue. He's peeking inside. I'll I, take it, yeah. I guess there could be an issue. I'll, put that on, I'll frame that and put it on the wall. I guess there yeah. could be an issue. Organized Chaos 2022. <laughs> if you want to spend forever on it, you can. And like, I know a lot of you guys are getting kind of annoyed with this. I don't know how much longer I'm- They're annoyed because there's no content here. You're playing yeah, you're me, and then you're being like, eh. There's nothing. And also, but you're you're ignoring that one guy who keeps pointing out, like, the way that you're going about <laughs> this being bizarre and strange. Yeah. Like, why did you ignore that guy when you said, how can you say it doesn't go into depth and why it's bad when you've been skipping around? Why don't you acknowledge that? You're acknowledging that people want to watch other videos. You're and reading acknowledging all that these... people say that this is a piece of shit, but yeah. you're just ignoring that guy. You'll read, he'll read neutral or positive. He won't read negative. Yeah, and we know he's well, not missing him. Or he'll. I mean, how? Can... <laughs> like, yeah. Uh. I'm gonna go into it. Uh, this is it's it's all the same shit. You know. Need talent. Yeah, that's definitely a case of me just not knowing what to do with the screen. They're gonna keep on doing this thing where they they clip this guy out of context. Yes, it's joke. out of context because it's yeah, funny. It's, it's funny. It's like yeah, it's it's just like the the Game of Thrones one. Yeah, we kind of people forgot. still reference that. We, we kind of forgot. Yes, yeah, yeah. 
the I mean, kind of how can you say anything about taking things out of context when you skip to the section where you talked about the parents just to see if he could use it against you? Meanwhile, ignoring all of the yeah, material like before. His after, stated and, goal like, is to take me out of context. Yeah, <laughs> like, meanwhile, he's ignoring a whole bunch of material that may well explain some of the points that you're making at these points in the video now. Yeah. Like points that are built up and are agreed upon, like in terms of how the plot works or the characters, how they've been um, written so far. No bad tactics. Um, I wish I knew what video he pulled this from so we could actually plot the context because it was probably just him. Is him explaining that he had no idea what he was going to do when he was making... They were filming phase, uh, phase two, act two. They were filming act two. And the, they were talking about, like, how is act three going to go? And he basically says in this interview, yeah, I hadn't even... I hadn't written anything for act three. I, I basically was at a point where I had no idea what to do. Like... That's awful. Yeah. The context is worse. <laughs> Arguably worse, <laughs> yes. I'm going, I didn't know what to do, but then it all came together. It, well, <laughs> in his opinion, it all came together, sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, it didn't end up being one of the most incoherent masses of a story I've ever seen in my entire life. That's not what it was. Yeah. So, there is precedent for the writer ignoring past continuity regarding the multiverse. Did he miss anything else? Perhaps in regard to multiversal travel. Anyone? Well, if you want to get pissy about the multiversal thing, then wouldn't that be Loki's fault? He wrote that. Yeah, which he also wrote. Yeah. I guess he doesn't know that. I think I said that, didn't I? I could have sworn I said that at some point in this video. He keeps skipping around, so he's lost the context. Oh, well. And perhaps they were channeling from the multi... <laughs> yeah, no, it gets wonky. It's kind of <laughs> he gave up. He was going to defend it, then he was just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, it gets weird. I don't know. Leave me alone. Dude. Mm. And let... He nitpicks everything. It's not a review. He would flunk a college-level exam. Absolutely. Oh, like college exam. You notice that, like college essay. People really like to do yeah. that when it's like, I'm not on college. This is YouTube. <laughs> I can do whatever the fuck I want on YouTube. Exactly. This wouldn't even be Doctor Strange's issue. It'd be Loki's. Uh, and talking about no. Michael Waldron. Focus on it there. And remember this. Mastery of the sling ring is essential to the mystic arts. They allow us to travel throughout the multiverse. And there we go. One line to annihilate this movie once again. The sorcerers were always aware of the multiverse. They even traveled through it. What's more, it was done with a bloody sling ring. At worst, this is a blatant hole. At best, everyone in Kamataj is a complete fucking idiot, and nobody actually knows what sling rings do. Nor do they care to clarify when America describes her power to be the exact same as the sling rings. Now Again, this is a problem with Doctor Strange and Loki. No, it's it's oh, the, what are you oh, doing? It's Doctor Strange two that's yeah. fucked everything. Doctor Strange established the rule. Multiverse of Madness breaches the rule. Yeah, and you Loki. can't go retroactive. Like you know what? It's not the sequel's fault. Luke is the way that he is. It's the it's the OT. This, <laughs> this writer, when he wrote it the first time, should have known that he was break. He would break it in the in the future. He should have known that someone else would come along and fuck it up. Yes. This will serve you right. This will teach you. Wait, so Alex Lemon said the multiverse didn't exist until the events of Loki. Until then, the Ancient One and others weren't aware it existed, but then they did, not noticing the change. No, they specifically reference it. They talk about it. They say it I by think, name. I think what they're trying the to say is that the events of Loki change all the timeline in real time. So technically speaking, what we saw of the MCU was both before and after Loki. Sorry, the, the way that you would make the argument is because there is all time from yeah. like beginning to end it was all time and then as soon as the multiverse begins it is unappreciable to the people who exist in it because of all the timelines branching the problem is what does that mean when avengers endgame must happen before the multiverse exists it has to because that is the event that creates the the chain of uh, events that creates the multiverse but yeah, then at then... that point you kind of keep can down the road like what is the causality of an event that happens at a point in time that affects all time and creates multiple universes and how do you have uh, before the events of loki everyone's talking about how they know the multiverse then after the events of loki you have dr strange saying we know frighteningly little how did that happen? well and of course because remember in endgame the ancient one basically explains that if you remove a stone from the timeline the flow of time splits and it creates a new reality that everything is awful and it's like, well, she was wrong. What would have happened is she would have been killed by the TVA. Yeah. And the whole timeline would have been purged. So she got it wrong. She 
Like, what does it mean to have a capacity to understand anything about the multiverse when the multiverse doesn't exist for a huge portion of time? Like, in the, the chrono I mean, it uh, is chronology way of the universe. way too many references that conflict. You can't wipe exactly. this away. It's impossible. It's oh, so the, fucking confused. You, you shouldn't defend it. Don't defend it. It's it's completely balked. It's screwed. It's, yeah, uh, and, and, it's and you're like, how did it happen? It's like, well, several writers wanted to write their own stories, and that's what happened. And, and, and no one care. said, calm down. They all just yeah, nobody it. said calm down. It, Loki, yeah. Loki, the amount of damage that Loki did to the MCU was kind of incredible. It's, um, like, it's, it's hard to understate, like, how disastrous that story was. Having there be the sacred timeline and then it gets split off into a multiverse from that point is, like, so fucking stupid. And so consequential. And yeah. they had no idea what they've done. <laughs> they have no idea what they were doing. The first Stupid Doctor people Strange writing heady things. That's what happens. Loki. The, this Doctor Strange is following after Loki, and it's yeah that he wrote up in Loki. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah he wrote. That's not to say people don't try to defend this wreck. If you watch Doctor Strange, then you'll notice they only think of the multiverse as places like the Dark Dimension and the Mirror Dimension. They're unaware of entirely different timelines. Well, I like. Well, he's reading it in a weird voice, but let me get to the counter. Okay, yeah. then complain. Exactly. Let's not talk about no. people's weird voices. <laughs> Wrong. Imagine that was my normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this, the fake voice that you put on. Yes. Every After every EFAP, you hit the offline button and you're like, Oh, finally, oh, I can be my It's over. Hey, yeah, I oh, that was a really good episode, yeah, everybody. Like, oh, jeez. Thanks for coming, everybody. My throat oh, hurts. Right. My throat. Now I'm going to go play Factorio. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. No. So that's not true at all. This is the visual when describing the multiverse in Doctor Strange. Looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? Marvel has, at this point, tangled up phrases so badly when referring to any given world that none of us have any clue what's going on. Yes, it happens in comic book story. Life. Thank you for agreeing. I Was it so hard? Yeah. Why? Why do they? Why do they do this all the time? Two plus two equals four. Uh, two plus two equals four. It's like okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I, okay. yeah. No. Kind of like hop from one timeline branch to another. I can't risk this reality on a promise. Multiversal war. Draw power from the dark dimension. In this vast multiverse. You would enter a quantum realm. What does that mean? It means that you would enter a reality. You're now inside the mirror dimension. Whoa, whoa, the quantum realm isn't supposed to be like an alternate universe. At least I didn't get that impression. The you said ultimate reality. <laughs> well, ultimate reality. Well, but, and as we now know with the trailer for Ant-Man Quantumania, there, there is there, yeah. a whole universe in there. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's a line, a hidden universe beneath ours, that that's uh... actually explicitly <laughs> the line of dialogue. Let me guess, they control <laughs> everything too, by the way. <laughs> Well, it's kind of right. He's there. So I just, he I just mean everything. there'll be some fucking faction down there called the 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 small the people fellas. or whatever. And yeah, they're like, yeah. Do, you remember, oh, do you remember this the, thing the that borrowers. happened in history? We're the ones that did that. We're like, like oh. Ratchet and Clank with the Technobites in Size Matters. Exactly. The Technobites you have, control everything. You have like, uh, they'll, they'll show a little scene where a Hydra agent is trying to, you know, fuck with history, and then the Black Widow agent is fucking with him, and then the, the Shang-Chi agent's fucking with him, the but then on that guy's shoulder. There's, on, there's a little guy, guy, this tiny, tiny, atomized little guy on his shoulder pulling his little brain things to make him do stuff. And he'd be like, that yeah, was like us. Remy yeah. the rat. Yeah, he's Remy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just It'll all make sense. The Remy. Remy the tugging little, on is your there hair. A, people are the Remy's. I think we talked about this before with the, the TVA, but is there a TVA for the tidy people, the tidy universe? So they have tidy TVA that run in there and go pew, pew, with little <laughs> sticks and stuff. Like, fuck you. What a shitty universe you've made. I mean, nothing makes any sense at all. Quantum realm is just supposed to be like the yeah. It's supposed to be a different thing. That's all you've got. You're like, is this is a thing? It's separated by a it's thing. It's a different thing. Yeah. yeah it's a different. It's like a up. thing, but different. Almost like the really, really sub microscopic universe. Oh, okay. Okay. Ever present but undetected. Remove one of the stones, and that close splits in this new branch reality. The multiverse. See how the ancient one has said timeline, reality, and will, or whatever. Like she's like said it three yeah. different ways. It's just like fuck. Is a concept exactly. about which we know 
frighteningly little. We are now at the point of referring to each splintered thing as a new universe, realm, reality, dimension, world, and or timeline. They have no idea what they're doing, evident in the defenses of this film as they refer to these worlds as timelines. Meanwhile, the characters refer to them as universes as part of the multiverse. It's near impossible to travel from one universe to another. In Loki, you can kind of like hop from one timeline branch to another, but you've got to be <laughs> anchored to some original timeline. What? <laughs> no, you don't. Girl Loki literally came from a world that got erased. Exactly. She was anchored. She was mm -hmm. spawned in a world that is now gone. <laughs> exactly. And what are you going to say, buddy? Part of her timeline, the, the, her storyline, sorry, is that she has no anchored world, that she's just lost exactly. in the world of not having a home sort of thing. Who got eaten by a purple fart dragon. The world that Loki came from has been erased as well. Now that your actions have left you without a place on the timeline, you must stand trial for your offenses. What well, yeah, because remember, the whole shtick is that if you aren't anchored to a timeline, wherever you go will cause branches. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta get rid of you. Yeah. Exactly. Talking about, and are you implying that the TVA can't travel the multiverse? Because if that's the case, you probably shouldn't have called what they're traveling across, the multiverse. Yeah, that's definitely a case of me just not knowing to, what to do. The fact is, Marvel only recently- <laughs> He's, he's really something. upset by that, do you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say something, damn it. He's like, how dare you use that clip again? That poor man. Oh, look, we got an explanation in chat. They are all different things. Are oh, they? okay, well that solves it. We they? got it. Nice. Are they? Yeah. took the multiverse seriously as a foundation for telling new stories, and it's fucking with just about everything. Believe me when I say the. Yes, it, it, it's fucking with some offhand lines said in a couple of movies. Offhand, offhand lines said in a couple of movies, <laughs> which are super mega expositional to try and make sense of everything in those movies. Those things have now been demoted to a bunch of offhand lines. Yeah, that, how it goes. Okay, sure. All right. Well, fine. Um, fuck me for paying attention. And therefore, it's all collapsed and uh, worthless. It's all collapsed and worthless? It's all collapsed? Oh, I thought you said collapse. Like, like clapping. It's all collapsed and worthless. But I guess collapsed is what he was saying. I suppose. Yeah. Mm. Writers do not care, and it's going to make less and less sense as we progress through the phases. Look, don't become a simp for this. Lord of the Rings is right there. No, not that fucking hell. I can fix him. So, we got all that on top of introducing- <laughs> Oh yeah, we, we, gotta, take, we take, gotta take a shot at Rings of Power, guys. It fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck Rings of Power's awful. That, show, that show's an abortion. Uh, I wonder if he has videos thinking about Rings of Power. I'm sure he, he defends it, thinks it's wonderful, and just doesn't care about yeah, it at all, just because it was absolutely. the thing. Absolutely. That's it was a, all that culture war stuff where your side is picked for you. Meanwhile, Chad Efap watches the thing and then goes, "Oh shit!" Or, "Oh, it's oh, good." Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it is shit, huh? Never know. It's important. It's important. Okay. I'm sorry I expressed an opinion for another piece of media during my five-hour and fifty-minute <laughs> video. I, I sure that upset you. Doctor Strange some truth. only. Yeah. It's about dreams in I can't believe he has more than two hours left in this fucking... We... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do this too much longer. Again, I, I would just be like, what do you want... What do you think someone should talk about in this movie? And then he would probably say something like, you should talk about Steven's journey and what he had to go through and what he learned. And I'd be like, right, cool. I can direct you to that part of the video. There is a part where I'll talk about that almost exclusively. You know? But he skipped around, and he's just like, he hates everything he's seen. Doesn't really disagree with a lot of it, or at least he thinks he does and then agrees with it sort of thing, so I don't know. Very confusing assessment. Longer. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. Like, imagine, the, 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 you know, scale this down into some form of way that I was in college and I submitted this, and this was the response from the professor. Eh. Eh. I, just, eh, I don't like that. I'm the ultimate black pill. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, what the fuck is the point of this system? Like, I'm just gonna go find somewhere else to deposit this shit. Trump. What's the ending? What's what, what does he do at the end? All right, let's do it. Okay. Bitch effort to show you guys how this kind of approach is going to fall apart eventually. I can point to this. Wanda, I want to live happily ever after with my children. Strange. She gets America's power. She could enslave the entire multiverse. Wanda just said that she wants to be with her children in another universe before this. How or where in her sentences did he find out that she's enslaving the entire multiverse? Why would she do that when she's already going for kids who are actually living? Well, because she's prophesied to do so. It's your destiny to destroy the world. You see, some viewers don't know about this because they didn't watch WandaVision and the writers forgot to re-establish it for the context of this film. That is airtight. What could you possibly really? have to say about yeah. this? I'm very curious. Well, how much do you need reestablished? They brought up Westview and...
the stakes of the end of the world. The stakes of the end of all of the worlds. That might all be worth the reestablishing. And they the really did. That could exist. They got they got they made it halfway, but they didn't explain to the audience how they know this information. It would have taken an extra three words. We know this from the dark. Well, I say three words, more than that. But you know, you know fucking whatever. Edit the yeah, sentence that's they the had. Prophecy, yeah. Christ, just say it's from the dark hole. That's all they needed to do, but they forgot. And so people who haven't seen Wandavision, I, I, I should have enhanced this a little further in the video. It is a bizarre experience. You're like, you guys saying she's prophesied to do all this stuff. Where the hell did you get that from? When, when did this become a thing? Scarlet Witch, she was cool. She was a hero. Why is she now prophesied to destroy the world? When did this happen? Like, well, uh, fuck it, you should have seen the show. How Doctor Strange isn't interested in going into Westview, he just wants her help. You write reality as she chooses, and is prophesied to either rule or annihilate the cosmos. You see, they almost had it, but they forgot to mention that's from the Darkhold. This confuses people to the point of some average viewers failing to understand the stakes of the entire story. But this isn't shocking when we find out how the script was made, a practice that should have been abolished yet has become industry standard, for Marvel at least, an embarrassing recanting of a comedy of errors with little time for errors to even be committed. Yet, the team crammed just about as many failures into the screenplay that was humanly possible. It's all so amateur. It drives me nuts. He spent so much time not even really saying anything. Just essentially, I don't like this. I don't. He could. Just That's all you said was he didn't like it. Even, even it's he amazing conceded. to see it live in action. You know. He, yeah, like he, there was even times where he conceded the point was accurate, or he would accidentally concede it by agreeing with me with by thinking he's disagreeing. Like, so I already know that you think there's accurate points in here, man. Literally just repeating the phrase over and over again. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Is there anything wrong with that? I mean, aren't you guys, like, in favor of the whole video being that, I guess? Do I, like, what, if I, if I go as far as saying I don't like this is inconsistent, and I don't like that this is inconsistent, is the video still valuable, or is it just not? Like, I, I don't know how the rules work. And you would get the same fucking information. This farce should never be the norm, yet here we are. The script is entirely beholden to every possible influence other than the story. It's a perfect representation of the transfer we have made from writing being the foundational element that binds a viewer's heart to the material, to the visuals hopefully distracting the viewer from the writing that would otherwise compel the viewer to set this shit on fire. The script is now playing tenth fiddle, and as the projects progress, the writing becomes this disrespected, dilapidated, mountainous collection of corrosive slime that they constantly have to run away from. Oh, so there, there's an EVS video on Discord, Mikhail? Okay, yeah, I, I will I will check that out um, after this. There's no use in saying the sludge pipes are bursting open. We're in the sludge ocean now. We are well into this era, and the only raft I... Okay. I don't... I don't really... There's nothing really to say at this point, except he's just nitpicking every goddamn thing. You're Definitely. in no position to say that. You barely paid attention. And I can't even t say that you're nitpicking every goddamn thing. It's like, you're not even nitpicking. You're just making shit no. up most of the time. You just seem to keep defying. Like, every time that you say one thing, he has to say the opposite. Like, well, there was only one point where he said, I guess that's an issue. That's the most that you got. Yep. Um. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> that's, that's... Wow, what, cath what cathartic, <laughs> I'm, I'm... you know, content that was. How... <laughs> And engaging was that Good stuff so like i want to give to this guy's patreon i have to go as far as saying thank you for the promotion i guess because like that really didn't do anything for anybody who like anybody who hates me already obviously it'll make no difference but anybody who didn't know anything about me they must be like well i mean you didn't really i guess i just find it astounding that he watched that where like at the very least it would have to acknowledge that it was a video that was obviously written and had a bunch of editing with references that were relevant to what you were saying and then he's, like, doing this, I mean, I guess that's, like, you know, like, I mean, the reason why that's the case is because it's a, a superhero movie. Like, that he can look at that and be like, yeah, man, that's way better. This is much better material that I'm creating here. I'll show so him. Okay, let's go back to this, because this thing has... <sighs> How many views? 2.1 million views. Hmm. I'm sorry. 2.1 have 2 million, million views. views. Do they actually watch? I would love to see the analytics. Do people actually watch this whole thing? Well, more Maybe or less. Eventually. 
I mean, so the retention time for this video is the most I have ever had for any video. It's uh, it was like oh, I think the highest it was an hour and one minute or something for the average. That's viewers. legitimately impressive. It's, to get anyone even I was like, holy fuck! <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. The fucking chore. Well, this for you, awful. I thoroughly enjoyed you, it because you, I had. But a I mean, I, you know what, man? Like, I feel like you entered into it with a really bad attitude. <laughs> what? I think you entered into it believing that what? it was gonna not not only believing that it would be shit, but that it had to be. It must be terrible. It had to. I think because I think yeah. it's evident in the fact that you skipped to a portion of the video that you thought was gonna be hyper cringe or something, so that you could use it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so evident that you came into this with like the worst attitude possible. And he didn't even get what he wanted. No, he didn't get what he wanted. That's true. Like, I literally, I can make the same video five hours of me saying I don't like this repeatedly, and you would get almost all the exact same information. That's right. He all right, thinks don't, that that's what it right, was. Don't, he literally uh, thinks that all you did was say that you didn't like it. That's insane. I was impossible he, when so, he was agreeing or disagreeing with my representation of the facts. Exactly. It means that you were there were things that you were countering, that there were references that you agreed with their interpretation or you thought that they were wrong. Because the reality is that you can... There's so many times when people would be like, it's just a long-winded way of saying I didn't like it or it's just different ways of saying I didn't like it. But the reality is that the ways that you say I didn't like something kind of matter. You know, what you say is less important than how you convey it, what references you use to support it, why. Oh, okay. Okay, I know uh, nothing but media want to talk about this, so... Oh, boy. Oh, let me... That's the guy from the nothing... chat. Oh, that's the guy in the chat with the yellow... The guy who said the dialogue. Yeah. That, uh, the the guy was wrong was like about almost way. everything he said. <laughs> Yeah. My Discord my oh, this is a what a privilege that we yeah, get to see him live in morning. concert. Yeah. Well, his voice is very kind of saying. I wonder if that's his normal voice or if it's something he puts. I'm descending. Descending. It's not that bad, is it? <laughs> like of all the criticisms, like it's condescending. It's like, okay. I mean, I'm not going to review his voice. That would. That's unnecessary. That would that would be a low. Well, yeah, low. because at this point, now that we're fifty three minutes in, like you got to work on that, man. Like <laughs> that's what I said to him. That's what I legitimately said in my videos. Is like, listen, you can work on it. You really can. You, you can, can practice and you can change it. it. Your voice is horrific, and you can do something to change it. <laughs> you can. You definitely don't have to speak that way. You don't. Nobody's forced exactly. you. Like he definitely is putting some sort of effect on it. Um, it well, to be fair, on it. <laughs> so. It, <laughs> Unironically, if I if your voice was being used for a character in a cartoon show, I would have said like they're putting that on. That's not a normal voice. But, yeah, uh, probably. I'm sure that Debbie Derryberry doesn't go around actually sounding like Jimmy Neutron. Yes. Um. But yeah, it's it's so. It's hard so to read the text for your chat yeah. when like you're putting up white text against a pretty bright, uh, like a pretty Relatively, light colored yeah. uh wool. I can still make it out. We're all right. Uh, Quite frankly, I'm glad I've never watched his content before because that was so bad. I can't Aww. believe how bad it was for somebody who supposedly does this for a living. You uh, said <laughs> that writing, you said that dialogue was like a, a shitty means of like conveying a story compared to showing the memory store because the memory store is visual. Also, what do you mean that supposedly does it for a living? You think I'm he lying? Does. He does do it for a living. <laughs> Look at the he, he got two million views on the video. I mean, like he and he has a very successful podcast. Supposedly rags. What have they bought? Allegedly. Damn. I mean, you pointed out a lot of the errors with it. Score. <laughs> 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 okay, sure he did, yeah. It was also just so lazy. Mm-hmm. Really? Uh -huh, really? I've had dude, I, like lazy. Look, I mean, of course, look, right. I've got a level of insight on this because you worked on it. I worked on it. Meme worked on it. A few other people worked, on, worked it on it too. Yeah, yeah. I know what it's um, like to have to line up pictures to audio second after second. Yeah, there's a reason I try to avoid doing that now. It, that shit takes a lot of time. It's just hilarious that all he had to do, the one thing, was just pay attention to what's being said. And then offer your rebukes where you think that they're appropriate. That's all you had to do. And to do it in a way that was engaging, sort of interesting, you know, that it was it's good to listen to. That's all you had to do. Not too hard. And you totally fucked that up. Meanwhile, you're watching a video that 
how many hours would have gone into that? Like in terms of the amount of effort that went in from like script writing. Definitely not something I would ever want to estimate because it would some be of scary. The, some of the edits that were done in that video, like that meme did. Yeah. Like the amount of effort that would have went into it for like two or three seconds of visuals to then just be like, man, that was pretty lazy. Like, fuck off. It's um, it's the one thing we usually end up getting with those styles of videos from people who hate them. They usually say, yeah, there's a lot of effort. They'll even try and turn it into like a criticism. They're like, how lame is that? How sad they spend yeah, that much time. Yeah, you put so much effort into something yeah. that was watched by two million people and enjoyed by a good portion of them. No, lazy. It's like, sure, man. Sure thing. Lazy is a weird one to latch onto. Yeah. It, that Yeah, that's the one you definitely want to There are lazier ways that these types of videos could be made that would make more money as well. Absolutely. And, and completely... It seems to be, which is the theory I've always had about these guys, is cool. they are so and The theory focused. based... You haven't watched any of the videos. You just admitted that you haven't watched any of them. You call it what a theory, theory okay? do you cultivating based on absolutely no input? Like... You you just twenty six. <laughs> wow! Holy shit! Like yeah, you watch pieces of one video, and he's saying, like, "I got you now. I got you pegged. I know well, you." The fact, that, but the way that he said it is that he had a theory before he'd even watched any of your videos, because he said like twenty seconds before that this was the first video he'd watched of you. Yet somehow he'd managed to even... cultivate theories about your attitude or your approach or your objectives. He didn't even watch it. He watched someone else watch it in pieces. He watched someone else watch it and then jump around, around like, to find a part to see if you, like, criticized, like, that you shit on people based on their, like, sexual orientation. Or whatever the hell he was looking for, honestly. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. And, and completely, it seems to be, which is the theory I've always had about these guys, is they are so focused on plot that they oh, cannot... No think uh, outside of any other storytelling other than uh, purely what is in the dialogue. Oh, so like is that the you way that you're trying to recontextualize your amazing insight that like dialogue, dialogue is yeah. lame compared to visual storytelling? But and also I... like dialogue isn't necessarily plot, it's also character. Well, how, it how can did also I review anything theme. that was it's almost, not in it's the form of dialogue? character by definition. It's necessarily by definition, character. It's character, right? It, it drives the plot, it moves forward the plot, and it can explain elements of the plot. But like it's 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 kind of it's kind of funny, right? Like he's trying to latch onto his dialogue point as if that was a really good one. But like how how do I review anything in a scene that's not dialogue then? Because I've done it before. How did I how did I pull that exactly. off? Exactly. How did I talk about what it meant and what like this this is just um this is the problem. Like, uh, this is genuinely a guide to these people in future. I've done it, so when you say this, it means nothing to anyone who's seen my videos and likes them in any way, shape, or form. You're not convincing anybody of anything. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Like, ah, oh, this is their problem. They only ever talk about dialogue? Even though, I mean, is it dialogue when you talk about the floaty boots? Was that dialogue? Yes. Was it dialogue when you talked about using specific spells? Yes, because you yeah. cast them sometimes. Was it dialogue when you talked about the cat jumping out, the the like the uh, undead cat jumping out to munch on the the car? He's too retarded. He needs to the, the the upgraded criticism from this that a lot of people use is that we take everything too literally. It, we can't too think. literal, yeah. exactly. Too literal. You can't. It's still you a can't latch shit criticism. Subtext. You can't latch on the same. Well, because yeah, wrong. we we I do mean, loads of subtext and abstract thinking for uh, yeah storytelling, but. At the same time, it's better than saying we only focus on dialogue. Like, what even? Like, come on, dude. Yeah. The, the, it's a visual storytelling. So, for example, a couple of you things You thought he that said... was such a great point. You really did. <laughs> like, you, you really see, did. I, and it was, it was fucking absurd. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to elaborate on it in any way whatsoever. Well, no, I if think you that sat you down would with crumble him and said, on All right, well, as soon as you're not yeah. challenged. Put him in front of Aaron Sorkin and see how quickly he folds. Dude, put him in front of fucking Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> like, yeah, really. Just some Jar Jar basic Jar Jar responses. Jar Jar Binks. And he's to have the theme and the end of the video. It's both uh, Wanda and Doctor Strange was about their powers. I've never seen them do this before. And it's like, okay, so you've never seen them do it before. That doesn't mean that so you've do. you've abandoned your dialogue criticism now. You're on to the oh, mechanics yeah. and like and whether you've seen 
And he's wrong, because my criticism wasn't that I've never seen the undead cat head before and that's why it's bad. It's that, what the hell are you using this spell here for? It's going to hurt that other person. I know this you have other spells This is just a really dangerous and reckless spell when you could have yeah. just portaled it into, I, like, the middle of a desert. I never said he can't use it because I haven't seen it before. That's not something I've said. You've made that could up. Could have turned it into butterflies. Yep. Um, though that will come up if ever he uses a spell that would have been super useful in a different situation that he just didn't use. And then he use. forgets to. Yeah, exactly. But, like, that's the context for that one. So, yeah, you're making this up. You're fighting ghosts. Do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so how on earth is that a criticism? Not I one mean, of mine. It's not like... Yeah. Or maybe he you does want the sort of Superman uh, introduction from the... TV show faster than a. Jesus Christ, why is, why is he moving him around so much? <laughs> what are you doing? And also, Speeding. like, is he actually about to say that he. Fastest that, you that would man's moved in years. One Mark. of the biggest. One of the first points of criticism was, like, that a character basically declared, look, plot critical object. And you were pointing out, it's like, huh, why would you say that? <laughs> like, well, because you know I love me some dialogue. I want it over. And what you need is you need you need them to say faster than a speeding you know bullet for Superman. Yes, I need, you need it. that. I need them to list out every spell he has right at the beginning, dude, and then no, when I see them, I don't get this surprised. This dude doesn't know who you are. <laughs> like he watched one video that was jump like jumping around to different points because this guy was trying to look for specific dunks on you, and then he's like, "I've got a complete character assessment of you." Bullets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, before we do any more criticism, though, I thought I'd better put on my critic sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. So, wait, why is oh. he wearing sunglasses indoors when... Because he's making fun of people who do. He's making fun of Brinker. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. Just I got my sunglasses. The fucking energy of this joke. Just yeah. listen to it. Absorb <laughs> that yeah, energy. Yeah, nice. Um, before we do any more criticism, though, I thought I'd better put on my critic sunglasses yeah nice <laughs> nice this this is how you would generate the scene in like like a 40 year old virgin movie where, where, where someone's making it the character that's really bad at making like dunks on other people would go like you suck and then someone else just goes <laughs> yeah, you suck. it's like a napoleon dynamite <laughs> yeah it's that vibe <laughs> So, uh, oh, the yeah, silence. It, it, it baffles me how anybody <laughs> watch any of that, let alone the whole uh, six hours. Okay. Um, well, you better the start animals. figuring it out in good faith because two million people watched it and a large yeah. portion no, of people like no, it. No, 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 bots. So you need to start thinking about why people are receptive to that if you want to start more being more persuasive. Oh, like, hey, look. that's your goal. So when he said, you know, like, oh, he, he said he didn't see the spell before, therefore bad. How is that criticism? Someone in chat said, what part was that? <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. it seems like you made it up. Made it the fuck oh, up. Uh -oh. Your source is that you made it the fuck up. My source is that you made it the fuck up. I've got to take these off. I can't actually see anything. <laughs> That's because your walls are black, you weirdo. I can't Why believe, like... Why the fuck do you have black walls? You can't even maintain the joke. Oh, Well, he's got a white ceiling, uh, Rags. Does that not count for he's something? He's got a white ceiling, black wall. I think wall. so, anyway. What's going on with the... Black is that his that thing that he's put up against the wall? It looks like he's got a ripped green screen glued to the ceiling and half of it. To look, and that's what he's got to activate right now. Like, why is it chopped out, that portion? What's going on? <laughs> But, oh. uh, it was just for for a joke, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, like when you, when you were saying about the memory thing, yes, it's a little bit clunky. Yeah, but a little bit it, clunky. It's the clunkiest thing. It's the clunkiest clunk that ever clunked. It's well established in 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 film oh, no. that if you've got it's a dialogue, well established so, in well film. established in film. <laughs> to what have does that the even insane... mean? <laughs> Yeah, bad things are very well established in films. I thing. agree. Don't do them. You you can't compare it to like when Homer has a has a, like a memory when he goes to the land of chocolate, you know, and then it does a little doo -doo -doo -doo, and then it's his little dream. This is different. This is a memory store that you can go in to. The universe replay of memories. What the hell? Yeah, that replays them on a hologram for you to watch. It, it literally. I don't know, like I, so I need him to them. tell me what is more clunky than that. Yeah. A character literally falling asleep and then reliving a memory is less clunky than that. 
Exactly. It is less clunky. It's less clunky than the comeback Zink guy who was asleep, and then exactly. that was the dream. And then he realized try that he still lived in a world with Zink. Visually interesting, so that... Um, you can't make it visually interesting unless I like you do the memory store? I, I like the implication that if we take it in the broader context of his weird dialogue complaint, there are ways that you can make dialogue more... Like, dialogue working in tandem with interesting cinematography can have some really cool results. You know, like, like as, as if, like, dialogue is totally divorced from the visual aspect of the medium. Like, what do you focus on? Which character are you showing? You can have one character talk and you're just focused on the reaction of the other character, and that's a choice that you're making to show information. I mean, that's an easy one, right? Like, where one character is talking, but you focus on one character's reaction. We had a lot of examples of that in God of War and Ragnarok, where we deliberately omit the face of one character while focusing on the expression of another. Yeah. Even if the character that we can't see is talking, because it's interesting to have the dialogue juxtaposed against the reaction. And also having your imagination fill in the gaps as to what the reaction will oh, be. Oh, can I? I want to you bring that up uh, when, when Thor gets in Heimdall's way. And he says, yep. oh, what are you going to do? And he says, look into my eyes, you tell me. And we don't see we a don't stupid see visual of Thor. It jumps into his head. He's just beating him with his own fucking exactly. like, legs. Whatever. And it's like, no, we just see Heimdall say, you're a sick man. Yep. Oh, dialogue. We hate you. You suck. You're not yep. interesting. On one Mola video, he spent two minutes reviewing a gun instead of a movie. I don't even know what they're talking uh, about. When did I review a gun? But two minutes? That sounds pretty short for me to review a gun. Yeah, it's only two minutes. Especially if the, the gun is very important to oh, the plot. Was it the Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom stupid laser oh, dinosaur gun? Oh, yeah, the gun? laser thing, yeah. You did goddamn right, I fucking review that gun. <laughs> <laughs> it is more than just the dialogue. Um, I... Whoa. You guys have a wow. that idea? Incredible. Mm. Yeah forget the exact term for it but if you've got two characters talking and originally in the script you set it around a kitchen table it's not very interesting okay that's uh, just how that works could be could no, be interesting no it's not interesting it's not yes because he's read all the books and he is totally mired i can already tell that so well no you know what no because he jumped the gun on judging you so i'll give him a shot you <laughs> haven't had brain rot in terms of all of these rules about writing that you don't understand. All right, you don't. Let I'll give you a chance, buddy. Walking down the street, make it a little more interesting. That's yeah. basically what they. Yeah, no, I, he's so right. Again, he's right. Yeah. All dialogue scenes should take place on a roller coaster. I think. So in motion, it's more interesting than around it. Again, twelve angry men is twelve people in a room with a table between them, and it's way more interesting than this film where they go on all of these crazy universes and have uh, all of these. No, that super duper heroes that and everybody. That doesn't make sense. I man, I hate it because it's just I love the idea of two people in a room talking and that's the whole film, and then that somehow ending up being really well, interesting because of what they have to say. Could you imagine if you like presented that to me and you were hoping for me to give input on you know what is learned from beginning to end and like the arcs and the dialogue stuff, and I just go, could you maybe take them outside? Have them walking. Yeah, put them outside, have them walking around, that'd be more interesting. And then you're like, whoa, well, that's not real. And I'm like, because like in the background you could see things, different things, describe different things and stuff, instead of just having this room. Why did you put them in a room, dude? Of, of all the decisions. A room is boring. Yeah, Which is probably funny, because boring. I get the impression that this guy would probably be... Fuck, no, I don't want to keep jumping the gun. I would hazard a guess that he really likes or says that he really likes a lot of older films based on... I'm not quite sure what film that is on the poster there. Is that is that like Casablanca or something? The one um, that he's got up there. I don't uh, know. That looks like it's from an old say... film. I can't um, make it out, whatever it is. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what it is. I would get the impression that he, he probably likes Kubrick or, he, you know, he likes a lot of older films. And it's like, you know, a lot of those older films, like in terms of their scope didn't go as crazy as a lot of the films that are made now, where they're jumping all of these different universes and they've got these crazy, wacky, zany things happening. But, like, surely we would all agree that a lot of those older films have, like, tons of merit in their writing because of what they're trying to achieve and what they're going for. Like, scope does not determine how interesting a story is. It just doesn't. But, um, what baffles me is the review lasts longer than the actual movie. And you might be thinking, well, how long should it last? If you go up... Is an actual another quote that says a review needs to be at most thirty minutes. 
There you go. All right. Wow. I guess there you go. All right. Yeah. Well. That. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I just, uh, I'll have to make a note of that. I should have started collecting all these every time someone tells you how long a thing should be and then just have all of them to compare. Well, I mean, this guy's review of your video was longer than 30 minutes. Oh, shit. Uh oh. They do it. Yeah. Um,. Show don't tell as much as possible is, is the general rule. There yeah, again, as it's possible just, is the it's general just, rule. Yeah, you don't understand what show don't tell even is. Why well, I kind of hate it. Uh... When the characters talk to each other and the subtext comes through and the information that they choose to give or omit or how they say it, that is not telling. That is showing. It's showing in their reactions. It's showing in what they've chosen to say versus what they've chosen to omit. It's not. Oh, I see it. That's good. Yeah, which is, I mean, having the memory store is telling. It's, it's, it's just like... It is telling. This is what happened in their life. Moving on. Yep. Like, oh. Exactly. Don't yeah. want to do that. Like I said, when we were given examples earlier of, like, how to do it, if, if you have him ask, like, you know, so what happened, like, do you have family? Like, where are they? And then she just, like, looks away or says something dismissive, and it's like, hmm. We can then draw, like, is there something, something about that event? Is there something that happened? She's feeling a particular way about that. And then later on, when you get more information, you're like, oh, that makes that makes more sense now. The standard stuff was shown something that gives you an inkling. Start piecing it yep. all together. But nine times out of ten, that's no. what you want to do. Nine. Oh, nine times. And I know for a fact that some of the legitimate criticism of the film was that the early introduction to America where she talks with Strange and Wong, they're just sitting in their diner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was used as a, as a criticism. Oh, no. What? It was used as a criticism that they were sitting in a diner it's having a It's not that they're in a diner, it's that they shouldn't be in public after he's just done all of that and he's a superhero after and they need to save this crazy. girl from... Yeah, exactly. Like, it's not that they're in a diner, you moron. It's like, oh, that would be boring. Put them on the roller coaster. Let's go. Because, oh, that's not very visually interesting. My God. Holy what? shit. God damn. Isn't one of the big things that people will point out about that, that makes Edgar Wright films interesting is that he can take something that is incredibly mundane and make it look cool and interesting. Yep. Absolutely. Like paperwork and hot fuzz. It's paperwork. But and you'd be like, oh, paperwork is so boring. And then he has all of these cool zooms and, you know, and all of these shots and the montage and the flashes to just try and make it more interesting. And it's a joke. It's funny. It's not an... Oh, it's everything, dude. Like, uh, when, when Angel's talking to the three sort of levels of superiors to him and whenever a new one arrives, it's always edited in such a slick way and it'll, like, begin... Like, it's, it's almost, like, high stress and fast, but then they'll just be like, Hello, Nicholas. How's the hand? Like, every time. Yeah, Like, really exactly. welcoming and shit. When the the yeah. environment here is whether or not he's fired. Like, there's yep. so much happening in everything, not just, like, the... The way it's shot, or the way it's cut, or the way it's uh, sound edited, the, the dialogue and the performances, everything. This guy's is like, so they were in a diner. I, I, I bet you, you, you show him the every frame of painting video on Edgar Wright and how he talks about, you know, what one film shows, how does a character move from one location to another? And it's just a bunch of like, yeah. uh, second unit photography, right? Is when they just send people out in the helicopter to shoot like a city. And then the shots from left to right as the It'll car is like song. moving. Yeah, and it's it's just like that's boring. Meanwhile, in Hot Fuzz, it's like the flashing of specific imagery, uh, showing uh, Angel's reaction as he's moving, and then like finding opportunities to throw jokes in there. Like when he's sitting there waiting for the train, he's sleeping, and then boom, as the train like goes past. Yeah, and showing that he's moving away from it, it, it's 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 in how you do it more so than what it is. I I thought we all knew that. I thought we all knew that. Yeah. Especially when, what's his name? All about media or nothing, like nothing, nothing but, but media. media yeah. This is all you do, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you do other things, but fuck, man. So to complain about this novel way of showing it. Mm -hmm. and How the fuck is oh, the memory why? store novel? What? I mean, I've certainly never seen anything like it, but I know, but just like, because there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just because something's you know, novel doesn't mean it's good. We are one step away from the film literally pausing, Michael Waldron walking onto the screen and being like, Doctor Strange is upset here because he's got an unrequited love for Christine. He can't get that satisfaction with her because she's not interested in him because of his flaws as a character that he's developed over time. He actually did have a relationship with her back when he was a doctor, but that that sort of environment was, was also promoting this, uh, so to speak, 
always holding the knife dynamic, where he just can't let himself be in any kind of danger or any risk. He has to be in control, and it actually runs down into the relationships he experiences. And so that's what's causing a lot of this, and, and we'll see that develop later. Thank you. And then walks off the screen, and it, and it presses play. And this guy's like, you know what? That was pretty novel. I've not seen that before. That's kind of cool. And hey, it makes sure that the audience gets the point, you know? Because a lot of people can miss it. And it's visual storytelling, because he was on screen. <laughs> like... Isn't it incredible? It's brain dead. Absolutely brain dead. I, it is brain dead. This is really stupid. Like, this is... I, I'm kind of baffled. I mean, like you said as well, the nitpicking. To nitpicking. talk about... I mean, I know they're trying to be funny. I swear to fucking Christ. Can someone just define it? Please. Please. We just I beg you. We just that once. Nobody also, ever uses it. You're not going back to the, the toilet thing. Please don't fucking bring <laughs> that up again. You brought it up way they more They thought it was we... such a win, though. But talking about the the how the memory thing works, uh -oh. well, I assume it has the same sort of safe search filters yeah. that Google Why would you it showed that? because Filter clearly it doesn't. It child. obviously doesn't. A child experiencing the the death potential of their, of their parents. That's a safe search. Yep. How could you say that with a straight face? That's what I built the entire argument on. Fuck, man, what are you uh, doing? And to be honest with you, I'm gonna say it, if, if if it was just the Doc Strange memory, but like, that's pretty invasive too. It's a private fucking dinner between two people. You can't just project that exactly. to the world. It, it needs to show memories that are funny, you know? Not, like, traumatic and personal. It needs to, like... It shouldn't even show any memories at all, Yeah, no, frankly, it shouldn't exist. Me. It shouldn't exist. Right. So all of these things can be explained... No. If you can be bothered to think outside. If you can be bothered to invent Andy. a bunch of bullshit that doesn't actually account for any of it. Yeah, if yep. it's not in the film and you just make shit up and you actually go against what's in the film, yeah, it's, it's easy to explain yeah, if you want to be contradictory. Your own sort of view of if I don't see it, it can't have happened. Yeah, no, the, and whole, the whole idea of like you, you walks on and you know, it's having sex or something like that. Like, it showed... Oh my god, I can't be honest. It literally... Sh yeah, I mean... It, they didn't get why, it. They don't understand the point. I'm sorry that you virgins don't fucking understand that having sex with someone could be uh, an impactful and strong <laughs> meaningful moment have. in your life. Yeah, it could you, be. Sorry, man. One day maybe you'll learn. Like, I would just assume it just doesn't show those memories, especially... It did show something that should not be shown. It did. It did, so you, yeah. You know, if you're just stumbling on. I love the idea that they're like, well, murder and trauma is fine, but sex. Come on now. Safe search. But, but, yeah. It's... Yeah, exactly. It, it will have a pr uh, privacy filter of some. Yeah. It didn't. Of course it yeah. would, except it doesn't. The privacy and it filter that, it doesn't. That, that deems that it's okay to show also, a child yeah, what, what are we doing? Like, get sent to another dimension, possibly killed. Don't you worry, as I yank memories out of your brain against your right. fucking will, I'm doing it in a way that doesn't show any porn. Don't you worry, like, <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. And also, another thing that he pointed out, the idea that America, now she has control of her powers, can yeah. just go and get her parents. Yeah. Well, no, because she doesn't know where they are. Yeah, she she doesn't have to. How, have to. Do how did she her. know where? And also, how did she know where Doctor Strange and Christine were? How could she have known that? Well, good thing. Uh, this is the part that I actually was watching at the end to make sure I clipped it right. But I pop in the clip. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. She, not only can she not control yeah. her powers, she, she couldn't can. control them ever. So she, she sent them to the multiverse, and she doesn't know which one she sent them to. Well, she knows specifically that. Get out of here. I'll find you. And I mean that. Yep. She found him. Man. She can nice do it. That's awkward. That, huh? Mm, that's a little awkward. It's all right if you don't remember the film you're talking about, whatever. Yeah. For me, well, and shit on. The big fucking no. screw up they have now, as well, is that they've staked, like, me being inaccurate is the problem. And so now that I'm accurate, you have to concede that it's a good point. You can't say it's, exactly. an, it's a nitpick or that you don't care. You have so to now, now say I'm it? accurate and that it's cool. But you won't. <laughs> like, you won't do it. That's a sci-fi trope as old as time. Doesn't matter no, who if the it's fuck a trope. Is. I don't care if it's a trope. I don't care if it's a trope. I don't care if it's good or not. Christ. Bad tropes can you're... fucking die. Good tropes can stay. What? Is, what is he even talking about? There's a trope of her. She can't control her power. It's like, but she can. It's like, okay, but it's a trope that she can't. It's like, but she can. Exactly. What are you doing? I thought the whole Memory. point, as you said, was that now she can. Is it not the point anymore? Well, yeah. That... <laughs> 
that was that was uh that was ocs yeah that she can yeah tv series sliders <laughs> yes i, I remember okay that. Wow. neat that you watched a tv show i was probably a teenager when uh I early 2000s i think no it was 90s was it 90s i Late think 90s. it was mid 90s i want to say <laughs> but yeah i, don't... <laughs> I know it, this is a nitpick but i just love the uh early 2000s the 90s oh late 90s mid 90s oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice and awkward yeah just the, there is a lack of chemistry here uh that's all that means it's just significant bouts of silence and not much development on either person's point it sort of just ends like yeah you said that also whenever he talks he has that horrible background noise i'm assuming you guys picked that up yeah, kind of, yeah. If it, I mean, they also drone. understood the multiverse a lot better than Mauler, who, uh, oh. yes, there are obviously going to be some problems when you're mm -hmm. telling a continuing story. With oh, thanks, you agree with me then, cool. Yeah, all right, yeah, obviously there are problems that are highlighted in the yep. movie. Great. Some continuity issues, mm -hmm. but also, there's the... Yeah. Big time. <laughs> You'll get me. Weird concept of... If you learn new information about something, the old information not is not true anymore. So, oh, so that's that creates an issue. If the old information is that we know about something, and the new information is we no don't. one ever knew about something, <laughs> how do you square that one? <laughs> what well, you just that's do? Kinda, that's kind of the awkward. old information was not good. That's all we have to they say. They lied. They lied about how they right, knew about he's it. Just, they didn't actually know about it. By the way, with that, about it and explaining it, he's just justified breaking everything. Like he's just like, if exactly. there's new information, just rewrite old stuff. Just it's fine. Yeah, that's just go is. with the last entry in the in the in the journal. Just fine. Anything that came before that, fuck it, doesn't matter. You just overwrite it. It's like you're painting a wall. Just just paint over it. It's fine. Yep. The old stuff disappears. Brilliant. Well, yes, These are the guys we need to get a writing advice from. One got it wrong, or all the other sorcerers got it wrong, and what they were describing as the... See how he had to... It's, you can't screw it away as being like, it was just the ancient one, which, by the way, good luck trying to argue the ancient one got everything wrong about how portals of the which multiverse everything works. the big person in charge of understanding yeah. all the magic. But all of them got it wrong. Everyone in the sorcerer... Every single but, one. And this is never acknowledged, by the way. Nobody ever talks about how it's like, oh, man, isn't it weird how we... Because Michael doesn't even know. He doesn't know that he's contradicted it. No, he doesn't realize his mistake, pretty much. The multiverse wasn't the multiverse. Um, it's also possible it was just that they hadn't planned to do the multiverse. Your grand solution to my highlighting of an issue is, well, maybe everybody was an idiot. <laughs> Great. Maybe. You, I, you know what? That's shockingly believable. Yeah. You know, the best thing about it is I put that in the video. I said... Either it's a I whole, mean, or everyone, yeah. all, all the sorcerers are just fucking morons who don't know how any of this yeah, works. Exactly. So, I guess you still agree with me, but you don't even know why. At so that point, mm -hmm. or they hadn't planned to do the Loki series. Yeah. I, I, think I, can't, I can't believe how much they appeal to the matter. It's like, they didn't, you know... It's so much, all the time. They didn't know when they were making Avengers that they would end up making Endgame the way that it was. So yeah, maybe there's some things that contradict it. It's like, oh, that's helpful. That's very likely, but yeah, it's, you know... I mean, it that's probably more happen likely... when you do a series like this. It happens all the time in the comic books. It's very common. Mm. Yeah, it, it, if, it, if it's shit often and before, then fuck, go for it. So fuck they're, it. They're fighting someone who doesn't it's exist. They th they're trying to fight on the turf of how much does it matter. All I've done is point out that it was there. They agreed with me on that much, and that's all I ever want people to, to uh, sort of move on. I never want to try and... Make them agree on the exact amount of impact it has. Just See to that acknowledge that there was an impact of some kind. Yeah, which they seem to have, so there you go. Well, yeah, and, and it, it's like comic books have constantly retroactively changed the continuity okay. to a point that, which okay. it became an expression to retcon stuff. You know, and before that, books did, and before that, when they scribbled on tablets telling some stories, they probably retconned that too. So yeah, there's some yeah, there's some contradictions in Greek mythology or, or, or you know, ancient mythology, so yeah. really, he's like, fuck it. When Og Why told the first to story to sense? Thug, he was, he, was like, he, he was like, wait a minute, you fucked that up yesterday, you told me blah blah blah, that he's like, nah, -uh. uh, that was... That was old information. This is new information. So the old information is useless now. The new one takes over. And you, wow. You're good at this. So, um, I mean, I think that's perfectly acceptable. Mm -hmm. 
But like I said, if Definitely you really acceptable. want an in-universe explanation, like he goes through the list of the different timelines, the multiverse, different dimensions, yep. et cetera, et cetera. They're all valid from a uh, perspective of they all describe different things. <laughs> They all describe different. Oh, do go on. He's I'm not going to be able to go further than that. Like <laughs> they are different things. What do you mean? They are different things. Uh, they're 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 different. So you can have different dimensions, uh -huh. and you can also have different universes. Yeah, and I mean, you're just is, saying the thing this, again. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, this is all in my yeah, video. Yeah, that's what you so. said when. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is something that we know in our own universe the concept of the multiverse as described in loki is that for every decision you make the other decision is made in a different universe what do you mean this is something we understand in our like... own universe multiverse theory i guess i guess the the real theory of it i don't know why yeah, like loki makes Which very specific and strange yeah. rules with the tva and shit you know exactly like that but that's basically it like sliding doors um again 90s film but yeah. the idea is the funny <laughs> film exists in the night for in case anyone doesn't know sliding doors is a film about how a guy i think he's trying to get onto a train and uh the doors was close. it an elevator no it's a train oh, oh, oh. I, at least i thought it was a train because the the doors you know like sliding doors being the doors on the elevator uh, fuck train close and um he's <laughs> In one timeline, he gets onto the train, and in the other, the know, doors close, yeah. and then he, I think he ends up meeting someone that he would have otherwise not, and they have, like, a whole life together. Uh, both films run at the same time, basically. You see the two results. It's kind of a neat thing, if I remember correctly, but I, I can't remember if it's good, though. These two branching universes, um, that's the idea of the multiverse. Every decision you make, a different decision is made that creates a different timeline. And I think it, the point of the amount is... Of all of them. Yeah, that's what was yeah. all happening at all times. People keep using the word infinite everywhere when describing the shit for all these movies. So they don't know what it means. They right. they are not ready to deal with it. Their version of Kang has solidified one timeline to stop crossing over. There can only be one Kang. Can you imagine the amount of TVA agents you'd actually need to trim all of the timeline expansions? You'd have you need an infinite amount. Yeah, <laughs> no joke. But apparently, they're a force that is. Of a limited number and regularly like has food and chills out like they're all they're all submitted to sort of limitations I guess is what I'm saying. But um, that doesn't mean that the the ancient one, for example, wouldn't know about multiverses because she would have been aware of the multiverse war that took place. Mm -hmm. Guarantee you, she so was. She not. would have. She was. Yeah, the multiverse war. Why would you? How can you so confidently say that she was aware of the multiverse war? Like, what, when is that be, ever mentioned? The only person who's aware of that is going to be Kang and then that Kang. video that plays to the TVA. That's the only source of information you can have for the multiverse war because the whole thing was erased. All the people involved in that war are all gone. Yeah, someone yeah. had to have brought that information out, which is, to, which is Kang. Well, it's just... When you nitpick stuff this far, it's just, it's not going to work. It's You like how he didn't build on anything like I just said? Nope, he didn't. I mean, I mean, thank fucking Christ, it's dead and we can move on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's well, just it, sort of, that thought died. It's like Conversation ended. No, I, I don't see anything standing up if you're going to nitpick it. I'm sure there's... Oh man, there's, there's a lot. Oh, sorry that you haven't watched good movies. Yeah, there's a whole bunch you'd of You'd think them. that yeah. if this was your job, you'd see some good movies, but I guess, I guess you hadn't. There's continuity errors in that movie too, and he probably spent like a half hour on each and every one of those. But I'm, oh, I'm sure. Thinking... Pretty much, my whole thing is continuity. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm that sure was a big deal. <laughs> and I've I've made this point elsewhere. You can take any film and you can nitpick it mm -hmm. to death. Yeah, everyone Prestige makes that point. Who has no idea what the fuck they're talking about? Try and pick yep. every movie to death by every scene. It's like. You want to start with the sim simplest shit. I think 12 Angry Men is probably one of the good starts. Just, like, try and pick apart every single thing that happens in that film. Go ahead. And what you'll find is that when you try and pick it apart, it's like, oh, that's really great. Oh, wow, that's, like, a cool little detail. Oh, that's neat that that line of dialogue got reincorporated later on. Oh, it's interesting how, like, this particular framing of this scene, you know, like, that sort of accentuates um, the power of this moment. You have to, like... Good films get better when you start to get into the details. That's the cool thing about good movies, is that the more that you get into them, like, the little details, you start to realize how intentionally crafted it was. You have to meet them on their level. When 
you make a theoretical movie, and let's say they engage with good faith on this, you go, okay, so two guys in a room, one of them says, I really need to go get a coffee, and the other one says, all right, I'll wait here, and then the guy leaves, closes the door. What's wrong with that scene? They're not going to be able to pick anything continuity-wise. They'll go, it's boring. There you go, I've nitpicked it to death. So, oh. You'll be like, oh, we, we have a different understanding of what was happening here. Well, when I said, yeah. you know, he should have used his floaty boots, I'm trying to establish that he is a person who's invested in living and performing the best sort of options at the time, like, would use the abilities I've seen him use before. So that this is like, this is an inconsistency. I'm not saying I'm bored. I'm not describing a feeling I'm having. Like, and if you, can, you're, it sounded like you were saying you can do this to everything, but you can't do that to everything. Exactly. You say it to make yourselves feel better. Death. Mm -hmm. um, if you're coming at it from a point of wanting to nitpick it, there's no such thing as a perfect film. Oh, coming you know? in wanting to do things. Ooh, yeah. Not a perfect scene. Is mm. that possible? I guess perfect it's not... line of dialogue. I... Yeah, because once once you say that you can have a perfect scene, then obviously it's possible to have consecutive perfect scenes that tell a story, and so now the perfect movie exists. Yeah, even if you don't want to say we don't we don't have that. It's theoretically possible. Absolutely. Absolutely not. And then we'd have to get into the discussion about what a flaw is and yeah. how they are what not ready to talk flaw. about that. Yeah. Uh, um, but. No, go on. No, I was just going to say, <laughs> if you had any, did you have anything to add? <laughs> oh, he's already that. booed him off. Everything that I just, everything I just said, but. Uh, Oh, like, I think this guy is looking for having, like, a conversation, but Organized Chaos just brought him on to bitch about me and then leave. Like, just, have you, have you got everything? Is yeah. that it? He's not even listening to him, man. Not, I mean, I'm obviously not a fan of this person that he's brought on, but, he's you know. Moron, but... I'm gonna give him some basic respect. The only last thing I would say is some of the things that he said that were criticisms as well is, this character said this, but then this happened that said that didn't cover it or whatever what do you mean when if yeah, a character when... says something that is their perspective mm -hmm. they can either be lying or they can be wrong so i agree so i really need to know what you mean yeah what what, so what example are we talking about oh yeah no, so it drives me nuts when they act like when a character like says something somehow that's like concrete or something like when she holds man acts, how like, many times you know, can you say something yeah like can, give me an example seconds? Christ. Please, exactly. Just one example. Kind of like a brat in the front. I don't understand Moolah, but then I see he got two million views and it starts to make sense. He found a low effort, low effort way I to make a nice chunk of low money. Effort. I don't, I, it boggles the mind. These people have Dude, never made a video. These people the have never made a fucking video. The way to make video. money on YouTube is to make lots of videos. Take not one loads video of sponsorships. Because it takes, yeah. This argument will never work because we've we've given up the chance for like five years to have seriously huge amounts of. You have no idea how much money that is that we've flushed down the toilet. Uh, the, 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 why would you ever make the argument that we're only doing it for low effort money making? It doesn't make any sense. Low effort is what this fucking is, where you just like sit in front you of your webcam and talk of, randomly yeah. about bullshit. This is barely the low make effort. any input at all. Like nothing really structured or coherent. Just kind of talking, and then you bring someone like, hey. Uh, just there yeah, for a couple of minutes. Anything else you got to offer? Anything else okay, you want to say? Yeah, Come on. All right, next, next thing. Didn't even finish. The, I mean, of course, I guess there's no expectation of finishing the whole video if you want to boot it up. But you didn't even like go through a, an extended section and let it play out from beginning to end. You're just jumping around looking for parts the that one, you could use. As the one turn. section he really kind of did get through was the prologue, but he his conclusion was just, ah, yeah. oh. exactly. Like, okay. Nothing coherent or meaningful first episode they act like oh you know well she's right on everything so clearly the story's telling you she's right it's like no they're telling you she's not right actually sorry was this story telling you that she who hang on i'm rolling i thought back. that was oh god it drives no me way they act like when a character like says something somehow that's like concrete or something like when she hulk acts like you know kind of like a brat in the first episode oh wow act, like, oh. you've totally no, misread well, that oh, your media yeah, literacy is, you, is bad yeah the she film because he's 100% in yeah, the right. Yeah, they, they were definitely, the show was on her side for episode one. Yeah. And it never came up again. So yeah, if you're referring, it, right. a lot of people said, by the time the show's over, they will correct what she said about Bruce. She will realize she was wrong. They didn't. Oh, in fact, the, the, the finale was, if anything, a doubling down on just how correct she is about everything. That she breaks the confines of her reality. 
to, to rewrite this, a story yeah. that's beneficial to her and how she's a better writer than the writers and everything and the robot. Yeah, sorry. You're going to have to take the L. That's, that's, it's done yeah. now. All the it's episodes are out. One, yeah. That's a really right shit on. show, unfortunately, for you. Everything. So clearly the story's telling you she's right. It's like, no, they're telling you she's not right, actually. Yes, by um, presenting no counters. Yeah. <laughs> Just exactly. having it be right. Like... Correct, yeah. You also see this when they talk about themes and they'll bring up a theme as if when when a villain says it it's like you know villains don't typically say your theme can you please provide what do you mean villains don't typically say your theme video, just an example that was in this video of what you saw say, uh, he definitely didn't get that from he must be talking about someone else's because like what what are you, what is the reference there the villain said the theme we haven't even we we didn't get he to said the villains don't part. typically there don't was no say your theme. coverage of the well but but he's saying like so uh, he's he's this hypothetical thing he saw was someone grabbing the theme from something a villain said, and that his response to that is, you don't typically get the theme from the villain. Because that's already wrong. Like, as in, the, there's nothing wrong the with getting the theme from the villain. From the villain. That's, that's more than possible. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Not only I'm going to go as far as saying it might actually be common. Do it. Yeah, yeah, like, the villain is oftentimes happen. supposed to represent the opposite side of the theme. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's usually not the point of the villain. <laughs> what what why do you mean that's see it's a meta thing again it's usually not the point of the villain even though it often is the point of the villain guys you need to to this, in the matter. like genuinely to both of them you need to expand your minds on writing like this is lame yes, you do. this yeah. is really amateur shit this is Shallow. this is way li too limited literally childish way too limited sorry there's loads of limits everywhere why are you doing this like so many things can't be a particular way because you know them to not be that's it yeah, well, I know I know it's one thing in that video where he says, "Oh, Agatha says that she's going to destroy the universe." No, no, it's not about Agatha. It's about it's in the Darkhold. It's the yeah. It's specifically that the Darkhold prophesizes that that one is going to destroy the universe, which is the base, the multiverse, which is the basis for Doctor Strange saying the same thing. Yeah, I never even commented on whether or not that has to be true or false, or that it's bad that Agatha is... I never even said that Agatha lied or that she was... I never even... This is not even in the video. She didn't destroy the world. I didn't say, wow, the Darkhold is like... Uh, it, they've, they've fucked continuity because the Darkhold is supposed to be accurate. I think I just said the Darkhold was wrong then. Which is fine. The Darkhold can be wrong. I don't know anything that... that I don't know if that breaks anything. I don't know who wrote the Darkhold, some demon or whatever. Like, okay, fine. What I was trying to point out was that they failed to mention where the prophecy was read from. Yep. And if it's, it's like, in the Darkhold, yeah. eh, it's kind of important. Seems like it'd be a big deal. And there wouldn't be people should... confused. Exactly. Yep. Agatha could be lying to manipulate yeah. her. No, she's... What? <laughs> she's reading it out of the fucking <laughs> book. Wong read it too. What do you mean? What do you think Agatha yeah. lied to Wong? Yeah, absolutely. Stephen Strange in the film says she could enslave the entire No, Wong. Okay, I've got the clip in this. Actually, I don't even need to say this. The universe. That's yeah. that means he understands the power that she is tapping into. Scarlet Witch is a being of unfathomable magic. It's prophesied to either rule or annihilate the cosmos. So either rule or, either annihilate, rule or annihilate the cosmos. It's a binary. A binary. Yeah, when and then Doctor more. Strange says, after that, I, I didn't put the clip in, but it, I guess I should have, of the, he says, uh, she enslaved an entire town, she could enslave the multiverse. Like, what he's saying is, she has that power, and the Darkhold, as you just heard from Wong, says she will. Yep. Mm. So all of these Given things, this information... Why me. are you so bad at watching movies? Like, come on. Things uh, are... Uh, not paying attention. To no, you. No, you. You are not <laughs> paying attention. <laughs> both the of you irony. To character motivations. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let me know. What is the motivation of Agatha Harkness to have constructed a fake book to lie to Wong about Wanda? When does that? When is that a thing? When was that? I don't remember that. I just don't. I don't remember the details. Attention to the visual language. Of That's a fucking buzzword at this point. The visual, visual language. language. Saying it because you got nothing else movies, uh, not paying any attention to visual storytelling, uh -huh. sometimes some stuff is done just because it looks cool. Oh, you mean like, oh, wow. like I said you think that's good? about the zombie the way, thing? I said that it looks cool in my own video. I said, yeah, it looks real it cool. It looks cool, even if it contradicts. Yeah, you know, I go into how it all doesn't make work. any sense, but hey, at least it looked cool.
Yeah, absolutely. No, there's plenty of stuff done just because it looks cool. And yeah, you could nitpick. You have to like, so hardcore pretend as if that contradicts anything I've said or you guys have said. Uh, Logic to death, but yeah, it, it, it God, I, I just can't. You got nothing. That whole thing. You got face bombing. You don't got anything else. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that will be the substitute for an argument eventually. Maybe one day, given an, enough generations and millions of years, it will evolve into an argument. But until then, it ain't. Well, you I gotta watched, say stuff. I didn't probably didn't even do an hour of it, but that was that was a lot. <laughs> we did an hour of you, pal. <laughs> it was tough. We got it was through really it, it vindicated it everything. You know what? We tried to pay attention to what you were saying. And, uh, the same can't be said of you. We gave you more attention than you deserve. Well, I mean, I, the fact that I've got this a clips edited into this already is just more effort than you would ever put into. Oh, even just laziness. To me. Yes. Oh, it's just low effort. Yeah. You know, if they think your multiverse of madness video is low effort, then it's like they just they have no ability to perceive what effort actually is. Or imagine how much they must hate themselves. Like <laughs> they're like that's low effort. What oh, do they well, yeah. Themselves? Jeez. Yeah. They'll rationalize it somehow, or maybe mm -hmm. they legitimately are stupid enough to where they don't even see that as a potential issue. They don't understand the, you know. All right. Um, yeah, and a lot of it was the same point from a different perspective. Oh, this doesn't not make sense. Give me an example. Despite this character. It's not what you would show in the video. That's not the case at all. Actually. I, I'm yeah, just curious fact. for his example. It looks like you might have one. Yeah, give me an example. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, wait, I guess and not. a lot of it was the same point from a different oh, wait, perspective. Oh, mm -hmm. this doesn't make sense because this character in a previous film said this. Mm -hmm. or That's not a different perspective. That's referencing older material in the story. Well, you already accounted for that. You said if it's old, it's not important anymore. Yeah, we, takes it's over. the right, paint yeah, on the true, wall. True. Just roll right over it. Why would they do this or just getting character names or actors' names wrong on purpose? I'm sorry that triggered you guys so hard. Yeah, I did. I never thought that that would be a thing that they linger on so much. Look, they can't bitch about how how we lingered on the memory store and had a gay old time, and it was super fun to talk about how dumb that is. You can't get on to us for that if you're going to talk about Billy Dink Bumble Snatch's name being said wrong a hundred times as just a little joke. Good God, that was a very long review slash badly bad take. Uh... Nice. But then you got Mola King of the Piss okay. take. I'm just like... Well, that sounds like a compliment, but <laughs> like, I'm having, yeah, I mean... yeah. All right. That's because that is a really hilarious joke that hasn't been done better elsewhere. I, I think name three I people who did it better. I don't even know what. I'm sorry, I didn't. Calm upset down. You. It's, yeah. it's yeah. like a little meme. Just a fun little joke. Fun little joke. You guys know what fun is, right? You're the ones who say you, you get onto us because apparently we hate everything, but I don't know, y'all are the clown killers here. I just find it hilarious, like, I make a couple of references to a silly vision of his name, and there's, like, this guy's face afterward, like, how could you? <laughs> what have you done? God believe you've this. Destroyed, you've killed him. Killed his He'll soul. never recover. He probably really likes those memes, too. That sounds like the kind of meme Aww. that I would just embrace And I used this and I ruined it. Oh, now that Mahler's done it, I don't want anyone to do it. He's ruined the joke. Wait a minute, I thought the organized chaos is thing. Didn't he have? I thought His it was the small. Changed. Yeah, in the top right left, it's, it. it's a different window. It's been it's... replaced with a different one. Now. It's in, oh, he changed it's in, it. It's in yeah. a better it's area, a, but a it's, different logo it and a but different it's, place. But it's like still the 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 chat is still like you know what I mean? Like oh god, it's still such chaos. yeah. It's still <laughs> it's yeah. It's messed up in a different way now. You know what? It's perfect because it's how chaotic is the text... and it's vaguely organized. No, wait, wait, look, look at it. Look, how is the icon of the person in front of organized, but the text is behind chaos? Organized and chaos must be on like different layers. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the top of the the chat. You see, like it's above. Oh, or, well, I... I guess it's peel. No way. That could just be. No, it's above both of them. It's the above text both. is above both. Yeah, it is above both. Oh, okay. Why would you oh, have it? Oh, okay, I see it, because it's wide enough. Right. You All should right, have, right. or you, if you're going to do this, the logo should be above the, the chat. Yeah. So it your shouldn't your even chat be shouldn't be above, it shouldn't, but if you're going to do it like this, it should, like, disappear into the logo, rather than onto it, and then disappear, you know? Very strange. I'll need to do that so joke, weird. because it's, it's the best joke ever, without a doubt, and I'm not getting sick of it at all. <laughs>
All right, sorry. sorry it doesn't appeal to you, organized uh, chaos. Next shit. time I will design my comedy around you, organized chaos. It's I, 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 so dull. Whatever that is. Yeah. This is so dull. Come on, what? Shout out your channel. Uh, yeah, I'm nothing but media on YouTube. I review uh, mostly old TV at the moment, but also some old films. Um, no, there you go. He does like old films, <laughs> but I'm yeah. sure there's not enough roller coaster scenes in them though to justify it. I guess as well. And uh, for the most part, I'm positive about them, even if I do have criticisms to make about them. You understand that just implies oh, you don't like me because I'm negative matter. about stuff. Yeah. There's a weird a implication bit. there of like, I'm actually positive about things. It's like, okay. I have videos that are positive about media. You guys just don't want to look at them. Yep, they're so there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. there was, remember, he was baffled that there was even an unbridled praise. Like, is that, how, is that positive? How remember dare that an hour ago? Yeah. Well over an hour ago, but an hour ago in this video, at least. Well, it's the same wanted... energy when he sees that you have a praise video that matches how he felt when you didn't make fun of the lesbian moms. He's like, oh shit, fuck. Yeah, he's like, damn it, that goes that ruins against... ruins how I wanted oh, to paint him. And I'm just trying to reinforce it. ...to come on because that video really annoyed me, and it, thank it you was for... It me a bit, too. I was just like, he just keeps on going. Dude, I'm just impressed. You guys, I'm impressed you got through it. You made it yeah. strong, you're courageous. They Good had job. all those examples, like they wrote down. Like oh, this, yeah. this makes me appreciate when Destiny is writing notes when people are talking, right? Yeah. Like when people are talking, he's writing his notes down. He's getting his points. Like you guys can do that, you know. While even if it's a live stream, you can like write little notes. You could use a. I got a notepad right here. You could use a notepad on your computer. You could write down little bitty examples and little notes, oh. or maybe you could pay attention enough to remember something. I mean, it's. Surely you could remember something and why it's bad. On and on. You just keep... <laughs> and thank you for making me <laughs> not want to ever watch another Mauler video again. Yeah. So that was... Uh, You're cured. That was I, I'm in that same boat. I hope, I hope that doesn't happen. Oh no, you guys aren't going to see any more of my stuff. You can't even oh, fucking God. understand what I'm saying. So it's yeah. not really a loss, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'll, I'll go back to uh, watching your stream now. All right. and, uh, oh, yeah, it's very good. This enjoy. is really good content, you see. <laughs> this is some good, proper content, unlike that Multiverse of Madness video that Mahler did with all of his references so. and clips and logic. Yeah, thank you. All right, have a good one. Thanks for coming on. All right, that's <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they deserve wow. each other. What piss <laughs> coverage! <laughs> it's terrible. That was feeble. It, um, it just reminds me, like you know, we have all this time talking about like actual media that comes out. It's like we're doing you know classic response videos. Someone being critical of you, just like it's absolute. This is. I want to say it's one of the worst, but I'm like I can't remember anymore. I don't know which one is actually the worst. But I mean, I will say that was pretty painful. Um, it's, it's really annoying to watch a response where it feels like you're not even making any attempt to be good faith. I feel like by the end of that, I would conclude that that was bad faith. That was hyper bad faith. It's one of the worst faith oh. things ever. He admitted to it halfway through. Yeah, it doesn't Pretty surprise me at all. I knew that going it, yeah. in because I know how he is. This is, That's just this astounding is who he is though, I guess. He I'm is like, a... Again. Um, yeah, go for it. He's a, he is a, a stupid ideologue. It explains everything. You could... I was just blown away by like the fact that so many of his conclusions ended with "ah, oh, jeez," oh, like that That's was a replacement for having actual well, thoughts. Is you it was just, it you, was you just guys know that, I feel. He was running his thought to a conclusion and then realized that there wasn't one or that it was a cliff. Or and he then couldn't right he couldn't before he gets there. No, I know because in his mind, I know that Mahler's terrible and awful and he's the worst at his job ever. But how do I? But how do I use what I've just seen to explain that? Oh shit, I can't because I'm stupid. So I guess I just have to make dejected noises and hope that people who actually think as I do can build their own bridges there. Usually the opposite for us. Uh, we'll, we'll oftentimes, we, we, you know, someone will have said something, we dismantle it, and then they say the same thing again, and we sigh, and then we're like, J right, yeah, so, so they're doing it again. They're saying blah, 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 you know, like, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll explain knowing, like, we've kind of said this already, but hey, we'll make sure. We become no. very, very well versed in the videos that we watch to the point where we get a get some semblance of almost predictive powers when we 
notice things that are consistent about people or when we cover someone for a second time right we get a feel of what we might see and what we what they might say or well, what we, we just pay saw attention. is what a lot of people think efap is and they'll criticize efap yes. for being like you don't listen to what point is actually being made you see everything like the way you want to see it you don't actually see it for what it is because you just want to dunk you're, uh, you're going in with bad faith you've gone into a disagree already it's like you know, and, and, and what? Like, you, you couldn't stop throwing insults, too. Obviously, I don't care at this point, but it's still, like, you know, oh, super low effort, brainless, like, no creativity, talentless, low effort. Just yeah. like, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Get away from the million-dollar corporation, <laughs> whatever that meme is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, with the blades and everything, yeah. plunging in to action. Yeah, all right, well, that was, uh... Yeah, no, it's deflating, isn't it? It's just, like, really bad coverage. This is where I be, like, I think there'll be few fat people be like, yeah, that was really fun. It's just like, you don't understand, it's not fun for me a lot of the time. Cause that wasn't like, fun. That was, I just get yeah, to know how much my videos are completely misunderstood by people who fucking hate me for no reason. It's like, ah, fun. Well, yeah, because you just watch somebody who was not listening to the points that was being made, and every time that a point that he was able to actually figure out what you were trying to say, he would either agree with you, but not realize it, or he would just say the opposite, and then contradict himself later on anyway. Yeah. That was painful. I'd rather just talk about bad. stuff like Ragnarok, or House of the Dragon, yeah. or... Yeah. yeah. And or, even. I haven't but we seen hate it. everything. I know, We right? hate things. That's all we do, is we just hate things. We're not real critics, because we Why? just hate things. Why? It doesn't things. hate. But, um... <laughs> yeah. All right, well, so what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to do the Super Chats for Black Adam. They were... Um, oh, all I right. I think we got yeah. through some of them. We were unable to finish. That's probably... Yeah, we started. Yeah, so... I guess I'll get started. Well, I, um, I want to use the loo real quick, and I'll be right back. Very well. That was, uh, that was fun, wasn't it, Frank? No, it wasn't. I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> well, I mean, I laughed a few times, but still... It's, there, there is an entertainment in how, uh, I, I, do you know that? Like, I'm assuming you do. You, you know what? Um, is it controlled opposition is the is the phrase. Uh, um, I feel like I've heard of that phrase. Basically, yeah. that he is of a type that someone could assume I paid him to do that. Right, because it makes you look good. <laughs> like that's how awful that approach was. And you know, when you when you get to that point, like, dude, you need to you need to switch it up. You know, get a little bit better. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. It was feeble. Feeble. That was was that was what that was. It was indeed. But anyway, gonna get on. Uh, oh, look at that. When hot D EFAP. Well, it's out. Go. Uh, go yes, it is. House the Dragon EFAP. It's there for you to consume. Uh. It's as Forrest Gump always said. We're all a little bit Forrest Gump. <laughs> but, um... Is that, is that, I guess that's a meme. I, I haven't seen Forrest Gump in so long. I don't even know what the references are. I haven't seen it in a while either. Um, they got, it was his first mission! That's a quote for, um... Doom. The, the, the rock Doom film. It's when, um, it's when he shoots... It's a fucking bizarre moment of the film. He shoots the kid, the rookie character, because the rookie doesn't want to kill a bunch of innocent people, and the Rock is demanding that he do it. And he says, like, yeah, you're refusing my orders, and then he's like, yeah, fuck you. And then he shoots him in the neck. And then Carl Urban says, it was his first mission! As I if, remember that. As if you could have killed him if it was, like, his second yeah, mission or something. Yeah, if it was his second <laughs> mission. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, I guess he was particularly upset that it happened on his first mission, I suppose. I just feel like you should be just annoyed that he's like, you just killed him. And you did that anyway. <laughs> like, which nothing. was really <laughs> fucked up. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah. The sequel trilogy becomes an 8 out of 10, but you now have to Oof. live with a very, very intense foot fetish. Did we answer this before? This feels familiar. It does, but I don't know. I don't remember what our answer was, but I, th I, could I swear I could have remembered it being a an overall no. Alright, what's uh, what was the question? I think I say no to that one. Yeah. The sequel trilogy becomes an eight out of ten, but you have to have an intense foot fetish. I mean, that's not like 
I, I, I guess it's not bad. You just have a fetish and you like feet. It doesn't get rid of any fetishes that you have. It just adds one to it that you can explore at your leisure if you want. I assume when they say intense, it like overflows. It is disruptive to your life. Um, well, if it's disruptive my, to my life, then no. Maybe the sequel trilogy get what gets what it deserves. It's not worth it. They made it, all right? They made it. They made it. They made it, and it did what it did. So this yeah. lateness will not stand. Well, Barry, got a whole extra EPEP episode happening right now, so maybe that makes Very up true. for it. It's so. confirmed by the devs of Scorn that the game is canonically a dream that a nondescript person is having. Woohoo! Oh, well, that somehow makes it worse. Um, I was actually going to argue that makes no difference to me at all. Like, I, I just, whatever. I, I didn't have much to draw from that game anyway, but telling me it's all a dream, it's like, whatever. Well. Yeah. Very <laughs> cool. Um, I appreciated Adam not being a constant quipster. Like, Black Adam not making jokes all the time. Like he's too far out of his element to be able to even make a lot of jokes. A lot of the humor comes from him not understanding how things work, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Your yeah, father like teaching you violent stuff like that. That can be more fun. Oh my god, an EFAP. Time to get into it. Unzips pants. Oh, oh no. Hey yo. Suppose if you really want to. Uh, I never played FPS. Which game is a good start? You hmm. never played first person, like a first person shooter. Oh Ooh. wow. Doom. Halo. Yeah, go uh, actually yeah. go Quake. Doom Quake Halo. Quake. Go yeah, Doom yeah. Quake, go Halo. in order from all the yeah. to nowhere so that you can Going see that through, progression. Yeah. Halo like a Doom series. Quake Halo card, you could do that. Yeah, I think it's worthwhile. Yeah. Doing and Battlefield, and then that. Titanfall. Yeah, give you a... yes, Titanfall, Titanfall 2 is, a, is definitely high up there. And then play Doom, the new Doom. Yeah, that'd be a fun adventure, actually. Uh, so where are you guys in Andor? Will you give us your takes, or would you rather give it all at once for some something real? Uh, high rags and capital O and meme. Hello. Uh, we only saw episode 3, we were happy with it. We, I think if we decide to rewatch it, which I, I, I mean, if we decide to watch it, uh, we will likely start from episode one again, because probably I've, I've forgot a lot of what I, as, the fact that the director has come out and said there are details in the first episodes that make the later ones meaningful. It's like, right then, I better get watching it and paying attention. Yep. Um, exercise. Morley, defend TLJ from a fringy critique. All right. Do it. I'll referee. Defend it from a frigging critique. Yeah, you got to criticize TLJ, and I got to do anything I can to defend it. Oh, I mean, I guess, I guess the easy one to latch on to is that the hyperspace kamikaze destroys everything. It destroys the stakes of space battles permanently. If this is an option that's available, it should be leveraged consistently by employing drones, or even like I don't know, some self-driving system to just use it on massive targets to destroy entire fleets with like one ship. I think it's. But then, of course. It's yeah, clearly it. inferable that the resources they needed to pull that off were very specific to that environment, and I think it was a very low chance it would even work, but obviously as opposed to the ship just getting destroyed, it was better to use it for that and hope. So uh, I, I don't think it's possible to just use it whenever you want. I think what they're going for there is that that was a one-of-a-kind moment. That's the biggest ship, I think, in the history of the Resistance, and it likely may have had some experimental technology, and it was, it was just like sort of right place, right time sort of situation going on. Right, none of that was in the movie. Uh... <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know what you do, other than it's an inference. It's like, it's an unreasonable one. There was no supporting material in the film. I don't even think also, it's great, boy, even if there were. Uh, as the, the evil guy was like, he knew what she was doing. Like, he knew and was scared about it. Which it's, is, yeah, you're right. And, and the fact is, it may be the biggest of the good guy ships. It's not the biggest of the bad guy ships. No, so, we saw what the biggest of the bad guy ships was, and it was enormous. So yeah, I mean, that's the, look, ch chatter, that's the best I can do, right? <laughs> 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 exactly. There's only so much you can do. Hooray. Uh, Fringy, what's a nightmare story from a workplace? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. You want to maybe think about it? If you come up with something, let me know. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not. I like doubt I will, but yeah. All right. I'm not like the other good guys. I'm evil to the core because I kill others, even though I'm the though the good guys do it, but it never gets addressed. I'm evil. Yeah, this it is a little awkward. I mean, I do understand why they kind of went with it with Black Adam, especially his intro where he just kills everyone around him. But 
the implication as the film goes on is that he killed them because she wanted them dead. He says, like, they were, you summoned me to destroy your enemies, and they were destroyed, correct? Or something, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like, wait, so would you have killed them if they were all babies? <laughs> like, if she just considered them their enemy? Babies, are they harassing you? Are they canceling you? I will destroy you? them. But, uh, yeah, they wanted to set a difference. The only problem, of course, is that Cap, Iron Man, the Hulk, they kill a shit ton of people. It's kind of just like, I don't know. Kind of like you're the same, but you're making a deal out of it. Kind of. Oh, this is interesting. According to Organized Chaos, words are just as bad as actions. Um, yeah, I can believe that. It's interesting that we chat about him would come up. What are the odds? Maybe this was done what in real time. What are the odds? Who knows? <laughs> Good evening, gents. Any chance of another hot take stream in future? If enough hot takes were to arise at the same time, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I remember that one. That was funny. There was like, do you remember it was like we were really one per hour and a half or yeah. something? And everyone was That's just right. like, oh, what's it going to be? <laughs> DJ Peach Cobbler has a neat video on Scorn. Worth a watch. Also, high rags. Scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello. Thanks. Ooh, there you go. Um... Read this backwards. Oh, uh, so it's to get the quote right. So Wings quote of the day. I had to go around my asshole to get my elbow. What? Go around my asshole to get my elbow. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Go around my asshole to get my elbow. Well, you wouldn't need to do that. Your yeah, elbow's not like that I'm... far away. That's odd. It. Maybe he misspoke. Bonus quote, I don't like to beg for money. Well, <laughs> I don't think I anyone understand. likes to beg for yeah. money. <laughs> but I guess he would I admit that begging. it's something that he's resorted to for, <laughs> from Bopulous Michael, but he, he begs, oh boy, here I go begging again. Yeah. Uh, take the DCEU back to zero. Q MGS4 soundtrack. Take them both back. Take everything back. Yeah, just try it again. Restart. Every it's time, over. yeah. Um, every time someone asks RLM, "How is this scene pointless?" Their response is, "It's pointless because we don't care about this scene." Oh, I mean, um, I don't know. I, I, sometimes they do baffle me with some of the stuff they say, but I think they have different reasoning depending on what they're covering and how they feel. What they the time. care about, yeah, seems to be what I've noticed. Um, Check out where those guys we discussed movies. Oh, so so it's check out. So where those guys, I think is the idea. Where those guys. And then so me, we discuss uh... movies, pop culture, TV, and other types of media. We're having a blast doing it. Any feedback is encouraged. Where those guys? Yeah, one point three k subs. Last thing, Marvel. No, how are you going to rip to the great Jason David Frank? Any worth episode two review? Oh, it's an old podcast, you know. G4 interviewer wants to know why we should cancel Batman. <laughs> oh, that clip, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this um, is so baffling. Are y'all going to see the Emu War 2022 movie? I didn't know there oh, was one. Know. I thought you said, wasn't something being made with John Cleese involved or something? I think so. I think that's the film. Oh, John Cleese would be the one to do it. Because, yeah, I mean, I'd be up for that. Uh, especially if it has, like, some positive reviews and stuff. Give it a chance. Did China ban the rock over 007? I'm not sure what that means. Rock over 007. As in, like, they banned him instead of 007, or that they banned him because of 007? No clue. Was he in 007? Uh, I think so. Did they ban the rock because... Maybe they're referring specifically to the actor, Pierce Brosnan, because he played 007. Oh. I, I that the question. now rings the bell. That rings a bell that there was something to do with something he said once in an interview. Oh, it could be, yeah. I can't this, remember exactly sort of thing what. Can happen. Uh, I like how you call him 007 instead of Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> well, he's a pretty cool 007. He is. In Chainsaw Man, there's a demon for all fear, i.e. guns or tomatoes. If you kill the demon, it destroys the fear's source, i.e. World War II is deleted from reality. What? Interesting. I'm just going to try this that again. An, this, is, this is an anime, right? There's a demon for all fear, such as guns or tomatoes. If you kill the demon, it destroys the fear's source, i.e. Uh, World War II is deleted from reality. 
But it doesn't destroy just the fear of that thing, which seems so like, like it would be the logical... Yeah, like, if I fear guns because of World War II, then when I kill the demon of all fear, it destroys World War II. I think is if you kill the demon of the fear of World War II, it destroys not the fear of World War II, but, but World, War, World II. War II. Okay. That seems it's strange. It's Gotta be. Uh, in the Peacemaker show, they retcon it so that DCEU Batman does not kill. A do retcon they? is indeed what I would call that. You can't get a... You, you can't. You we can't. watched him do it. He did. Yeah. <laughs> We've watched him do it a lot. That's the retcon of it, I suppose. Is that re is it retcon? Like, the retcon you need there is to recontextualize what we saw as being lies, right? That's how you retcon that? Pretty much. I would have That's to how that, yeah. I would that much seems, prefer that be done. Instead seems of just... unlikely that they'll pull that off. Yeah, but... If you give new information, the uh, old information goes away, just like we learned from our friend. New then, right. Then. Learned so much today. Have you ever considered yep. playing Return of the Obra Dinn, the beautifully stylized game from Lucas Pope? I would love to see you and maybe others play with you. It's a near-perfect detective game with a great story to boot. I've heard, heard it's, it's very really good, good, but I have no uh, plans to play it right now. Neither I do so I. so many things I need to play. But I do hear it's very good. I think Matthew Matosis did a big video on it. Uh, are live-action Scooby-Doo movies part of DCU now? Yeah, hopefully. We can add some heroes into the universe. Finally. Some kids going around solving crimes. That sounds nice. Abortion. Sketch therapy is an SJW false flagger. I don't know who Sketch, sketch therapy, therapy is. Is that a channel? or? I assume, but I do not know. Ban sketch therapy. He false flags. Sketch therapy right, is then. in your chat. He identifies as a map. I have no idea who that is. I don't know anything about this person. Yeah. Um. Or take that person and kill them in secret. He was given and left the town like the island. I'm not 100 percent sure that's referencing. I'm afraid. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know what we were talking about. Uh, wanna cry? Look up Lament for Boromir, Enhanced Edition. Is that a song, or...? I'm guessing it would so. be a song. Sounds like it. Um, it is my opinion, and also a fact, that because Jen Walters assumedly had the opportunity to basically bring Paradise to the Marvel Universe, and instead chose only self-beneficial... Well, self-benefit, sorry. This would make her one of the most rotten... And then, uh, what looks like... There's three super chats. The second one is filled with what looks to be what is written on the One Ring. Oh no, it's I see now. It's words, but they got all like crosses and weird shit on them. But I think I can make it out. It says loathsome, vile, filthy, crooked, disgusting, dirty, weak, spineless, corrupt, black-souled, no-hearted. Oh, I can't make out what that one says. In iniquitous. I'm not sure what that one says. Downright unpleasant character in fictional canon, and I dislike her strongly. Also, she is female. Also that. Well, <laughs> the... uh, yeah, it's possibly the worst act that's been committed in the Marvel Universe. But uh, Yeah, it, it actually probably is. And the you funny part is... You get to have god powers and you use it for selfish reasons. that no one would be able to outclass Wanda destroying the Book of Vishanti. But I feel like that outclasses it. Because <laughs> that yeah, was because even more this power. Could be... Yeah, this is the level of our reality, you know, in a meta sense. So. Uh, hot DEFAP? Yes. And done. If I am the evil overlord, I will put a general with the same rank as me in charge of the security checkpoints. You can have a Kenobi scenario where a spy says, I outrank you, therefore let me in. Um, oh, so you can't have that scenario. Yeah, you need to make everybody who's on security checkpoints the highest rank. So that no one can say, I outrank you, therefore you don't need to check me. Uh, it's a bit of a bit of a loophole, you could say. Should have played Eggman's Nega theme. Um, I don't know when you're suggesting we play it. Maybe in one of the action scenes for Black Adam. Huh. It'd be cool for Black Adam to meet Dr. Eggman, I think. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Eggman would win that confrontation, I'd say. Yeah, I know The Rock wouldn't like to hear that, but the truth can nope. be difficult. Um, MLK should have Shazammed. God, I could, I could imagine them really awkwardly doing that in some kind of movie. The wizards grabbed MLK and made him Shazam. 
What happened? Uh, it's a Mortal Kombat opener. Duh, that's why. Um, I again, I'm not 100% sure what you're referring to. It could be the something in Black Adam. Maybe, um, maybe the Mexican standoff where they do the gun thing. Yeah. That was really cool and awesome. It was really I'm cool, so yeah. glad they built that up. That was a great payoff to that one time. Black like Adam's theme could be How Bad Can I Be from Illumination's Lorax movie. Um, I haven't seen it. Have you guys seen it? I have not seen I the Lorax. I've seen it, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Something oh. about he speaks for the trees. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, yeah, but it's Illumination, so, you know. Are they really speaking for the trees? Is that what you're saying? You, you... Well, it's just it's just kind of funny, right, that the studio that created Minions, you know, and the Lorax, kind of like a, you know, considering what it's about, the critique of, like, consumerism and environmental degradation because of just, like, a desire to, you know, maximally, like, profit. So the kind Lorax, as an IP, had an arc. Uh, well, I guess, Doctor, because I'm pretty sure that uh, they made a, a Grinch movie as well, Illumination. Uh, I think Benedict Cumberbatch actually played the Grinch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the the Grinch movie, yeah. I I don't know about was Horton his a who that was was that DreamWorks or was that like Blue that Sky? Also was, no, that I was feel like that Horton was almost a, would that have been Illumination too? If that's another Doctor Seuss thing, uh, I think it might have been too early. That's the thing, um, because I think Horton his a who I I think that was. Yeah, that was Blue Sky, because that came out in 2008. I think Illumination, like, didn't start doing stuff until, like, 2009, I want to say. Uh, oh, well, they were founded in 2007, yes, because I think their first film was Despicable Me. Yeah, it was, and that came out in 2010, so it was before Illumination. Um, off topic, but in Hot Fuzz, why does Danny stab Angel if Danny doesn't know about the murders? Plot hole, or did I miss something? Presumably at that point, he's aware that they want to kill him. Whether or not he knows about the murders of the other people who were buried in like the grave and stuff. Um, so, would have tried to fake his death so that they would be satisfied that he's, he's out his... Um, and I think part of what they probably wouldn't have shown us is when he stabbed him with the, the fake thing. He probably would have been like, stay down, play dead, something like that, before they got closer. So they can make the reveal for us that much more interesting. Woo! Do you think Hancock would be considered good if it came out today, or if it could be good if remade today? Well, definitely it could be Hancock. good, but if it was it remade today, good. it probably wouldn't be good. No. As for whether or not it is actually any good, I need to see it again. I mean, you guys, I think all three of us have seen it, right? But not in ages. I've seen it, but not it's me. a long time ago. Have you not seen Hancock? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Um. Was subverting superhero shit well before they got popular. Before, pretty sure it came out the same year as Iron Man, so. Bam, 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 bam. All The Rock had to do was put a vague Middle Eastern accent on, put on a wig and CGI and some wax ears. Didn't even want to do that. We gotta be careful well, yeah, putting on an accent. People will be upset, maybe. What's the reason you don't want to offend Mario a country that doesn't exist. Pratt, you know, because they didn't want to do an Italian accent. Yeah, Chris Pratt didn't even put on weight and sh get shorter for the no, role. No, he didn't put on- oh, grow a mustache. Oh wait, he has a beard, doesn't he? Well, not a mustache. I mean, a mustache combined Probably with a grow beard. a mustache, yeah. Get overall. Didn't even get a plumbing degree. Yeah. Nope, didn't go to the degree- the school of plumbing. That would be funny though, if someone, like, did a really <laughs> good job and part of the interview they said is like, I learned how to be a plumber, and you're like, okay. Yeah. That's, it's like, yep. Whatever it's worked, man, whatever right. worked. Hi, Rags. Hey there! Wow. Thanks oh, for the recent videos. Just wanted to send some positive reinforcement your way and tell you that I ordered your makeshift plush because of them. Keep up the great work, doggo. I uh, thank you very much. I'm I'm glad you like it. Hi, Rags. Hello to you. Smaller, there's a Justice League TV pilot from 1997. You guys have to efap it. You'll hate it. Well, it's great. How how dare you? Justice League TV yeah. pilot from 97, huh? Ah, oh, if only. If only it all got funded back then. If only people realized how good superhero content is. They just weren't quite getting it. And it was thanks to things like Daredevil and Elektra that we finally broke out. 
Long time lurker here, found Rags and Fringy back in the old PCMR days via Top Hats, Ew. then Mauler through that first TLJ stream. Wanted to kick a few bucks y'all's way to say thanks for the good times. Ah, oh, well, you're welcome very much. I'm, and we really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Yeah, it's been a while now. And all these different origins, you know. Indeed. I don't even going. know how we really, like, met. I, I can't remember how Fringy and I met. It's just, it's so long ago, you don't, you know? He might remember, but he's way doing Fringy. Um, Bill Murray escaped Space Jam World to end up in the Quantum Realm. Yeah. Sometimes you just get unlucky, because... Well, then again, I don't know if you'd want to stay in the Space Jam World, because I heard the new one was shit. I heard the new one's terrible. I watched, um... YMS's yeah. video on it. So, yeah, where do you want to be? The Quantum Realm or the Space Jam world? It's like, I don't know, man. I don't even know what is the Quantum Realm. Nope. I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure it'll make so much sense. It'll hurt how much sense it makes. Uh, great new video, Rags. Mine is showing us Jim's gag-inducing dress-up every two minutes. Hope there's more on the way. There is. Hmm. Uh, I heard The Rock is doing a Drax impression as Black Adam. Am I crazy? There's a little bit of that going on, but I'd rather say it's just fish out of water stuff than impersonating drags. Cultural appropriation. Because, uh, you know, just the whole, like, doesn't understand thing someone tells them and gives short and harsh answers. It's an archetype of sorts, I guess. Uh, I always wondered, are there also, like, regular animals in Pokemon, or everyone eating Charmanders and Snorlaxes instead of chicken and beef? I don't know the lore on that question. Um, one, I assume that there are many there are many Pokemon that take the place of ours, but Mill Tank really would... made me think about that. I was like, well, remember that was yeah, the, the joke in um in uh that that awesome Pokemon, you know, like I need nourishment, Taurus meat or something. We don't we don't kill Pokemon. We do. We do it for you, you fucking asshole. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All you've been feeding me is puffins. <laughs> <laughs> he just stopped or he vomited. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bill Tank made me think, like, surely that's beef and milk, right? That, that's that's happening? Or is it not? What's going on? Uh, they're, they're a chicken Pokemon, probably, aren't they? I'd imagine. I think so at this point, probably. Gotta be. So, yeah, um, we don't talk about it. That's the answer to that question. Don't talk about it. It happens, but it doesn't get to does Doctor Fate, too many magic doctors, have to deal with death to prevent any Final Destination events? Oh, have a deal with death to prevent any Final Destination events. Like to make sure that they happen. Prevent, right? Um, oh, you mean hmm. a deal to not prevent them or a deal to prevent them? And in which case, I'm not even sure what that means. He's, uh, he said... Let's, see, this is why it should be a fucking movie about him. He said, like, he's always had a vision that it eventually leads to utter annihilation, basically. That's always the end point. I find that so interesting for him. Like, he'll always know that that's where humanity ends up. We, everything gets destroyed. And that um, when he decides to fuck with fate and save his friend, he finally sees nothing, and that's peaceful. That enough, that's enough for me to make a whole movie. He should have... More interesting than... I was about to say it's way more interesting than Black Adam, which I do think is true, but like that's almost harsh compared to, like, it's way more interesting than everything in Phase 4, is what I should say before that. Because Black Adam, I think, was actually, like, better as a character in terms of writing than um, a lot of stuff we've gotten from Marvel. Relatively, okay? Being nice. Somebody. Um, so, South Park did Satan better? I don't even know what the fuck they were doing in Black Adam with that enemy. Uh, no idea. What a what a weird thing that was. Muller, are you planning on playing the quarry for an EFAP gaming episode? Yes, I think when Metal visits. But the thing is, I'm planning on playing Gears of War with him, and I don't think we can complete the campaign for any of those games in one stream. That would be six already. Um... We'll have to figure out how we're going to move everything around. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but hey, on that note, we are caught up with the Black Adam. Hey! Wow. That's really yeah. excellent. That's great. How about that's that? some semblance of progress. That's nice. And so concludes this secret, happy little EFAP. One's chilling Don't out tell anyone it's Don't, our yeah, secret. Shush, if, you're watch shush. if you're watching this right now, this is a special little secret between you and I and yeah. Fingy. We're, look, we're looking right at you. Don't you tell That's anyone right. about it. Okay? Yep. 
this is a secret. If you tell everyone about it, we can't do these anymore. It's very, very hush hush stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. classified. Let's see feet. But um, since it's one of those episodes, uh, all I'll say is stuff happening and has happened. Who knows what's going on? Thank you all so much for your kind donations. For checking out wonderful little show we run and for uh, for for keeping us company in the presumed premiere chat for this episode, or it could have just gone out. I don't even know. Either way, what a fun, fun day we had, and uh, I hope you had as well, person who is listening right now. But until next time, why don't you just go and have a nice day or night? Yeah, or have a great day, everybody. We shall see you tomorrow. Yep. Okay, bye. See you. everybody later. Bye-bye. Have a good one. <laughs>